haven't been doing videography a lot lately. I swallowed that soda wrong. <laughs> That's the worst feeling in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when you get older. Things like that hurt. Man. It certain hurt. type of hiccups. It hurt when I was twenty one. Lord have mercy. But no, I think that Arizona Cardinals. Huh? I think the Arizona Cardinals for enlightening me and finally realizing that Dak is just not for me. I've defended Dak for a very, very <laughs> long time. I if this, if they win the Super Bowl this year, I'd still be in the street celebrating butt naked. I don't give a shite. But thank you, Dak. You gotta still move on. I, feel, I don't care if Dak wins the Super Bowl anymore. If Dak wins the Super Bowl, man, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye. I'm gonna get my full assessment of Dak <laughs> when the season is over. I didn't think that the Cowboys. I thought we would get one with Zeke and Dak. Yeah. I thought we would get to one with Zeke and Dak. No, we're not. Like, you know what? We're going to save that. Well, Zeke is gone. My so. stomach hurt. Still. <laughs> I hope Zeke don't run like a buck 50 on us this upcoming weekend. It's impossible. No, he's dead already. He's, oh, my gosh. He's uh, a third back. <sighs> what happened to him? Well, you go Cabo. What do you mean? What I said, same thing that happens to every Hold running back. On. Look at Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook is cooked, which I told you he was. I it's not it. only Ezekiel. And it's like now NFL ownership, they have more of an argument why I'm not paying oh, my yeah. running backs. I ain't paying nobody. Everybody hurt. Like everybody after Saquon and Nick Chubb, like, no, yeah, no. I'm not paying nobody. Like Saquon hurt, Chubb hurt. I'm not paying nobody. Um, what's homeboy named the Ravens? Not Dylan. Um, oh, Dylan. yeah. he's. I don't think he's played more than 10 career games. I think that may Ohio, be a lot. Ohio State, yeah. man? Yeah. yeah, but he's been oh, in the league no, like I'm, four I'm years. Sure Odell Dobbins? Damn, Odell, Odell hurt. hurt, too. Yeah. Boy, the yeah. Ravens, you know, we're going to talk about football. Ravens suck, man. I don't care what nobody says. Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson sucks. Stop Relax. it. Lamar Jackson Relax. plays football. Hold on. Lamar Jackson plays football like we was on a playground and, and we was quarterback. We like, knew that five years ago or whatever, no, hold though. Hold on. No, no, no. Like, it, it, no, <laughs> no. It's supposed to be different now. They got a real offensive coordinator. They Fam, got a, on, they, they got went a, to the – they were the best team in the NFL George, when he was playing like that. I don't care. But he no. didn't need to get better or get more like that. That's the point we're making. He's no, 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 so no. good, he didn't need to do that. No, no, no. That's not gonna, that, That's not going to get you anywhere. I think you can. Their playbook is just say hike, and he will figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> the, no joke. I'm watching that Bengals game, and I go – the cameraman can't keep up with Lamar because it, it's supposed to be a passing play, but Lamar acts like he's going to run. Don't act like he's going to run. Run a little bit. Come and, and A bullet just out of nowhere. <laughs> and I'm like, if I was a wide receiver, I would absolute hate playing because you run your route. You ain't getting the ball. But then you just got to stay alive for as long as you possibly can as he's running around. Like, you legit got to just play all game. It just it – just, <laughs> What, the third week? I say around fifth Stop, or sixth week. Don't I, do that. I, 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 that's when we're going to see who is, like, Fam, for real this season. Lamar Jackson. Because they were just slandering Deshaun Watson, like, last week in this past game. He had a decent game. That, that's fine. Lamar Jackson is an MVP already. Lamar Jackson is good, but I don't believe in their playbook, their play calling, nothing. He only knows quarterback run plays. That's the only thing he knows. <laughs> nah, he got Zay Flowers now. They'll be all right. No, no, exactly. They'll be all Zay right. Zay Flowers is good. You got Zay Flowers. You got Odell Beckham. You got Aguilar. Nah, Beckham. You got a few players. Hold on. Okay, let's, Beckham let's not do that. You what, four games a season? They got it? the tight end, man, and Zay Flowers. That's all you need. Fam, you know what? And I used to be like, if that's all you're going to do is give it to Andrews all the time, that's boring. But now, you know what? Go back to it. That, that's a guarantee, at least. <laughs> It was a guarantee, at least. Like, it was a guarantee. Fam, stop it. Fam, if you don't stop. I mean, I think it played, the last game was like in a rainstorm. I mean, me and relax. Relax. Oh, man, Don't do that either. I'm getting sick and tired of these rainstorms. Yeah, the weather was weird. Yeah. The sky was off. <laughs> this weekend, this football season. I can't be having you slander Lamar out here. I'm sorry. To, if I got to be the Lamar defender, something's wrong. Fam, you know, we're going to talk football. <laughs> we're going to talk football because... I can't tell if football is good or fire. I mean, whack right now. I can't tell. No, it's, it's, fire. it's, it's fire. It's still it's too early. We got Dion and we got uh. Well, I guess NFL with been the kind NFL. Of whack, I guess. Well, well, college you know, is fire though. When your starters don't play in a preseason game, these guys got to get a rhythm. Like you got to get a couple of games under your belt. Fam, I'm a firm I talked in that. about that. Starters <laughs> must play preseason. Period. 
how, how many preseason games? Do Every you play? single one. And in one of the games, you got to play all four quarters. No. Period. Absolutely. Stop not. it. All these football players no. today, and we talked about it a long time ago, these I, football players and basketball players are, are pussy. All I of think, them. I Whip. think. You know why? Because they don't wear, they all walk around wearing these fly knit sneakers and all this goofy stuff on the basketball court. They can't stay healthy. They all want to low management. They sneakers are light. And we used to wear weighted Jordans. Jordans used to wear a minute. You get strong body. You were sturdy when you was out there playing. Funny. Football players, man, fam, they, they, they celebrate and bump heads and they, ooh, <laughs> they in a the tent. <laughs> I'm like, how are you already hurt? All this non contact injuries? Come on, fam. Yeah. Come on, guys, fam. Right? Something is funny, though. They need to start taking steroids. Man. I mean, probably like not as many kids drinking milk and stuff anymore. That's probably what it is. Maybe, but they need to they need to figure something out. Like it, it, it makes absolute. Now look, Chubb thing, cool. Somebody ran into your leg like that. You can't do nothing about that. Well, but you yeah, out there Chubb, a, you out there as a cornerback. You can't complain yeah. about no. You can't complain about Chubb because Chubb is literally like a, a made out of that's metal. fine. <laughs> I mean, that I mean, guy did he have like, a major knee injury in college? Yeah, he already had one ACL tear, but I think it was the other one. Oh, actually, they said this was only an MCL, though. Only they MCL. Said, they said nothing Which else. Which is miraculous. Torn. I thought he was going to have to have his, like, amputated. <laughs> okay? Miraculous. All right? Now, that's one. That's an instant. But a DB or anybody just <laughs> turn their hips and, oh, like, huh? How? Making them cuts. Then How? players blaming the field, blaming Cats the turf. like, yo, it's the grass. <laughs> Cats are faster now and stronger now. Cool. If you're going to bulk up. And put on that much weight, guess what? You got to get out there with that extra weight on your body and get all this right. Because these can't handle the upper body. You all like this swole. And you know what? All them fake muscles and stuff today, stop it. That's for show. Huh? You ain't really strong. The strong cats look like me now. They strong, all right? All these other <laughs> uh, cats out there. I mean, they look like Aaron Donald. Yeah, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. You look at Aaron Donald, you be like, look, I know he's strong. <laughs> he, he don't look like DK Metcalf, all right? DK Metcalf ain't strong. DK Metcalf just got... I go to the uh, beach muscles. Though. DK Metcalf. You know like what I mean, George. Maybe. You know what I mean. But yeah, but DK's not hurt often, and neither is AJ Brown. They kind of look the I same. Know that. I'm just saying, like, you're, the bodies ain't, they ain't adding up right out here. Like, all right. Bill, it ain't Bill's adding up right. Look like a Greek guy. Tyron like Smith and all them cats oh, on the line. Smith. Them cats stay hurt. I he, get it. Yeah, but he's old now. I get when it. When he was, hold on. When he, when he came out in the draft, he might have been the mo, like the most. The like I quintessential left tackle. That I guy was built like a tight end, but blocked like, huh? Not anymore. Whoa, wait, wait, what do you mean? Him specifically, or the shape of the person? No, Tyron Smith. Well, yeah, he's a hundred now. What do you expect? That's Bam, fine. He got drafted retire. ten years ago or something. He needs to retire. Stop. He gotta go there. Don't be talking about my USC legends because he he's retire. a legend. He gotta go. Oh, he needs a low management. Come back during the play. He's a legend. Huh? All right. Nah, nah, back be hurt. Knees be hurt. Knees back. <laughs> I get it. They got. He's uh, old, no? fam. They we got had three starters out on the line. He has to wear summer. leg knee braces. Don't do that ball. because what you call it? Had I read that story today. Somebody else had three starters out or whatever on the line, and they won. Texans, I think. Texans went out there and put 37. Now, I know you don't trust the Jags. I understand you don't trust the Jags. Okay. But they went out and put 37 on the Jags with no starting offensive alignment. Hold on. The Texans always give it to the Jags, though. Always. Don't do that. Always give it to the Jags. Child is for real. Don't do that. Uh, uh, Don't do that either. What do you say? I don't know yet. Don't do that either. Though. I need Four more. games. Though. I need more. He has one. Obviously, you need more. You don't need, need more, more to know he's legit, though. No. More. I'm not saying put him in the Hall of Fame. I'm saying he's legit. That's it. That's all I'm saying. It's not that much. All right. <laughs> I mean, that's not that much. I'll tell you. You know what? We're going to talk about it. Uh, uh, appreciate pivot, everybody at Pivot Stocks. Go to getpivot.com. That's G-E-T-P-Y-B-O-T.com. Use the promo code Sneak This Podcast. Get yourself a discount code. Talk to the homies at Pivot Socks today. They said they got some new stuff coming out. Some new secret socks coming out. Got some pockets and some special stuff in it. So we're going to check that out when they send that package through. <laughs> Go to yes. getpivot.com. That's G-E-T-P-Y-V-O-T. Oh, P-Y-V-O-T. That P-Y-V-O-T. Com. Stuff, they got it. it. Uh, they said they got a compartment in the design. <laughs> that sticky stuff. All right, fam. They got a compartment in the design. You don't they need said, it. Check it out. You don't need it, though. I put uh, uh, you just emergency the, 20 in it. Just get the regular socks. When you're a little you kid, put your emergency 20 in your sock. You don't need a special pocket, though. I do. <laughs> no, you don't. I do just in case somebody say, give me your wallet, but you got that emergency credit card. You, in can, that just put it in your, you can just put it in your sock. You don't need the pocket. You, you, you ain't got nothing That's to put in When we was young, it used to be an emergency 20. Now you owe us an emergency credit card and a backup driver's license in there. Mm-hmm. Just get the regular socks. That's, you'll be good. You don't got no, nah, sticky, you don't got no sticky stuff. stuff. No, it's legal now. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it is legal, but that doesn't mean you touch you it. You put one gummy in it. <laughs> 
You don't even need to hide those. Putting one you can gu- just put those in your regular pocket. Huh? Putting one gummy in your sock is funny. Huh? You take right it out. Here. You, can put them in this, you can put them in this bag and nobody will know the difference. <laughs> uh, what is this? Episode 340. Oh, 334? Don't ask me. 334? Is that it? Man, George in the building. Tim in the building. <laughs> Back, man. We took two weeks off from Pond. Oh, wait a minute. This is episode 243. Dang, we out here. Four, three. Appreciate by who likes, subscribe, share this podcast. Uh, obviously, we was gone for two weeks, but we back. Uh, Tim in the building. That's your cue. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Say hello. Yeah, glad, I, glad to be back. Um, always a pleasure being on being on Sneak Disc with Greg and George. Co-host Got of the Jones. Yes. Jones podcast. Yes. Jones Hall podcast. So. Podcasting is tough. It's tough, bro. <laughs> Podcasting I, is tough. I have. And y'all been doing it for a long time. Like, every time we come in here, and especially when you got stuff like football season, and you yeah. get to talking, and you with the homies, and you talk, yeah. and it feels good. But the act of, like, preparing for and thinking about it, just thinking about coming here, I was like, oh, my God. Like, I just, I didn't feel like it. But then I'm like, oh, we tired, we back. I'm like, I feel good now, huh? But I mean, y'all holding it down? No, y'all still potting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, shout out to True because True do all the editing. I just show up because if it was up to me trying to do the editing and all, it's not gonna be done. It wouldn't be no podcast. <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> what the dedication with you guys is not even being at the same room. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know how people do that, and people always say that to me. Like, oh, I know you always sick of the cameras and stuff. Just do George be at his house and you be at your house. I I can't do that. Like, me and George together. Is different, yeah. like you know what I mean, and I guess we could we could do it that way, but I wouldn't want to. I, he wouldn't want to. Like it'd just be whack to me. It wouldn't feel the same. It wouldn't feel as authentic. You know what I mean? But uh, oh, I do want to give a shout out. Shout out to jo- actually shout out to George's wife Hannah. My wife did have a procedure on her heart this week, and I appreciate everybody who sent all the messages and things like that and whatnot. But uh, Hannah has sent over. Actually, Rosie was sick, and Hannah has sent over some. What's that soup called? Fo. Pho? Oh, yeah. Some pho or whatever since of the house. So I appreciate that. And then even checked up on her since something else. So shout out to Josh and Nicole in California. Sent over some crumble cookies. Like, I mean, I ate all of them, but Rocio <laughs> ate one. But I appreciate that, you know what I mean? And everybody else who sent things and sent messages and stuff like that. So I appreciate oh, I didn't y'all. Really, I guess I didn't pay attention. I'm glad she's okay with the oh, procedure. Oh, yeah. You know, she said, just, I ate all of them. She had a little thing, you know, some custom work or something. I don't know. Put well, some it was good. subwoofers in there. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Put a body Pimp kit on her. Right, but, um, you know, put yeah. some rims on her heart, you know. Put yeah. a body kit on it. Definitely, so she um, good. Bless you doing well. Yeah, she good. You know, it's still like a little something going on or whatnot, but, yep. you know, she good. So she was scared about it. I mean, obviously, you know, it's scared. It's my wife and, you know, my wife and my kids and stuff like that. And, you know, we didn't even say anything to the kids. You know, I'm like, she didn't want to tell the kids at all. They still don't know, you know. I mean, Cortez may listen to the pod, but who knows. But, but speaking of crumble, y'all like crumble? Uh, I could only eat a fourth at a time. Yeah, I think I've only had it one time, and it was so long ago. I don't. Remember. Now it's too much. The cookies that Josh and his wife Nicole sent was the first time I ever ate a whole one. What flavor? Um, so they sent over a key lime pie. Okay. Then they sent over a some type of caramel something, a few d- flavors I never had before. Because usually I just go for chocolate chip. I don't ever eat none of the other ones, but I could only eat a fourth of a chocolate chip. I ate. I got half of it. And I was like, that was good. Went back and ate the other half. My first time ever eating an entire crumble cookie. The now, I felt one, weird later. I but. think the best one I had was the cornbread cookie. <laughs> cornbread? Oh, yes. I ain't never heard no like, cornbread Like, I'm talking cookie. Big Mama cornbread. Like, Big Mama, your arm, that type of cornbread. Like, what had greens on it? Uh, so sweet. <laughs> you silly. <laughs> Super sweet. Sweet cookie. It's good. I tried that, Did though. Did you it put, like, good. butter on it or anything? <laughs> it, it, I think it comes, like, with a butter type of flavor. Uh-huh. It's good. Hannah but ba- if you eat it, you immediately have diabetes. I promise you. you, you, you That's going, what all crumble ah! cookies, huh? <laughs> you immediately got diabetes. That's what all crumble. That's why I can't mess with them. Hannah have found this, like, jalapeno cornbread at Costco. Oh, oh I'm about to was, was that jalapeno cookie? cookie? It was, nah, it was good. Yeah, jalapeno cornbread. So oh, what yes. you ate with it? Greens? What? Spaghetti? What you ate with it? Greens? What? Oh, no. I just put a piece in the microwave and put butter on it. Oh. Just warm it up a little bit, a little butter. I mean, yeah, you could have something on the side, but nah, we just... Back I mean, I eat it almost like toast. I just have like a slice of that. Speaking of cornbread and greens, Thanksgiving is coming up. 
Thanksgiving is like, I love Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving food is overrated now. Though. We've had Thanksgiving food for too many years now. Though. 40 years like, of Thanksgiving food? I've been trying to, to convince honest? my parents to do like taco night on Thanksgiving. To be honest, though, I feel that's the only time I eat collard greens, yams, mac and cheeses during Thanksgiving because I really don't eat like that during the yeah, year. Yeah, that may be the only time, and I definitely don't just be eating the turkey. Yeah, nobody I don't, does. Yeah, turkey is so overrated. That's, it's why, dry. that's why I don't care about that. Turkey breast on a sandwich? Wait, what, huh? Turkey breast on a sandwich like Jersey Mike's? Give me that. Uh, Give me those cold cuts. No, if you go into a sandwich shop getting a turkey sandwich, are you no. Nah, give me those cold I'm cuts. I'm not going to a, a sandwich shop to get a turkey sandwich. Oh, I, am. I make that at the house. Oh, I am. Oh, I, <laughs> I go to a sub shop to get like an Italian or nah. a roast beef or something. If I want to tell you, I give me a pizza. I had Jimmy John's. I had <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> John's <laughs> today. <laughs> Jimmy John's might have the wackest bread on a sandwich of all time. It's just got the wackest sandwiches. Their cookies are good, though. Oh, no, I had a, I a triple had something cookie today. Yeah, I ate it. I it was good. Yep, no. Told you. Now, I had an Italian sandwich. Now, I'm fine with the Italian stuff on the sandwich. That's fine. But the bread from Jimmy John's is bread. Like, it ain't like sub bread. It's <laughs> like. Wonder bread. It's like hot dog bun. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> was, it's, it's, right. now, like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I love a good Jimmy John's sandwich. Now, the Jimmy John's mm. chips, though, Jimmy John's chips, they, they, it ain't full of air. It was over half <laughs> chips. See, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, go give me a sandwich. I was about to send a text. Full of air, I was about it. to send a picture of how much chips was in that joint. That's how much Damn. chips. Was in. I was like, okay, Jimmy, Jimmy John's. John's I see you. Whack, nah, I don't cookies, do that. Though. Cookies, good chips. Okay, uh, you get the, the the Pepe. It's like an Italian thing or something. It's good. Some, yeah, but some, there's it's, stuff's it, not seasoned right. There's not enough seasoning on it. Something's off. What on Jimmy John's sandwiches? Yeah, something's off. My favorite certain sandwich place is Jersey Mike's by far. It's I've not only been to Jersey Mike's one time in my entire life, and that was with George. You're wilding. Fam, uh, we had met, what's her name there? I don't think I ate, though. I yeah, you Jersey did. We, it was when, uh, I think it was when uh, I don't like Lenore left the city or something. Oh, uh, We went there with somebody. I don't like seeing them cut my sandwich on that machine, though. <laughs> what? You would think that's what you would want to see, but I only want to see that in, like, New York or something. Though. Going to watch them with that meat. Fam, and if you go, that, nah, if you go... Well, you got to go to the right place in New York. I'm not trying to go in no uh, bodega where a cat is on the grill. I'm sorry. I don't mean cooking the cat. I just mean <laughs> the them grill. cats that, like, run around on all the shelves. No, thank you. Look. I don't need cat hairs That's in my funny. sandwich. Something gross, about so. that machine and they be like, mm, they're catching that meat like that. I will say next year I'm probably... I'm probably gonna go on a trip to the East Coast, like New York or Boston or Philly somewhere. I do want like a good. East oh, I'll Coast tell you sandwich. if you go to Boston, let me know because I know I'll tell okay. you exactly. Where like to I go. do want a good East Coast sandwich. Yeah, I'll tell you where to stay out of in Boston. Uh, don't go to the Irish part. <laughs> you'll be ran Charleston? out. Uh, Charleston. Yeah, you'll be ran out of certain parts. <laughs> I actually, of just watch uh, a documentary on Boston, <laughs> on busing. On oh, what? On busing. What is that? Like the busing situation in Boston. Oh, in the busing. 70s. I thought you were like, man, that food is busing. Oh, nah. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to have to send it to y'all. It was a pretty You're interesting stupid. documentary. What was it all? PBS. Oh, okay. They watch a documentary on PBS. Yeah. What year was this? This was actually last week I watched it because uh. I saw the preview. I think I was on Hulu or something. I said, yeah, I'm definitely going to watch that because they did a little snippet or they didn't really go into much detail when they did the Lakers versus Celtics ESPN 30 for 30 when they were talking Wait, about it. Wait, are you talking about? Jerry bus? No. Like the busing situation where, like how we oh, live in good year. Oh, you talking about. Bus the Mesa to go oh, to school. Oh, okay. You talking about like segregation. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then the residents, <laughs> they wild and like, it was good. It was uh, good. Oh, wait, yeah, did it have something to do with Boston or? Yeah, it was oh, Boston. Oh, 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 Like okay. kids in Roxbury had to go to school in Charleston and the residents I mean, were like. I mean, I never heard having. that about. Like, like obviously we've areas. heard for a long Only time that Boston is racist, but it's so weird that a city in the Northeast is like that. Like, it doesn't even make any sense. I mean. you you Y'all should watch it. It was, it was, it was very sense to me. Why the union was in the north? That's yeah, where all the abolitionists yeah, were. That's makes, what doesn't. That's why it doesn't compute to me. It's always gonna. Be I guess that New York one. and Boston was just so completely. Yeah, different, that's but. what. I, that's how I said. Like it's always gonna be that one that wants to stay true to something. Uh, that's me. sure, but that's kind of what DC or Baltimore. Oh, I, well, I don't know. I just always, I just always associate the union with the north, so it doesn't make sense. Because but, my boy, even my boy but from I, New York, he said back in the day, like, you knew what neighborhoods not to go I, in. Yeah, see, I think that, I, I don't think it was, I think maybe bo- the reason Boston's like that, I think, is more cultural thing than, like, white versus black or whatever. I think it's literally, like, oh, it's so Irish. many Irish people it's there. A, yeah, I think that's thing. what it is. Like, it's not necessarily, yeah, it's not, I mean, like, a little bit of both, but, like, it's, Yeah, they racist. They racist. Yeah, it's like, um, it's sort of like San Francisco and, like, the... 
forties, maybe with like the Chinese. Like it wasn't oh, necessarily yeah, they had people in internment. Like they didn't like Chinese people, but like it was that the Chinese was taking up all the the work and the jobs yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, during and, World War Two, they had Japanese people in internment camps. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. So, but. Anyways, what were we talking about? Sneakers? I have no <laughs> idea. This podcast is going to easily turn into something. I don't else. even want to do releases. So I'm just going to tell you. Well, you, you don't can, got a choice. Huh? You can do it if you want. That's one of the major sneaker, t- sneaker topics. <laughs> the day, so. it's, only, okay, uh, it's only one release I care about. That's the one I text you about. The Beamer release. Oh, those. Uh, I thought they already came out. They came out. They come out Saturday. Oh, okay. You travel those? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You know, especially for him being, shout out to Beamer from being from Baton Rouge. Yeah, just yeah, seeing yeah. a creator from back home. Having their own shoe, I'm definitely doing everything I can to get that shoe. Yeah, I talked to him a couple times. He's a cool cat, you know. When I thought about asking him to get on the podcast, but this was early, early yeah. on when we were pawns. So, but shout out to him, man. I mean, shout out to Sockenies for giving people opportunity. They gave J Tips one, they gave yeah. him one. Like, you know, I mean, they they do give people opportunity. They used to give a couple YouTubers that had sneakers back in the day, like yeah. Homer Simpson and them. So, shout out to them though. But uh, pickups, hey, my got George, you got any pickups? None. Come on, Nothing. Man. I'm has Curry's a, has is looking a, nice, though. Has a box showed up? If not, no. then I have no pickups. Fam, is he okay? <laughs> hey, heard from the homie? Yeah, nothing. he message. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, good news or he bad wants, news? He wants to do a meeting on Friday. Oh, okay, but nothing coming? Well, he, we got to do a meeting. Oh. Oh, okay. you mean as a, I don't know when the next box is coming. No, I have no idea. No. It's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you got anything? <laughs> Yes. Because I do got unions right here. I got my union ones, just you know, just in case I haven't seen them yet. When I was in uh, Oregon, um, shout out to Ruby, I was able to go to the Adidas Employee Store, and I got the Response CLs. And Let I think those. this must be like, you know, I ain't about to throw it. I got it, and I'll throw it. You, you better than that. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I don't know if it's like an employee Ooh, store exclusive. Better than Dak. Because I didn't, see, I didn't see them online or anywhere. And I was just like, they caught my eye, and I was like, yeah, I got to grab those. The suede on this is... Stupid. I said, yeah, I like those. See, I like this model. These are fine. I've only seen the gray and white ones, and I saw them at JD Sports, and I was like, dang, I want to get these. The only, I didn't want to pay full price, though. Because the only ones I've seen was, like, the Bad Bunny pair. Ooh. I want to say that came out, like, last year. Look at this, George. That Look at that suede. Look at that. That's right up your alley, too. Oh, the whole thing is suede. I see what you're talking about now. Dang, look at that shit. That's right up your per- alley. Perfect for the fall, you know. I don't know if I would say right. This sneakerhead is excuses. Up man. Ricardo's alley. Cassie, I don't know about Cassie, mine. Sneakerhead, sneakerheads love buying sneakers and got a reason for it. Uh, you got plenty of fall sneakers probably. You know? <laughs> you know, these, these, these joints go, go, go hey, hard in the spring. You know, <laughs> throw on like a little gray warm Yo, suit or indigenous, something. Indigenous people I can see you. I can see why they had this there, though, because this literally looks like when you went on, on your hike in Portland, this looks like what the Them hike looks like. joints are fire This right matches there, the man. landscape of your hike. And the model was fine. Nah, the last game of my height was way different. Uh, no, it wasn't. Really. Way different. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That joint is fire. Huh? It's good. You can go to Ruby. Dude, shout out to Ruby, man. Man, she, Ruby takes care of cash. She man. do. She that's, do. That's my dog. Definitely man. kicked it. Um, Salvi Donuts, you were right. The hype is real. Salvi Donuts is fire. Well, man, I mean, so feek. I don't see neither one of y'all bringing any back to Phoenix. So, Greg, so, so when I went you to. You can't. So when I went to um her huh, setup. You got to pre-order them. Man. I went to her setup, and she was like, uh, are you Ruby's friend? I heard you on the podcast, and I'm saying to myself, she must be talking about Greg. But I was like, you know, yeah, I'm Ruby's yeah. friend. Got some donuts, and then she At the even, donut place? Yeah. Dang, you got yeah. lit. And she gave me so, lit, and she gave Ruby too. more donuts to give to me once we met up, um, like, at this oh, bar. Oh, really? Like, yeah. yeah. Donuts were good. And the flavor that I thought was the best that I didn't even think I would like was the sweet and sour flavor. Was that the green one? The green one was the OG one. The sweet and... The sweet and sour was like a cream color. Okay, I don't know if I got. I that had the strawberry, maybe. sweet and sour, I and strawberry. I had the green. Oh, okay, the that, OG one. That green one. Damn, y'all didn't have the orange chicken. <laughs> <laughs> the green one. Said sweet and sour. Good, Delicious. What in the world. All right. Them donuts was good. I can't even. Front Again, I, there are zero in my presence. Because right when now. I ate it, I thought, is this like a cake donut? But it wasn't, and it wasn't heavy. It's not heavy at all. Yeah, it was I'm gonna good. see. I'm gonna reach out to him and see if they can ship some. Maybe Ruby will ship some. Yeah, they were good. Ruby got some sweaters for me that she needed to ship. Uh, pickups. I did pickups. I got. I got these. Then I got Rick Owens, Chuck Taylors, whatever they are, and I got. I don't know. Something else. I don't even know what's in that box. Did I write it? Union. Oh, I don't the know. woven ones? Unions. I was like, what are union ones? I got unions. <laughs> I got, man, oh, got I them. feel like there was one more thing. I got the Rick Owens, Chuck Taylors. 
And maybe something, else. oh, here's the box cities, whatever. I mean, it's supposed to be Brooklyn in, I don't know, summer of 1993 or something like that. I mean, I don't Did know. Did you get them off the website? Yeah, I got them off the site. Easy Cop. Obviously, they had this new bar protection type thing. Yeah, Look at that. CD oh, Lamb. No yards after catch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a little wiggle. I can break a tackle. CD CD Lamb. <laughs> Dak. Every pass that Dak throws, zero yards after catch. No. Bro. But then, you know, CeeDee We got to be last in the league in yards after catch. CeeDee <laughs> Lamb wasn't even running routes. He's looking for the flag. And I'm like, Lamb's, run your route. You know, I'm not going to say he sucks yet. I'm not, new. But CeeDee Lamb, he only, he, he only allows himself to get open one time. Only one time. Like, he getting off the line. He complaining because he's getting held. Like, fam, run the route. CeeDee Lamb runs, goes like this, and he's done. And then he's like, you know, mad about something. Like, I ain't got time for all that, man. And I don't even know if CD Lamb is fast. Has CD Lamb been noted to be fast? I mean, he, he gets open. Sneaky speed. Good. He got sneaky speed. I mean, well, he does. He had over a thousand yards every year he's been in the I league. I don't think he, he gets sucks. open. I just think him. I ain't said he Maybe sucks. he's over Dak. Maybe he's just like, you know what, man? Get him out of here. Give me another quarterback. Maybe. These suck. Just so we're clear. Nah, they don't. Nah, these suck. Now look, and they, he knows it too because he was on, that. he was on the super fire bandwagon, and now he just now he no, 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 no. Yeah, they they are super fire. No, not. I just don't know what to do with them. They suck. That's okay how I put it. it. They suck. No, no, no. Now the materials up here and down Honestly. here, fire. This <laughs> gray hoodie, <laughs> <the> split <laughs> gray hoodie, tan top coat. This material it, right here, you know, that's that's this all material right here is harder than the laces are, fam. I mean, you could this should have been gray hoodie, tan top coat. Yeah, why is this easy? Why is this not leather? I, uh, what the 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 stripes, the stitches, the stitches? Uh, why is it not leather? Why would the stitches be leather? Because they are on the footscapes. No, not all for suede or whatever. Not all footscapes are that. There's some of them in yeah, that material. Yes, the some original are suede, something, yeah, something. The They're original all footscapes we were wo- suede, woven suede. The shoe is fire. No, I don't know what gone. to do with it. No, it's not. We can wear them. Huh? We can wear them. Never. I don't know, man. I, listen. I, I plan on wearing them. <laughs> I'm the king of liking shoes that are uh, sale color, okay? These suck. Let's be honest. Nah. I'm the sale now, king. Now, would a black I pair probably a, go I should far? own a sail boat, all right? Sail king. Yeah, you should sell your opinion. <laughs> I do on this show every Sail it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's all we make nothing. That's zero. <laughs> so your opinion. Listen, this fire. Listen. They're nice material. I like They're it. a nice sneaker. Listen. It's something way, way different. It's out a of the Jordan, Jordan 1, one, so it can't Not be trash. Not necessarily, yes. It's a Jordan 1, but it's way different it's than a, your traditional Jordan 1. Dramatically different. It's a Jordan 1, so it can't be I'm surprised be, y'all can't didn't copy um, This sucks. Crap, the brown and black uh, ones. What's the name of them? I forgot. Palomino? Yes. I'm surprised y'all didn't copy them. I didn't realize they were fired until after the fact. Well, he Maybe. thought he thought we did, but then we found out we didn't. I thought Maybe we didn't have access to them. I know. thought. I seen them in hand. Or they we fired. got our order canceled They're fired. or something. They're I fired. seen this dude wearing them, and I was like, oh, okay. Them joints is kind of fire. I tried for the homie to get him a pair. Um, shout out to homie Rick, but I wasn't able to get a pair. But I just was like, I didn't think much about them. And I was like, man, I'd rather have mochas than those. But then I see somebody wearing those. I'm like, dang it. That was my chance. Like, them joints is fire, fire. I like huh? I know and I, like I also them. did think I thought I had a pair coming, so. You know, that was my mistake. Now, the one thing I will say about this I don't like is that how flat this is. The toe box is seem like flat. Like, it's something yeah, about it's this is a little bit off, you know. But, you know, I think these joints is good. I think the idea. They suck. Came, That's all right, though. The idea came together as good as you could possibly can with the idea of a foot skate mixed with a Jordan 1. Uh, it, it's as good as you could get with that idea. Would, in a million years, would I have ever thought somebody would have mixed a foot skate with a Jordan 1? Never. But they did what they did with I it. appreciate the fact that they did something different, just like with the first Jordan – or uh, how many Jordan 1s they done? Just two? Just that two. And that one? Yeah, just these two. I appreciate what they've done with their Jordan 1 opportunities, but that shoe sucks. Now, <laughs> a black pair, though, will go hard. Nah. Black. The color of the swoosh. The color of the swoosh will be – we'll give it – we'll leave it gray. The leather black – We'll do the mid sale and then the bottom now, red. Now, if they did that black Maybe. where it's like kind of the I'm wash black that has like the frayed edges, then you might be onto something. I mean, I'm onto something now. 
No, not exactly. Okay. But I do like the tongues like that, though. I will admit that. I like the. Uh, he hated that at first. Tongues. Tongues. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, you did. Don't do that. Yes, you did. Don't do that. When, when Off White first came out with this, you was like, well, what the fuck? For what? For what? That's, what did you say? Well, like the define tongues. what shoe are you talking about? It don't matter. It was on all the Off Whites. No, because some of the, most of that pack sucked. Uh, the first 10? Yes. You're joking, right? No, most of the. The Jordan one didn't suck. Now you could not like it a lot, but it didn't suck. No, it sucked. Okay. It the sucked. Presto, but the Jordan one's not even what I'm talking about. The, you thought the, the Presto, Presto sucks? fire. Okay. The Air Max one. I mean, sorry, the Air Max ninety. I mean, it was like don't do that. The Blazers were fire. The Blazers. The Blazer was fire too. Especially the uh, the khaki and orange. Those were fire. Those so were how fire. many out of ten suck? <laughs> out of the first ten, most of them. He's smoking. The basketball shoe. Eh. It didn't suck. Fam. It was eh, a basketball okay, shoe. Okay, fine. Eh, suck, whatever. Pick a term. Eh, same It was just thing. a basketball. Meh, eh, no. mid, whatever. No. You pick. Pick what? Which term? If you don't want me to say suck, Hold I'll on, say Hold on, let me eh. see. I got to see a picture of the original 10 real quick. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. That uh, uh, Vapor Max, that black Vapor Max? Nah. Let me see. The OG black Vapor Max? Hold on, that's the iPhone 15. Oh, you got right. it? Nope. Lucky, oh. I, <laughs> That's iPhone 14. You lucky I got good hands. Yeah, right. Basketball shoes suck. Chuck Taylor suck. No. You know, no, don't no, do that. They sucked. Don't. Do I'll listen Air, to Force, suck Air Force One, I'm not an Air Force One guy. Whatever. But it didn't suck, though. They, they you didn't. can't do that. Stop it, you have to they say didn't. it doesn't suck. Don't sit there and put a disclaimer on it. Uh, Just say suck uh, and don't suck. Uh, That's it. Uh, no, no, don't no. change it. Don't try to change what I'm doing. This say, is my thing. Say suck or don't suck. No, this is my no, no, no. thing. Then you That's can't funny. say something sucks then. Yes, you can. You don't can say have, suck and eh. You don't can have that. more. What are you talking about? There's not only fire or suck. There's a lot of different things in the in between. Uh, 90s and, ni- uh, what is that? 97. And for the 90s. 97 uh, mix. What's no, that? 97, I'll give you 97. What is it? Is it a... 97. Uh, is it a 97 mix or is it just a 97? It's a 97. Like, 97s, uh, I wouldn't feel it, no. Eh. I wouldn't feel it, no. Presto. The white one? I wouldn't feel it, no. You smoke Presto, it. Presto, insane fire. Jordan 1, eh. Uh, the second best one might be the uh, running shoe, the one that says foam on it. That might be the second best. Uh, I mean, that's fire. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the black one called? Uh, uh, Vapor Max? Yeah, Vapor Max. Sucks. No. <laughs> you smoking Blazer. sticks. Eh. Nah. Fam, the, the, the foam, what's that called again? <laughs> the Vapor Max is literally Michael Jordan 5 with white laces in the game he's playing. <laughs> All right? That's literally what it is. What, what's that? Ben 5. That's what I'm it starting, is. I'm starting to love <laughs> It's literally a Ben 5. Black shoes with white laces. Yes. How are you going to say that? Black, black shoes with black white, white laces? laces and a Vapor Max? That's the OG Vapor Max model. Okay, number one, I'm the king of white laces in a black shoe because I've said that for years on this show. Don't do that. I this love... shoe specifically sucks, and you know it. Literally, USC's aesthetic is black cleats with white laces. I've always loved that. Blazer. Eh. He said no, he's the king the of white laces and black shoes because he said it. He don't got no white laces and no black shoes. But how long have I been saying it? It don't matter. Though? I don't no, care. Just, 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 I don't care. See, he know he know. That's fine because we, we argued all on the said show it. literally about we all Jordan said Fives. It. We all said it. No, we didn't all time. say it. Yes, no, we, we did. did. We, no, we all didn't. said it. Yes, we did. You know. Now, you maybe brought it up, but we all agree on that topic. No. Nobody has anything against white laces and black shoes. Yes, That's why people say. But you can't call yourself the king of something you ain't never did before. When Ben Fives came out. Everyone hated Ben 5s when they came out. No, but everybody hated Ben 5s because they liked the other Bens better. No, that's not why. They hated it because it was white laces and a black shoe, which is literally a throwback to Michael Jordan, how he used to wear it. Like I did the lace swap and my bread for us with white laces. Love them. Oh, about, you smoking? How about the, oh, how about no, the that's not the same. No. Love them. It got to be genuine leather. Jordan, no. new, but now, you put white laces in the new? No. The new leather Jordan 4? Okay, maybe we're we talking. Nah. Jordan talk. 1. I'm not, I know I'm not getting those. Buckle up. Why not? Buckle up. Suede is so much better. You smoking shirt. Sure. That original, so that leather on this better. new one. You see the new picks? Yeah, I did. Jordan Fire. one, impressed. mid. Hold on, which one? Ninety seven, trash, boring. I'm going through them all now. Ninety, okay. Nah, Between was, okay and good. Nineties were fire. You can't give a presto. Rating. It has to be either the bottom or the top. No, it can't be both. No, it can't it, be. No, it doesn't. Everyone can have a different rating. You said can't say one is man. Eh, one is fire. One is why, mm, why can't it? Fire. Presto fire. Uh, Air Force One, eh, but it is one of the best Air Force Ones of all time. It's a low bar. <laughs> basketball shoe for basketball. Yeah, this is like that rating I sent you from Barstool Man, where you got like Kirk Cousins and it's like three pictures. For basketball, thanks. <laughs> basketball sneaker for basketball. Uh, That's the one you had. Chuck Taylor's, why? He thought he won Prestos. Love the Chuck Taylor. Chuck Taylor's, why? 
Okay. Now I will say when it first blazers, came out, I was like, well, but it was fire. Blazers for seventeen year olds, but they were they were fired. No, good. it's one of the better blazers. <laughs> That's a low bar again. It's not my, it's not a shoe for me. I'm not a blazer fan either. I tried to give blazers a shot. I'll, all I have is two, no three. Yeah, I got a few. Jeez, look at you. I got a few. Yeah, but you spun it, so like it got camouflaged yeah, in the, the background. Whole, that's the whole point. No, if you would have threw it like lopped, you flat, can't do I it like that from down here. You gotta go like <laughs> this, like a frisbee, though. Know? Yes, and when it spun, I couldn't see it in the back no. backdrop. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Anyways, but I got some other pickups or something I had got. I don't know, man. I some pickups. Blah, I forget pickups, man. <laughs> I, do you think you could stop buying sneakers for an entire year? Nope. I said I was going to do it this year, and I didn't. I think I may try that for 2024. I'm, I'm already past that, probably. Some, something is always going to come out, but like, nah, I don't, I don't want I haven't bought damn. no shoes except when a box shows up. That's, That's still buying sneakers. No, nah, no, nah, because we're not going to say no to that. When are you saying no to a wholesale shoe? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I think, think, I think I we've can. said that already. Like, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to say I'm not going to buy any shoes, and I end up buying shoes. For a whole year, you don't think you can stop? You haven't bought a single. Yeah, I know you did. What? You bought SB Jordan fours. It don't matter that you ain't got them no more. That's that don't matter. Okay, well how? Okay, well how? <laughs> okay, have you kept any? You supposed to not say that. Fine. Have you <laughs> kept any? Have you kept any? You bought online or from a store? Nothing. Uh, yes. Well, I'm gonna say yes, but yes. <laughs> okay. So then you didn't do it then. You said no, no, you almost but, right, but how? I'm saying how far back was that? So at least I get to bank those months. I think I bought so let's say, how long ago was that? Three months? Four months? I think I bought six pair of shoes this year. Six? I think I bought about 60. So, <laughs> I don't know. That's a lot. Who knows? I have no idea how many I bought. But the shoes come in handy. Like, I returned no, seven. I returned some Adidas. Actually, I returned some soccer jerseys to Adidas yesterday just and got one of these microphones. I was like, I need another one. I was like, Tim, come into any three. Because I only had two at first. And the microphones are here I hated, and I got sick and tired of people complaining about how they bad they sounded in the car and whatever. So whatever, man. It's like, okay, cool. I, I'm glad I could go in my closet and grab something that I'm never wearing and take it back to the store and get money back and buy something that I know I need. You know what I mean? Like, I need the podcast microphones. Like, no matter how much I say I'm not pawn no more, <laughs> I need them joints. Uh, Joel, what come out this week? Family? Uh, ironically enough, a footscape, cow print, women's. Fam, a cow print on a woman, ain't that disrespectful? Like, didn't they used to call women like cows? <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm I would let, never think to put a cow print on a woman. I'm gonna let, that used to be an insult. <laughs> I'm going to let Tim handle this question. I'm, I'm not, dead serious. I'm not touching that question. Wasn't calling like a woman like a heifer, like a bad thing? <laughs> it was. Absolutely. It was a bad thing, and that's absolutely. a cow, right? Yeah. Ain't no woman want to walk around with cow print on. I think it's a relation to something because uh, there's a bar in Vegas called Hogs and Heifers, so I'm assuming yeah, that, that is a reference to some type of animal, yeah, but I don't know a if it's a pig, pig. Or, a female pig is a that what it is? I okay. think. Now, well, you said cow, so I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's, I know it's a, a, no, 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 a female, a female cow. It's a female sure? cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look it up. Mm-hmm. Let's ask Siri. Huh? You look it up. I'm gonna keep going. Hey Siri. <laughs> hey Siri. It's the best segment on the show. Dang it, man! My Siri don't work no more. She be disrespectful. We haven't done it in a while. Hey but. Siri. Hey Siri. Yeah, she been I think, tripping. Though. I think you turned it off. Now my battery really low, so she won't be. No, nah, you turned it off. Uh, forget me not. Jo- women's Jordan ship, I don't know what that. I don't know what those are. I mean, it's an all white with a blue bottom, but it's and a gray swoosh. Looks like all the other, but I don't know why it exists. I did like the other Jordan ships. The, Which one? The Tiffany color. I like those. I don't think anyone oh, hates. No. Jo- I don't think they anyone. Listen, either. no one hates a Jordan ship. It just why? It's just shoot. <laughs> And, and like, yeah, I got no problem with their ships. But uh, and that <laughs> Tiffany one, I'm going to be honest. That Tiffany made one maybe the wax. Listen, wow. we get the history. Jordan wore it first. Fine. Who cares? That's fine. And we talked about it. Airship is an industry plan. I already talked about it. <laughs> like, they were like, they like Jordan ones. They like dunks. Let's just slip this airship in here. But that <laughs> Tiffany one, that <laughs> Tiffany one sucks. Though. It's tacky. No, though. hold on. Hold on, hold on. If, but Nike bringing any of that back, is gonna they're going to sell it. Uh, industry plan is probably a funny way to say it. But they know they can bring any of that back. Back and it will blow out. Yeah, but they're gonna sell it because people are afraid to say like I'm sick and tired of buying Jordans and Dunk ones. They and then they're like yo airships like man. No, it okay. came no, nah, but that first one came when everything was still hot though. Yeah, because it came with a Jordan. It came in a double dual pack. It came with the OG bread airship that Jordan wore in that one. Remember that pack I had? Yeah, but people still want it. That one ship came before that by itself that sold for like a thousand dollars afterwards. 
Oh, uh, maybe there was one. It was know. the one that it was only came out of one store, Wasn't two like stores, blue or something? or something. White and blue, mm-hmm. Kentucky or something. I don't know. Air Max One, uh, they bit from Marky La Familia. Air Max One Familia. Is it like Marky Two Point Oh? Is it like the pink and tan? I think it's for like the Day of the Dead. He should maybe. sue. He should sue Nike. You know? uh, Marky is sue Nike. You know? Listen to me. <laughs> simple simple defender. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> simple and Phil could be your legal team. <laughs> them choices They okay man I'm sure the quality On them is fire But they just A little bit too much they The like quality does look good. fire But I I don't need uh, yeah, I don't need the, That's what uh, yeah. Mischief uh, Pump Reebok Two different pairs I like the idea I like the idea Of the pump They put the pump no, All you, over the shoe No you don't Hold on now For a mischief shoe That's okay It ain't a big red boot <laughs> yeah, cause It the ain't an ankle shoe sprain you It ain't something But I'm okay with it <laughs> I'm with the shoe No it's not Now the price tag on it They smoking all yeah, the it's probably a thousand dollars. It's three fifty, I think. Three fifty for a Reebok. All their boot? shoes are a thousand dollars. Who knows? Uh, I thought Born and Raised Dunk Low came out already. Dunk SB. No, it was supposed to. Then they pulled oh, it off the rack, away. and then they made people like all the skate shops send their parents back, but they didn't. Then Nike said, mm. later. I don't know. So they did the raffles in LA and stuff like that. They did okay. a raffle in a few places. The streets was wild too, boy. They was out there lying. Yeah, because he passed away. If a he hadn't rat, passed uh, away, they wouldn't care. No, I don't know, man. People would for still one, listen. People would still buy them at skate yes. shops. Uh, in Venice, fine. In California in general, eh. Uh, uh, Fam, when they said what Homeboy's like actual real name was, I guarantee you 90% of the people didn't even know who they were talking about. The people in Venice, absolutely. The I people agree. in street streetwear culture there in LA, yes. But on the other people, they didn't know. Um, there's a Teddy Santis New Balance coming out. There's a there Whitaker Group New Balance pack. I'm okay with those. Yeah, Anybody? Those. You got any nine sixties? They suck. New no, Balance? They don't oh, suck, okay. but they suck. I, no, hold on now. You can't say that because you said uh, Joey Fresh Good sucked. I mean, I don't want to say they suck, but they suck. You said Salehi Benberries was whack, though, and them joints are stupid no, no, fire. No, because they mixed the, the color blocking up. I was very clear on that. No, 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 no. You're talking about a different model. No, that one. Not the 9060. That's the one you and everybody wanted to put as number one non Yeah, not the, the 9060. You're well, talking about the one that had, like, the oranges, purple one. That's yeah, a different that's model. Not the one? Oh. No, no, no. Yeah, that I model. Any, I don't have any 9060s. Yeah, I don't, I don't either. I want, I want one, though. I like the way that it looks from the top down. They suck. That's how I gauge my sneakers. Top down. If I like the way it looks when I look down, that to me makes it fire. Eh. That side view stuff, <laughs> That's for editorial. <laughs> Get out of here, though. That's for L Magazine. LeBron 21s? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. You know... Who mad, buys LeBron sneakers? Like honestly, huh? Because I, you know, I know you have kids. Like, do you see kids at the oh, playground? No. When, wearing? I, when we go, when my when my son, we have to go to an indoor soccer place or anywhere, and the basketball courts, kids are are wearing LeBron. Like, okay, I'll say that. That dude buying those, and I you know honestly, I watch some of the adult league basketballs. A lot of them were wearing the twenties, so people are buying them and wearing them. You know whatnot. It's just that it's strictly the hooping. A LeBron sneakers, like. Any of the ones that we thought for LeBron's that we were like, these is cool, or, or we thought they were fire, if they stopped at three to four pairs, they would remain fire forever. But when a LeBron comes out with one colorway, be like, oh, man, that's kind of dope. Then another, then another, then another, then another. Then you'd be like, man, the colorways be so whack, it makes the shoe whack. Like, a colorway on a sneaker can make a shoe whack in a second. I gave away all my LeBron's. I only have one pair of LeBron's. I got about four. Is- is this supposed to be someone's PE? Like Kawhi or something? Or is this no, just a new, just new, a balance new, basketball? new Balance basketball? Oh, right. I am good on I New Balance basketball shoes. <laughs> new Balance basketball. Now, hold on. Now, that one right there got suede on it and stuff, right? It looks all right. Those 650s are trash. Now, what? You tried them or something? Or you told me the way they look? No, nah, the they look yeah, they, oh, they, yeah, they suck, but this is different. This yeah, looks but like see, this. I was just mad at New Balance didn't take advantage of, like, Quality material. I just, I just like that it's like a redesign. I want them to put suede and all that stuff on basketball sneakers. I don't care nothing about oh, it makes it lighter or heavy. They try to have their own hyperfuse type material. I ain't got time for all that, man. Give me heavy suede. This is up your alley right here. <coughs> what is that? Five fifty? That's the Taylor Swifts. <laughs> If I they see, said that link that she they posted to on that thing bro. was like three fifty, and they were sitting on New Balance website for retail. <laughs> if anybody, 
one more person sends me anything about Taylor Swift and 550, so <laughs> I might block you. Though. And I have a specific group of people that I've blocked before. All right, it's not many because I don't believe in blocking people. Yeah. But don't send me that no more. Like 550. The only person I have blocked on Twitter is uh, Muskrat himself. <laughs> you blocked Elon Musk. Just because how it's funny, like when uh, what other thing do you have a chance to block the owner of it? I don't block. <laughs> I don't have anybody on Twitter blocked. It's more Instagram. I just mute people, like the sneaker detective on Twitter. I him. On Twitter, I mute people. <laughs> yeah, because the reason I mute people on Twitter, the sneaker detective. The the reason I mute people on Twitter is because I don't even use my own feed anymore. I yeah. use the one like suggested feed because I want to re- see other things that like. USC football or what sneakers or whatever. So when I see some see, shit that makes that, no bro. sense, I just mute it. Fam, I went to my thing and it just was nothing but Houston Rockets and in in Toronto Raptors. I'm like, what suggested that this is my? <laughs> I don't care nothing about Van. You might have looked at like a tweet that somebody that Fam, that account said. It was said. like that all. It Why is that toilet paper like right, there? right there? I just noticed that. Cause somebody probably pointing their nose. Huh? Damn, I think There's I brought that in here. Right there. <laughs> But nah, Twitter, you did know. Did you get to the, no, not yet. I'm about to say, did you get to the A6 bodegas? I do like those. That's next. Okay, I do Gel like Gel NYC bodega after like hours. Them the ones you're trying for? No, no. Oh, okay. Them was cool. I'm not mad at them. I These like are them, fire though. right here. Yeah, because they look like, you know what they look like. They brown, though. Oh, don't do that. Fall. Purple, Purple denims? Fall. A little bit. A little bit. They denim. Well, I, yes, but the brown part makes it to where it don't. Yes, that's a different color. I understand that, so it don't look like rubber denims. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, that's a, does this look like a short? Does this look like, does this look like a short one? <laughs> it don't look like purple denim. You said it, not me. Right. That may be Air worth Max copy one too. size collab. They those may be worth trying for the yeah. Air Max size collab. Those possibly. I need then, a twelve and a half though. And then you send them to skate to let them fray them, uh, let them destroy them. <laughs> Just get your Dremel out. Uh, oh, it destroy it. Well, I put my Dremel on the charger, too. I took that joint off the charger, the USB charger. That joint, the motor was spinning. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, I still got them uh, I still got them burgundy ones, too. I can still make Turbo Bordeaux. <laughs> Do you know what fell off hard was Turbo Ones? Uh, green Turbo? Is that the original color? Turbo Green, yeah. Turbo Greens. Woo! Them joints was what like he fell off. Like people wearing them or prices. Prices. I say them joints for uh, re- uh for Rero I had uh, for two twenty. <laughs> that's impossible. No. The simple sent you a size twelve and that th- I said activate the wallet. Yeah, but somebody probably wore it to like uh what's that? That joint was DS. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That joint was factory lace. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I do it too before I take pictures. <laughs> I sell used. Yeah. I ain't I ain't leaving it sloppy. And I'm a, yeah, but it I'm wasn't. It, it wasn't up. laced all the way to the top, though. It was laced at Damn, the bottom somebody, one in factory. Somebody probably wore that to Coachella. Though. Just took that over. That don't matter though. Them turbo prices are low. All right. Jordan Eight playoff. Hey, them joints look nice. Though. No, they don't. Oh, oh, don't do that. Do. I know you're not about to say they wax, so don't do that. They do. You can say you don't like them, and not for the times. That's perfectly Jordan, fine. You're, you're, but Jordan you know playoffs. Jordan eight, so hold suck. on. Jordan eights are not in the top five Jordans. They may not. They're not even the top yeah. ten Jordans. They're That's the, fine. They're not in the top eight. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> they're not in the first eight. <laughs> Jordan eight playoffs. I like them. But Jordan eight playoffs. <laughs> Airships are, nice, are ahead of the But show. I'm not buying them. <laughs> <laughs> they they got to go on sale. I know I'm not paying them. Them joints so. two hundred. Yeah, Two hundred dollars for an eight, yeah, fam. Okay. These sneaker prices are bodacious. <laughs> Bodix bodacious. <laughs> That's kind of a dope little thing, though. The bodacious shirts. I was like, okay. Now Bodix got to be at least what thirty <laughs> one. Bodix has been playing at college football I think for it's fifth. so I think it's fifth. long. I when his dad played at Auburn. Oh, his dad played quarterback? Yeah. I think, oh, you th- I think you're thinking of him. That's how long you've been there. <laughs> I think you mixing it up. I think you just think that was his dad because it was so long ago. Bo Nix has so, been playing. It's only his fifth year. It ain't like, like, I, think I think he's 23. I think there's somebody playing this year who's in their seventh year. No joke. He he's played. He's Oregon? Who? The the oh, no, no, no. No, the guy that has a seven year. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. No, he, um, he got two kids, right? He's 31 with two kids. Well, you talk, you, talk, you, you talking about why you got a lot of cats that's like you 30 years about that old. He was a kicker, from, uh, yeah. He 31 two kids. Cool. Oh, that's different. Yeah, that's the punter or something. But I'm not talking about him. There's someone who's actually been in like seventh year. They've been in college the whole time. 
What do you get? I'm thinking like of like a medical rare shirt. Or Neurologist? Like, yeah, like tear ACL every year or something. A I don't know. Oh. scenario, medical rare shirt. Um, you might be, you might be tough. I think it was a tight end. Yeah. Co- Oregon, COVID, but I think he left Oregon. I think COVID year, they give you a, an yeah, additional free, year of eligibility. Year. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, see, once you get to your late 20s, dude, that's not fair. <laughs> that's Utah's entire roster. People wonder why they're so tough. Don't they like, they're they, starting linebackers are 25. Yeah, because they go to they Col- they mission for yeah. two years and they come back. Like, yeah. everybody from – that's why you – cats you talk from Utah talk shit. I'm like, shut up, fam. Your whole roster is 25 years old. What no wonder so you beating tough. 18. Fam, that cat last night, uh, Eagles, uh, Britain, whatever, Covey. He's like 35 yeah, he's already. already. He's been in the league three years. He's old. Yeah, them cats be old. But that both. cat – Blew up at Utah this freshman year, left for like 27 years, came back, returning punts again. How does this kid still exist? <laughs> Grace of God. You know, went on that mission. I guess so. He believes in it. Went to Venezuela and built a house and came. To- <laughs> <laughs> oh, he probably built more than one because he was gone for a long time. Went on that mission with the Honduras. Dunk low athletic department, deep jungle. What that means, I have no idea. What? It's like forest green. I don't know why it's called that. Deep jungle. I mean... And why I don't know why I understand they lost their coach, but I have no idea why Michigan State's so whack. Like they can't win a game. I mean, you know, there's there's a few things that like I would, you know, Michigan State football. Is, Michigan Green. State football is Michigan State football, but like you know, Michigan State basketball, I'm always very very high on. But I I've never seen a whacker Michigan State football team in my entire life. Though. I, the coach is one thing that's fine, but I, I mean, come on, like they suck. <laughs> All right, like. They suck. I don't get it. Uh, Zoom Freak 5 is coming out. At least it it looks like it. I don't know. Oh, Giannis? Yeah. Uh, Randy Moss. No. Mm, What else is on here? You ain't even said his yet. He waiting for you to say his. I said it. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. The Beams one? I don't even know. Oh, I thought he said Bodega. Nah, Beams. He said Bodega. Nah. No, those, those were the well, ASIC. Bodega ASIC, ge- the beam of, Gel NYC After Hours. The, oh, the Beam of Sockenies. Be- beam of Sockenies, well, I'm It's probably Sockenies. not on GOAT. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm, I'm trying to get those Saturday. Yeah, but you, you have a good shot. Uh, they got an ASU Forum Low coming out. That's for you, Gregory. Um, Dame Certified 2.0. No idea why they have that. Uh, Jordan 13 Purple Venom. <laughs> Jordan 14 Purple Venom. Thir- 13. I mean, what the heck does that look like? Just purple? Oh, my God. What is that, <laughs> I mean, that's toddlers? A, that's a kid shoe, but they, oh. have, they have the GS2. <laughs> or whatever. Get that out of here. That's a fake. I'm just saying. Uh, Air Max 1 Urawa 2.0. I don't know what that means. I see those. Don't know what that means. That bodega gel NYC is kind of. The so Jordan kind of Luca 2 sp- comes out. Speaking to me. I need this shoe, right, not this colorway, but I need this shoe for free right here. I don't know if you've seen the commercial with this one in it. Um, I it's, saw it's like that white somewhere. white and like green on the commercial. Okay, okay. It's kind of fire. I saw that somewhere. But I need it for free, though. I ain't buying it. Then you bypassed the Antoine Walkers? No, I don't think so. The Stewies? Uh, you don't know how to read a calendar. Dude. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Unless you're talking about top tens. Nah, because you already reading stuff that's that's not interesting. I didn't bypass any of that stuff. You missed that Stewie. You missed that Antoine Walker no, top, I, 10, that two, top 10, top 10, 2010. I just asked you if you were talking about 2010s. That's what. Oh. And, and you said no. Mm, I was, no, you said it differently. I said 2010. You said Whatever. 2010. Uh, women's Jordan 1, Coconut Milk High. No, thanks. Women's Air Max 1, White Black. I'm sure Hannah's going to want that. No, I don't, don't know why Greg hated on these right here. Fam, come on. Fire. Don't do that. Just um, his version of buying a, a, a sky. What that Joe we talked about earlier? What is the what? first Jordan? The first nigga Jordan wore it? What the oh, first airship? Uh, that's your no, airship. It's not. It's yeah, a low. It is. That's just your version of airship. It's a low. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. That's just your version of airship. <laughs> Mellow Ball 3? No, thanks. Okay. I guess it's the La France collab. You have to own it. That's your country. <laughs> Uh, ambush, more up tempo, low. Now hold on, now, okay. I'm not mad at a low top version of the Pippins, okay. I'm not mad at it. Am I copping? No. Did I think they could fit air on a low top like that? No, I didn't. <laughs> <You're an idiot. laughs> but I'm not mad at the low top <laughs> You're version. You're the of same it. person. I man. never thought it. I thought it was too many characters. This Joker colorway is insane. 
<laughs> yeah, that, that looked look like joint. something they would have sold. Looks, the looks, got it <laughs> that looked like something they would have sold back in the day when they were selling like clear uh, Air Force Ones at the gas station or something. Fam, <laughs> let me see what day I'm supposed to go to. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, no, I'm supposed to go to. You passed, you passed. Yeah, but we don't come next week. Or are we coming? Well, Pause. Who knows? Uh. Who knows? <laughs> I doubt it. All right. Well, <laughs> I doubt it. Well, then I'll just keep going until to where. You know, Huh? Where you gonna keep going to? To my birthday, though. Uh, Don't go that far. That's two weeks. We normally do two weeks. You no, always we, forget. we skip a week. We don't do skip two weeks. No, I didn't skip two weeks. Yeah, we, but two weeks, you, you're you already in the seventh. George, when's your birthday? You've done two weeks already. This week and next week. You've already done oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. George, October 6th is it. Oh, to the 6th. Oh, no, to yeah. the 10th. Fine, go. Uh, October 12th. Mine but I was seven, counting the wrong days. Mine He's the right. 17th. He's supposed hey, to say Tuesday. If you do something, invite me. I think we had talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> when Blanc didn't invite I think we had talked about know. that before. Blanc. <laughs> my birthday on a Tuesday. I think me and the wife just going to go to probably Ocean Forest. I mean, Forest. I don't ever do anything on my <laughs> actual birthday. That's for little kids. Swanky. <laughs> I know you ain't talking. Ocean 44. I haven't been. I always wanted to go. I haven't been. Oh, I thought you were talking about the other one. I I call that joint Steak and Shake 44 last night. (laughs) You ever been to it? Nah, I never been. Oh, it's good. It's delectable. Get you a seafood tower. Michael Wilbon probably be in there. I haven't had a good steak in a while. (laughs) Michael Wilbon. That's where I see him. That's where I see him. I want to know where that one geek lives who used to be on ESPN all the time, and now he's on local news. Mark May. You know, I know he lives out here. I ran into him. When I lived in Mesa. I I know he lives out here. No joke. I ran into him at the Sprouts on Brown by Mountain View High School in Mesa. He lives in Mesa. Because I talked to him (laughs) at the Sprouts in Mesa. Bro, I see that commercial him, and I go, What were you doing in Mesa? I used to live in Mesa when I first moved to Phoenix. Oh, a while back. That's okay. when I lived in Mason. I, I see him on that 12th. Him and Lou Holtz. Like, Wait a minute. What? Him and Lou. Lou Holtz. Yeah, he's on that local news, local sports, either and, Saturday and, night or Sunday night. After Holtz college had, football uh, or pro football, one of them. College. College, think, is that what it is? I think college. I feel bad for him, though. <laughs> I'm you sure he go, got plenty of money. You go local the bank, to the big one. You don't <laughs> go from the big one back down to local, <laughs> huh? I mean, pretty soon they about to get rid of Pat. What's the name? Once they realize he don't bring the ratings in, who? Uh, Pat Punter. Nah, I yeah. think he bringing them in. Nah, he ain't. Nah, that dude's oh, funny. why you know? Huh? How you? What you mean? How you know he bringing them in? I'm just assuming. He just making up stuff. You no, right? That's what the, I do. I thought you saw the official. Nah, that dude good. He like, bringing them in. No, he's, now, what? Hold on. He's funny. Yeah, hold on, do, man. Wait, 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 wait. Hold he's on. Funny. Hold on. This man George. has zero personality. Hold on. What? Zero. Now. I don't. I never listened to Pat McAfee. I never checked him out or nothing. It was just all clips and stuff from social media that I would see. I didn't find nothing that like where I thought he deserved all the money and praise that he got. College game day, he's perfect for it. Now, that's different. Now hold on. Oh. Now hold on. Cause no one. It comes on at six in the morning. No one watches it. I do. You tripping? No, you don't. Game you day, record it and you watch it later. That's no, different. I do not. I watch it in the morning. I watch Man, it. It ain't it's nothing. Home. It ain't nothing like waking up early with a hot cup of Joe and sitting right there for the college worst. game. Sounds yeah. like the worst thing in the world. That's because you don't like get out to bed. You right? Now you, me, you still awake from the night before. That's probably why. No. George, what time do you wake up on the weekend? It depends what's on. If Sunday. USC at nine a.m. I have to wake up at at nine a.m. on the dot. He I'm go to six bed. He go to every... bed Friday. Wake up Sunday. And then wake up Tuesday. For <laughs> I'm always up at six a.m. Yeah, but no, no, but George be stand up till like five in the morning. See, and stuff I don't like stay up that. Get out of here. I wake up in the morning. I wake up in the morning to go to watch to go to work. A text message from George at like two thirty. I'm like, how the heck is George texting at two thirty? Every once in a while. It's 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 quite often. No, That's it's late. every once in a while. It's quite often. You be staying up super duper late. That's super. Yeah, I do stay up super late every once in a while. Every night. Every weekend, no, definitely not every night, and definitely not every weekend. And, and, and uh, Pat McAfee, man, I, I'm all right. I with got him. too many car shows show. to stay up. I ain't mad at the Pat McAfee show. No. I ain't mad at it. You no, know, I don't watch no. a show. He has zero, he has zero discernible talent. Mm, I ain't mad at zero. It. Well, you know, people. Some people say that about us. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that people are free to say whatever they want. I'm not. I don't care. Y'all knock yourselves out. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Six Aqua. No thanks. <laughs> Paris Go- Goebel, is she named after the Nazi hunter, the Nazi man? His name is not that. Paris Goebel, Goebel, women's dunk low. I mean, it looked like it's spelled pretty close. I don't even know where you at. Huh? Pink, uh, teal, and brown oh, dunk I low. Saw it. Paris Goebel? Yeah, see, but they pronounce it like Goebel. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. 
They did. Hey, you can go ahead and stop releases, bro. I said to the tenth. Oh, that's it. Footscape. Right. Footscape last one. That footscape fire though. No, it's not. Uh huh. <laughs> you smoking. Now I don't know if any women are sitting around like we need a women's exclusive footscape. They're definitely not. Don't worry. I'll I'll break that news for you. <laughs> Facts. And I'm glad you said it. Because every time I say women ain't checking for something, women start hitting me messing. Yo, fam, how do you know? Fam, ain't no woman checking for no for a certain thing. It was a um shoot, what sneaker was it? It was something, and I go, what woman is sitting around looking like, yo, we need our very own. It was something, and I'm going to think about it later on the pod. I don't know, man. Uh, Anthony Edwards, sneaker unveiled. Really? It's not bad. I, I, really? It's not bad. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm not like buying it, it but Now, we've seen pictures of it a long time ago. A long, long time ago. Are you copping? Are you wearing them on the court to go hoop? No, I'm too old for that. Huh? See, that's the thing. Would you, would you buy them for Cortez if he was in the basketball league? Um, was he good? Because <laughs> Cortez is awful at basketball. That's why he plays soccer. I, I, I'm just, I guess I'm not feeling no Adidas basketball shoes. All the Adidas basketballs is kind of nice. I'm just like, mm. see, I think you just don't like Adidas. Huh? I do. You don't like Adidas? I don't nah. like Adidas basketball shoes at all. The only Adidas basketball shoes I like were the Crazy Eights. That's it. Fam, that was a long time That's ago. It. That's the last basketball sneaker you like from Adidas? Yeah. Fam. Like for for example, I've never seen anyone wearing the Hardens. I've never seen anyone wearing Dame Lillard's bas- Dame Lillard's basketball shoe. No one was wearing Derrick Rose basketball. Shoe. Nah, we wore Derrick Rose's. Uh, we wore Derrick Rose. to who? Oh, I did. That's one, it. One Derrick Rose, one and two. That's it. That was it. I mean, yeah, I ain't wearing them to like go outside. You ain't wearing them to brunch. <laughs> Damn, I ain't wearing no hoop sneaker to brunch though. Now for Anthony Edwards himself. I mean, I don't really know if any athlete can sell a sneaker. Like, I mean, it's a, it's one of the better shoes. Yeah. I just don't understand like why you wouldn't put Boost in it. I do appreciate the price. It's only one twenty. Like, I don't know if yeah, y'all noticed, which but, is a you know a fair price. I don't I don't know if y'all noticed, but all signature athlete sneakers except LeBron are like one twenty. Like all of them one twenty one forty. Jaws are only like one thirty. Lucas are only like one twenty. Jason you, Tatum's are one twenty. Zion's are like one thirty one forty. Like. Hmm. No, no signature sneakers except LeBron. LeBron's are the only one that are the 185, 200. There is no other Which signature. Ath- and I mean, if you want to count Kobe's, but I don't really count those. But like no other signature athletes retail sneakers past like 140, you know? which I appreciate. Like, I'm glad, you know what I mean? I think these are fire. They're fine. You know, I don't like the way the booty looks on top. The lace eyelets are a little weird, but I mean, if I play basketball, they cool. And Anthony Edwards is cool. But you got to market this stuff. Yeah. And, like, it's a little baby officially with Adidas or something. I don't know if you saw that. He was performing at the Adidas. I did see that. Little baby in Adidas must got something. Or, or they need to have something. Uh, like, good Lord. Like, they just always working together. But I don't know, man. You ain't copping? Absolutely not. <laughs> not even for uh, – you go to the store on, and with Ruby, take us to the Adidas store. You nope. want to copy for No nope can do. do. George, you copping? Copping Anthony Richardson or Anthony Magoo? You love Who's Anthony one? Edwards. Anthony, I do love Anthony Edwards. I'm I, not buying his shoe. I just shoe. feel like I only remember him from the movie <laughs> on Netflix. That's what I think people really started who were, like, familiar with Anthony Edwards but not really whatever about him. That movie. And then the comment he made about eating fast food or something. Yeah, now he's also made some other comments about gay people and stuff like that that like kind of flew under the radar. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know how he got away with that. Though. He had pulled up. What was the video? He had like pulled up in front of like a gay club, right? And he had filmed I don't it. remember exactly what he did, but I remember he put it on social media. It and was like, were like oh, it was like, violent. He pulled up to the gay club and said, like, oh, no. It was something crazy <laughs> on the video. And then he posted it. Yeah, he wild. Now, I don't want to say he said the F word, Yo. you know, but I don't I know. I mean, Kobe said it on the court and everybody loved Kobe. That's different. That was huh? a different time. And he, it was different okay, time. It was a different time, but that you don't say it was time. different. It was a different time. Okay. It was different, and it was in the heat of battle. Oh. <laughs> All right. It wasn't recreation driving down the street pointing out something. That's the thing we were able different. to get away with and say back It in. wasn't that long. Ago. Two, well, was it 2000? Who knows, but it wasn't that long ago. Oh, I'm about to look that up. Uh, that had to be. I'm about to type out what Kobe did. Kobe did. <laughs> yes, you about to type that word, and it's about to be Big Brother in your phone. <laughs> Job about to text me. 
<laughs> oh, that was 2011. Yeah, you, you could have got away with it that, in that time. God, you, type, you type Kobe F word. <laughs> he got fined 100000 for that joint. And we couldn't even hear him. And we just mouthed it. Like, <laughs> it was mouthed on it. That was 2011. Is 2011 long enough to where you go? That's a different time? To me, yeah. I Is feel- it? I felt social media wasn't, you know, as heavy as it is now. Heck I mean, you no. just had, what, Facebook and Twitter. Like, I looked at some of my old Twitter posts. I said, ooh, yikes. So what? <laughs> yikes. I looked at some of my old Twitter. Like, if someone, that sounds yeah, like a white guy who said the N-word too many times. Like, <laughs> you should have deleted them. Like if, I was running, <laughs> like, if I was running for Congress and someone ran the receipts on my Twitter, who I'm out of here. They get me out of here. You, I, uh, I used to be saying some wild stuff. Okay, give me a sample. <laughs> don't do it. Don't no, fall for it. I speak saying some. Give me a sample. Like, don't fall you said for the F it. word or what? Nah, nah, nothing like that. But like bees and the whole, like dog. I oh, that that ain't, that's like no, Georgia. No. That, Georgia. I think I lost Saturday. a. I think I lost a bet in typed. What's just call it? Plane should crash on the way home. That's bad. Yeah, you're a different person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, that I probably had about 15 years. Yeah, 2011, 9 11 happened. Uh, so was this? Well, how different was times back then? Uh, All <laughs> right. I didn't say they should TSA crash. Their, didn't exist. I didn't say they should crash their plane into a <laughs> federal. Yeah, building. but I'm saying when Kobe Bryant said that, he said different time. Is 2011 far enough to say different time for what? Saying that word that Kobe yeah. got in trouble. You oh got away with it. no! Well, you said he got fined 100 grand. So I feel like yeah, that would that's be the by same a business. I understand that. I I don't feel like it would be more these days. No, no. I feel like socially. What? Oh, if you say that now, you getting suspended for a couple of games. Maybe, but you're not getting fined more than 100k. That's pretty big. You might. You may nah. get fined more than 100 100 nah, in 2011, that's, that's a lot. Huh? Yeah, but he probably was making the same that cats are making right now. Kobe made a lot in his last – his last couple contracts let, was, like, one of the somebody, first people to, like, really get somebody slip crazy. and say that now on the court. Oh, they, they're going to make it. Yeah, they may have to go take uh, classes before they get back on the court. They, they, might, be an ice, they might be in Ice Cube 3-on-3 uh, three three league after that. I think he did, too. Keep They might be in Ice Cube league 3-on-3 if they say Yeah, I'm like, Ja pulled the burner out, and we didn't see him for at least two weeks on the court. Week and wow. a half, uh, like, and I think Ja got fined a, a grip for that burner, didn't? Or did he get fined at all? He didn't get fined, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm just like, was the 2011 really? that far back to be like it times was. was different? Okay, see when I when people start saying, "Yo, it was wild," I think 2005, yeah. 1999. But, but I think to, 2011, I you think. definitely go back to 2011. I know George was wild back then. When? Uh, 1997 through 2000. Man, y'all have no 10. idea, bro. When, when the neighborhood I grew up in, I was. I'm not gonna say it on the show. I'll tell you afterwards. All right? I said things that I wouldn't say these days. Let's just put it that way. Gets chopped up today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. But look, Anthony Edwards with a shoe, fine, awesome. Uh, I mean, what do you want to do? Like. Adidas, like I said, it's, an, it's nice. Now I haven't gone and like examined the pictures of all right. the shoe, but I saw the picture of the shoe. It's nice. It's a nice shoe. Doesn't have boost though. I like the price point, one twenty. That's fine. But uh, you know, with Anthony Edwards, it's Adidas. Adidas basketball lineup is just not. It's not going to do nothing for you. Yeah, and that's just, that's why I was very adamant about them needing Kyrie. Like you need a championship person on your thing to solidify your basketball line. There's not one person on with the championship. There's only one person on that entire roster that's been to the finals, and that was Harden with the Thunder back then. So you that's got Trey Long, man. you got Trey Young, you got Dame Lillard, you got Spider Mitchell, you got Donovan Mitchell, you got uh, Anthony Edwards. It, like that's not that's not good enough. You still got D Rose forever contract, whatever he got. That ain't good enough. Is he still in the league? Yeah, he's on Milwaukee now. That's what I kept saying. Oh, no, Milwaukee, uh, Memphis. That's why they kept saying Guns and Roses. They were saying Ja got the guns and he D-Rose, so they got Guns and Roses. But shout out to them, man. Uh, Jordan 3, J Balvin, did y'all try for it? I'm going to bring that up. Did you try for it? No. Uh, I tried for it. Too much money. I tried for it everywhere, but that joke was 250 I'm not paying that. It doesn't suck, but it's a three. I'm not wearing it. I mean... Oh, you know what? When I was trying, I for had it, two better threes recently, and so I both know. of them. So that's my thing. When I was trying for the J Balvin three, I go, I haven't even worn my Jordan three uh, reimagined. What on earth am I gonna do with and this? The resale on and those are like two fifty. Oh I yeah, them joints cheap. That one and uh, I said I'm a twelve and a half to buy. East Coast three. What's that? East Coast three called? What's that one? Uh, I'm a one year three. I had both of those. Sold both. Didn't wear them. Wait a minute, you had a one year three? That's right. I, I like bits. threes. 
Must be nice. Black Seaman 3. Both of them are better than J Balvin 3. Why would I cop J Balvin 3 unless it was just for retail? I'm not going to argue with anybody who says. I would have never agreed or say it, but like I love the way the Black Seaman 3 looks on everybody else. Like it just looks awful on me. I love them. I wear them all the time. But when I see a black cement, I'm like, man, I'm joints is dope. I'm like, yo, I gotta give me a pair. I, I put them on. I'll be like, oh my god, I look ridiculous. I in these, love man. those. Dogs. I can't. I look down on them. All I see is it's a wide. It's too wide for me. Now, two fifty for this J Balvin. I don't know, man. Uh, I I don't think I could get to the two fifty retail. I feel like we've talked about this before. I don't know if I could do the two fifty retail, man. That joint was like after taxes and shipping. I think it was like oh, 280 or something. Yeah, oh, no. 281 Absolutely. or something like that. I don't then think I know I could I'm do probably that. not going to wear them off. No. Nah. Now, I would say that, like, I could, I could possibly understand why the price was like that only because um, the smiley face in the back of the sneaker, they had to make that tab. You know what I mean? What you eating, Gump? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I can hear that in the mic, bro. You should have oh. put that in, though. Look at you. <laughs> he must have been pawing long enough. Bro. I'm like, what is that noise? You got nicotine over there. Yeah, right? I thought like, oh, well, he probably was for a cigarette. What kind of gum is that? I don't know. Some my wife bought me back from the dentist. Fam, you eat dentist gum now? Sugar free. <laughs> you know, I gotta keep my sugar down so I don't get diabetes like Big Mama. Are you worried about that, or does that run in the family? It run in the family. My oh, okay, because you talk about it a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because when I had my checkup last year, my sugar was high. Oh, really? And I said, yeah, I got to get it down. Like, it wasn't high enough to where they'd be like, you got to do something about it? Yeah. Or like, yeah. And That's why I started taking fitness series, and I don't, I don't even eat sugar that much like I used to. Oh. Uh, and you don't want to take medicine for it? Or? I'm already on medicine for cholesterol. Yeah, okay. Me too. So... <laughs> Yes or no? Because, <laughs> I mean, they can do the same thing for nah, you with that other thing, too. Nah, oh, just one. I can, oh, okay. I can, do the, I can, yeah, I can cut down on sugar. Right. <laughs> I can't cut down on sugar. I tried. I did it for that one block of time when I have no sugar, no candy, no nothing. For when Rocio was doing Lent or whatever for her religion, I was like, I'll do it with you. No, no nothing. I did it, and it was the best time of my life. Like, I felt better. I felt good. Now that I'm back, I just, I can't. Like, I... <laughs> I can't. I probably should. Now that I'm back. Like, I keep sugar-free cookies in the house, all that. I ain't trying to, nope. Trying to keep I think I'd rather just not have any if I got to do that. Uh, Some of the sugar-free cookies are not bad, though. That's impossible. Bro. Like, I was at the restaurant the other day from? drinking Coke Zero. I said, where have I become? You don't like Coke Zero, though? Coke Zero kind of fire, though. Nah, I don't like it. Like, we was at the movies. I got popcorn and Coke Zero. I said, this sucks. Coke Zero don't taste that different than regular Coke. Like, bro. give me a root bill. Give me a root bill with all the sugar in it. What about root beer zero? Ain't no such thing? Uh, Dang. I don't. love root beer. Really? Like Sound that like... root beer from Culver's? <laughs> Best root beer you'll ever drink. I ain't never been to Culver's. I've been to Culver's one time in my life. Though. Love Culver's. Culver's, Culver's might beer. be overrated. It's though. not. And they got nasty words like custard. I don't know what that is. Oh, that, oh, that custard cream. Oh, God. So good. The Butterfinger with the marshmallow cream. Wait, what? Top tier. That sounds kind of good. Top tier. I don't know. You go to Culver's? Y'all started saying Custer, man. What is going on? I mean, he's Culver's, like going to Cu- Culver's. Culver's food is pretty good, but I'm but I don't need to go there. The I mean, butter there's, burgers. There's oh, other God. stuff that's before Who? that. The butter burgers. Oh, but see, I, I ain't been to Culver's in a long time. I said what a burger. What a burger trash. You bro. tripping? What a burger is trash. Go to what a burger in Texas. You tripping? It depends. That's different. Melt, that's it, different. It depends what you get. They got some stuff that's good. No, the patty melt. It's not good. better than In and Out, but they got some stuff that's good. I mean, hold on. Now, what a and what a burger is good, but the quality in Arizona. It used to be fire back in the day in the nineties and stuff like that. It was a go to spot. Now it's just a flat burger and a and a, and a wrapper. Now it's it's equivalent to getting a uh, a hamburger at McDonald's. Now. I had, no, I had something a couple weeks yeah, ago that was like a new thing that was good. Yeah, like, well, hot, they had onion rings on it, some burgers. No, sauce. they had, like, a new sauce or something they had made, and it had bacon and something else. It was I good. S- I still have not found, like, a fire burger place. And please don't say Chuck Box. I think Chuck Box is extremely overrated. That one by ASU? I mean, yes, it's that, well, whack. listen, the number one burger that you eat isn't going to be a charbroiled burger anyways. I mean, that why would you pick a charbroiled burger for No, best burger is either going to be a smash burger or, like, a restaurant style. Like, I'm talking, like, no chain. Like a mom and pop burger. Yeah, spot. but uh, okay. So just in general, a a smoke house burger or whatever you want to call it, a grill, a flat like a flame grill burger is not going to be your best way to cook up hamburger patty. You know what I'm saying? Well, now why is that? Because of the physics of cooking, like the chemistry of cooking a burger. You you go, you watch a million food shows. You should know this. I don't care about none of that, as long as it tastes good. <laughs> I understand like, that. I the way to make none of that. Do you not understand how like meat works? 
You know what my yard reaction is? Fam, I just put the burger on the fire and yeah. eat it. Man. I ain't sitting you there talking about the chemical the reaction the of the beef. Y'all the, literally the just had a conversation about going to Ocean 44. You're going there because it has better quality ingredients and they're cooking it better than That's Red Lobster. That's fine. All right. So you, you went from talking about what's a good burger to like what you're going to do at home. A char I'm not talking about what you're going to do at home. Uh, hold on. A, a burger to me, uh, fine. Ingredients wise is one thing. That's 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 fine. Okay, the beef, whatever the type of beef is, whatever. Yes, the best that's way to cook thing. a burger is not going to be the way that you're talking so about. What is your go-to burger spot that. that's not a chain? Well, there's a couple of them. So the one that we go to, which actually is Flame Grill, which is kind of weird. The one we go to oh, yeah. is pretty good for lunch. It's okay. It, it, it's what's better. It, what's it I mean, it's it, called Burger I, Works. It's better than it's better than Chuck Box if you want that kind of burger. Is it downtown? Yeah, okay. it's like Thomas and Fifteenth nah, Avenue. Yeah, it's by Phoenix College. I don't know if you okay. know. I know what it's like. Um, but the best burgers in Phoenix that I've had, um, I, I mean, it's hard to say. It's, it's hard to say years. like what's number one. But um, Ingo's Tasty Food is one. That's right it. next to what's it called? Ingo's Tasty Food. Never heard of it. It's right next to La Grande Orange across the street, owned by the same company. Um, I feel like you said La Grande Orange had the best burger the, at one point. They, it was rated number one by like the Arizona Republic I don't person or whatever. Like that. Yeah, but you still got to try what they list out, though. You know what I mean? Like, I don't believe critics. I understand that. You still got to <laughs> try the what critic. they do. No, you're not. You watch the movie, you don't, the movie commercials. You don't even know what a Maya reaction was. You definitely not a food critic. Hold on. I know what a Maya reaction. I never thought about it with my burger. That's okay. the whole point. It happens with beef and meat. You're not going to get a Maya reaction with cooking like asparagus. Huh? <laughs> I mean, I. Critics. That say the top pizza in the state, and the, I don't believe that stuff. I never believe any of that stuff. Though. So well, I remember they was talking about the pizza type of oven Bianco. you cook pizza in matters. Eh. What? When they were saying pizza Bianco is the pizza Bianco. Eh. It's, the, it's the best ingredients. Best pizza place I've been to here is Craft Sixty Four in Scottsdale, by far. I haven't been there. Yeah, I don't. I haven't been there either, so I can't. Is that judge a pizza place? One. Yes. There, oh, okay. there are three wild. pizza. Pl- well, f- so if, if you honey, include pizza and Bianco. Huh. If what, you include Pizza Pizzeria Bianco, there are three spectacular pizzas here. I haven't been there, so I don't know about that one. But Mike's Pizza in t- in Mesa, uh, M Y K E S. I think I've been there. I think I've been Mike's there. Pizza is spectacular. You talking about Mafia Mike's? No, M Y K E S. I think I've been there before. My, it was in like a <laughs> warehouse, and they sold ciders there. No, I haven't been there. I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, because I, so. I think I was telling Rico about that place. That I want so to Mike's try. Pizza. Crust Brothers, which is like they have, they're, it's not a chain, but they have more than one location, so okay. it's not like your super niche pizza. But Crust Brothers is really good. Um, Pizzeria Bianco's ingredients are better than anybody's. Now he, you have to want that style of pizza. It's Napoli style pizza, Neapolitan style pizza. So you have to want that in order to think it's good. Yes, and and you go in there, it's like date pizza. You... Like that's what uh, Barstool Pizza Man calls it date pizza. Like you, you that's a there. perfect. Uh, that's what you call it. It's date pizza. You trying to be oh, not cute. too messy. Yeah. yeah, you you know come out. Yeah, like knife fancy. and a fork pizza because it's like a little floppy. It's yeah. not super crisp. You know what I mean? And but the old, ingredients are second to none. The ingredients aren't necessarily cooked into the pizza. It's just on the pizza. See, like, I need grease. You got it's a style. It, of, but that's the thing is in the Napoli region of. Italy, that's how it's made. Yeah. So, like, that's why, you know, so there's that one. And then the other one that's the newest of all the other ones is downtown. The one I keep telling Greg we need to go to, but the line was kind of stupid ever since Portnoy Man went there. We got to prove that with uh, you. Oh, what's the name of that one? Uh, Ziggy's. Phoenix actually isn't bad. Ziggy's. Yeah, it's across the street from get? Ziggy's. The food scene in Phoenix actually isn't bad. No, it's not that bad. You got to go out. You got to look around and stuff. I started following a lot more food things just to check stuff out. Uh, I'm I like the parlor. Parlor is good to me. Like, I heard. I don't think I've, I think the parlor pizza is actually really good. Like to be telling the truth. So I think that's one that's underrated and looked over. They got like the specialty pizzas that are really good. Like yeah. you know, um, but honey on pizza. Oh my god! I had like my boy. I've wife had was, like, that before tried. somewhere. I tried it. I ain't. I, I haven't been back ever since. I love Craft Forty Four. Where's that? Scottsdale. Craft Sixty Four. Sixty Four. There's a lot of places that in the Valley Ho. There's a lot oh, of places okay. that do that. Hot honey. It's on in the pizza. Valley Ho. No, it's next to it. Next like to you can it? walk from the Valley Hotel to Crown really? Sixty Four. Oh, okay. Me and my wife go at least once a quarter. I guess you can say we go. We oh, love okay. That place. Once a quarter. How are you about to be? Thirty-eight. Oh, okay. George about to be. Oh. George about to be what? Forty-two. Forty-four. Forty-four. <laughs> God. Man, where is the corner? Oh, Via Della. 
Via Della is the other one. Via Della is um, like a, they have different styles of pizza, but basically it's like New York style. Like they have round Sicilian, they call it grandma pie, but the ingredients are some of the same ingredients that Bianco uses. You have to text me all those spots. Yeah, so those are the best pizza places that I've been to in here in Phoenix. The reason why I tend to know a little bit more about food kind of stuff is because my wife, like at least pizza, my wife worked at a pizzeria forever. So if you go to Awatuki, their pizza is really good down there, but it's far, you know what I mean? So it's like we don't go there very often, Florencia. Um, but those would probably be my top five. But I haven't been to Kraft 64. I also haven't been to like Il Bosco or whatever that place is called. A lot of people are high on that one. I've never even heard of these places. Uh, I actually, go nowhere. That's because you have zero culture. Spot, Greg, not too far from us, it's in uh, Verado. <laughs> Something crazy pizza is actually pretty good. In Verado. What the call? Child crazy. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I ain't been there before. Pizza not bad. But I burgers, burgers. Uh, My kids dictate where I go. So Ingo's Tasty <laughs> Food is a good one. St. Francis used to have a good one. I don't think nah, it's open anymore, no more. though. Nah, I don't think it's, it's not open anymore. Yeah, I don't think it's open. But St. Francis, Francis is really stupid good. stupid expensive, too. But St. Francis is more like um, the restaurant style burger. So, like, when I say restaurant style burger, I mean the place that's taking like a super thick patty like that and putting like Gruyere and yeah, nonsense. Yeah, I had that burger there. It, it, it was good, so but it's like, like the size it was of a Mondo burger. See, I don't. I, <laughs> a Mondo burger, yes. <laughs> I don't like burgers like that. Where it's like this, and then they throw some stuff on it. And you it's bite inedible it off to me. Up. Like, I can't enjoy it. If your patty is like this, and like I gotta cut it in sections just to eat that uh, joint, I don't like but that. They, I will slice it in half. That's the fine. reason why stuff like that is good is because they put it in a cast iron pan, and then they'll put it in like the the broiler or it. whatever. The yeah, they, they do that butter, butter and they time, do all that, and then they slide it under that flame. Yeah, they put it. And uh, let the, the, I don't I forgot exactly hard. what that thing oh, is called, but yeah. it's a broiler basically to like melt the cheese and whatever else is on there. But yeah, so. In my opinion, you're never going to get the best, a good burger when you go to a, like a flame broil burger place. Because it's not, that's not how to cook a, a hamburger patty, right? I went to St. Francis one time and I was like, yeah, I'll get the chicken. They brought me an actual whole chicken. Meal. Well, I'm not even joking. <laughs> and that was for lunch. And I was like, what the heck is this? They were like, oh, we just, they had like cut the chicken down the middle and they smashed it. It was like flat. I'm not eating the whole chicken for lunch, bro. Like, I'm not doing See, for that. lunch, dog, I cannot eat heavy at all. And that joke was $35, huh? I, my lunch be, my lunches are always super light. I'm always trying to eat a salad for lunch. I cannot eat nothing heavy for lunch. See, I eat Subway every single day, pretty much. You know? Like, I just... Like, bread, I cannot do that for lunch. I only do I try Subway every it. single day, not because I think it's a... I mean, it's Subway is fine, but, like, it's just affordable. Like, I'm so sick of spending money. Now, me and George, on Fridays, we go and eat pretty bad on Fridays. Yeah. Every Friday, but, you know. I need to stop doing that. You know? We be eating off on Friday. You know? uh, shit, what was we talking about? Yeah, but there's not too many places that's like, unless you go to like a Steak 44 where you can get like asparagus, potato, chicken. Like there's not a lot of places you're going to go for lunch that's going to be healthy. I mean, I also don't look for the healthy options on some of that and then, stuff. Speaking so. of lunch, man, these salad places salad. I mean, be taxing. $15 if you put or sixteen dollars for a salad, if you put a lot of salt and 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 dressing on a salad, it's not going to be great for you to begin with. But you're still getting those vegetables in your system, so you're still pulling nutrients right, from Greek that. Greek salads you know got me mean? in a headlock. Oh yeah, that's all I get is Greek salads. I don't be messing around with other salads that much. Oh my god, a Greek salad is my go-to anywhere Ooh. I can go. Now I will go ahead and, and flip the you know, little apple cranberry. I don't fool with that. Um, what's the joint at Papa Murphy's? This is one that got like a candy almonds, walnuts. See, I mess with that. Nah. With a nice little vinaigrette. I used to didn't fruit because I don't eat fruit. Fruit in the salad, I don't y'all smoke it. But not fruit with the dry cranberries with the candy mm. walnuts. Okay. Oh yeah, perfection. <laughs> Uh, Jay Balvin's didn't cop, whatever. Nike selling refurbished sneakers. Anybody care? I actually like that. Idea. Did yeah, you thought, go I to? That was a good idea. Did you go to the site though? Nah, that haven't. stuff is cheap. I was like, yo, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> if, it's a good idea. Well, what? So I've seen two different things. I saw they're basically selling like B grades, which is still a brand new shoe, and then someone else said they're selling used shoes. So what? The what's website. the real story? So, and then someone else said the website was taken down. No, it's not. Dang it, man. I had the site up to look at it, and I closed the thing. So I went to it, right? And it's legit like, uh, and at first I was like, all right, well, I clearly probably everybody cleared it out. It probably nothing but some, like, whack little Pegasus or some whatever on there. No, that joint had Jordans, LeBrons, LeBron, the first LeBron, what the joint's called? Zoom Generations. Them joints were $100. Now, here's the thing. It goes, like, $100 to, like, $120 because when you go into it, you select your size, and it's, like, good, very good, slightly good. 
So it's like you select the slightly good, that one's 114. You select the very good, which may be like clearly they were tried on, those may be like 130, you know. But the like good, which means good could mean a scratch on it, you know, a rip or or who knows, no box, whatever it means. Those are like 120, but still it's still cheap. So are the Nike outlet stores and that Nike store in Desert Ridge, are they selling the refurbished Yeah, they've always sell us the refurbished stuff. They've sold that stuff for a long time. Okay. But, like, it's just far in between. Like, now I've seen cats like, yo, Nike should just donate that stuff. Why are they selling it? But I'm like, why? Like, uh, you might as well sell it and whatnot. And I'll tell you, like, if you go on that site, there's some good stuff on there. Like, I'm talking, like, you know, like them, like, runners where you're, like, Man, I love the vitals, but I ain't paying no hundred ninety. Yeah. I was like, yo, one twenty five. Like maybe I'll come in here and grab one. Like, and I don't got a problem buying you shoes. I don't know about y'all. But. I think I only got one. Oh, so are they used or are they just they used just scuff like factory scuff? Because that's different. It depends. So, Does oh, it well, say it on what? the thing? You know what? Let's, let me go to the site, man. I, I gotta go to it. But see, the used shoes I bought was from a friend though. Like they were in an immaculate condition. Oh yeah, that's different. Like, but like me going to a thrift store and buy shoes? No, no, sir. Like, you ain't going to Buffalo Exchange? Nah, not buying no shoes there. No, sir. I ain't never been. I don't know how cats be going to them joints and find this stuff. Nah, least. don't get me wrong. Like, certain, like this jersey, this jersey was like from the thrift store. Like, I would definitely yeah, vintage clothing, but sneakers and hats, no, not for me. Fam, buying a hat, I'm not, uh, I bought a hat before. I am not buying a used hat and sneakers from a thrift store. All right, so here it is right here. So let's do highest first. So I'm going to do high to low. Let's close that. Wait a minute. This is the regular Nike site. Fam, how do you do this? Uh, I ain't got time for this. Materials. Because, like, it gives you the guideline of what they do. So this, uh, so, so this is what they do. It says, step one, the expert expects to inspects the sneaker. Step two, each eligible product is carefully cleaned and sanitized. So these are used sneakers. Yeah. Like, they're refurbished. I don't think they're B-grades. Like, I think they're sneakers that people return in that 30 day window so you get that window where it's like you could so and i tell people all the time on the podcast and shout out to everybody who listened to the podcast and did what i told them a lot of people had no idea you could take back nike sneakers forever if they're not worn forever so it's kind of like how um that the nordstrom's last chance story is like long as there's a nordstrom's nordstrom's product you can bring it back basically so the same thing with Nike. They have this window where it's like 30 days or 45 days or something. Like, you could legit beat that joint to the ground and go to Nike and be like, yeah, <laughs> it ain't working for me. I ain't feeling that. You In a 30-day window. In a 30-day window. We're receiving whatnot, and they give you – you can return them, like whatnot. So, typically, like with those sneakers, they get a – and this is what I've been told – they get a lot of sneakers with cats buy them and they rock them for a few weeks and then they bring them back. You know what I mean? And then they resell those in those refurbished boxes at the outlet and stuff like that. Because there's times I'll go to the outlet and look up like, man, this cat, this joint got sock lint all in it. This joint bottom all dirty. Like, it's more than tried on. Yeah. But that's what this site is. So, hold on. I'm trying to actually go to the actual site. Because when I went to it, I was like, fam, I may be copping. Let me see. Oh, and, like, for whatever reason, like, you have to log in every single time you go to it because it's not on the app. It's only online. Like so it's the, its own. Yeah, like it's its own, own thing. Let me see. My phone is about to die, die. Let me see. 1980. I don't want to set my password out loud. Uh, it depends on the shoe. Yeah, some shoes are obviously going to show more wear than others. I mean, I don't think I would buy, like, a three or a four on there. But, like, an ultra, I mean, it's not a Nike shoe, but, you know, like an Ultra Boost or a... Uh, Air Max One or something like that. I think I'd be totally fine buying something like that or a, a flying ass shoe. I'll be honest, a four. Like if it's like the reason why I say fours? three or four is because the back of the bottom always peels. I mean, and this joint says it's a beta website, so it's hmm. you know it's they not a, it's not an alpha beta. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So let's do a high low. So look, that joint got penny. That joint got penny ones on there for one fourteen. 
Guess I need to put my Benny ones on online for 114. <laughs> <laughs> like, it got LeBron 20s. It got Penny 2s, LeBron 20s. I ain't going to lie, man. I did want those Christmas LeBron 20s, but I wasn't Look at the Zoom generation of gray ones. That joined $95. The retail was $190. So I'm going to have to look on that website. So I'm you got to go in there and take a gander. Look I'm at the all-white Penny. But, so. okay, so then why does it have a stock photo if the picture, oh, okay. if the shoe is so dusty? It, it says that. So <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> right, hold on. All right, come on. I'm going to show you. Cats um, just trying to put goat out of business or something, which, I mean, I could care less. But Or wait, is goat paying us anymore? <laughs> goat. goat. Hey, don't goat. like us. Uh. Goat, pay us. Remember when that or cat. Else. Remember when that cat. Remember that episode we did that I didn't put out? Were you here when the cat called and said how he broke into the goat warehouse? Yeah. We did. I think I still had that episode somewhere. I didn't put it out because then <laughs> goat, goat had reached out. So this cat had broke into the goat warehouse in Jersey, right? And uh, went in there and stole a bunch of stuff. It was a, it was in the news too. It was like like a news it was story a big big thing. And like uh, and he was like, How it was me. Was we this? can't confirm it was him, but a lot of the details he said yeah. was like stuff that made it. Man, sound this right. was like episode one hundred thirty. It was a long time ago. Yeah. So this cat had broken to the Jersey warehouse. I mean, he called and told like you know. So I, what I did, I broke the gate open. I, he went through. I hope I still got that episode somewhere. <laughs> and he did the whole spiel right. So I don't even I didn't put the episode out, right? So somehow it got back to Goat that I had this, right? So then Goat sent me the Hey fam, look, we were like y'all not to put this out, you know, yada yada yada. They were like, yo, if you're ever in California, we'll give you a tour. Like trying to give us all this stuff, right? And I'm like, oh no, man, that story is kind of fire. Like I wanna put it out. <laughs> and he was like, nah, come on, man. Like, whatever. And I was like, you know what? Fine. Like it was early in the podcast game, so I'm like, you know, I'm thinking to myself, you know, all right, I scratch your back, you go scratch my back later, you know, type thing. But it was a funny story. You know? But uh, hold on. So right here, it says gently worn. They only got 111 and a half. Right? How much is it? It's uh, 90. And it's a penny, a penny two. Okay. So it's like, you know, they got things in here, you know. Uh, what size you wear, George? 12? Mm -hmm. Let's get George. 12, 12 and a half. 12, 12 and a half. 12, 12 and a half. Let's do. Let's, let's see if they got some twelve and a halves for you. Twelve and a half and twelves. So show results. I did high to low because you know the best one is the high Damn. price. Anyways, I ain't got nothing. It ain't popping up. But you know, gently worn, slightly yeah, worn. Yeah, I have stuff to check like out the that. website right. and actually look. Um. Oh, here it is, right here. So, yeah, they got like some Jordan twenty five or something. Because like, certain uh, shoes look better when they've been worn, like outside of ones, of course. George, there you go, fam. Yo, yo, Grails, one of your Grails, the how, jump man. How many they got? They got a size twelve. How much is it? Like new. For eighty seven dollars. They got a uh, Air now, Challenge LWP. Slightly, <laughs> like, yeah, slightly worn, seventy two fifty. <laughs> My dookie, all right. Slightly um, worn. Yeah, I'm definitely. Somebody check probably puts their penis out. in that joint or something. Dude. You <laughs> never know. <though. laughs> <laughs> a weird person. <laughs> I'm, I'm just coming up with, with crazy. That would only that matter. Happen. That would only matter if you buy it and try to put yours in it. And then it's like, all right, now you got <laughs> a problem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, did they clean? Did they use many worlds? Did it any says, worlds clean it? <laughs> <laughs> it says they clean and sanitize each pair. But anyway, shout out to Nike. I mean, I, hey, maybe one day I'll go in there and cop something, but I doubt it. And that was the basketball section. So the runner, it's got all the sections in there. So and if people got kids and stuff like that, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it going there and grab your kids some cleats or whatever they got on that joint. So, anyways, all right. Anybody, you didn't watch Colorado, Oregon? No, I didn't get a chance to see it. But since it's the Dion segment, let me put my shades on with my hat. See, I pre-ordered. <laughs> I pre-ordered. Pre -order. the Dion shades. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought you were about to say something with the game pre order. No, I was no, like, no, what? No, no. Huh? How about, yeah, I was with uh, George. Like, nah, pre -order I pre ordered the, the, <laughs> pre the prime gold ones. Yeah. Uh, George is cheap. 60 bucks? Like, why not? Like, you know, I spent way more on other things. I understand before. why you're doing that, but you also know that you're just giving them NIL money to make Colorado better when you're a fan of ASU. I don't care about No, don't do that. I don't care. No, about I'm just right asking. There. All right. That, I, if I if you don't care, deep, you don't care. Yeah. I'm just asking. I love. Are you going to so you you take care? Cortez to the Colorado and ASU game? No. Because I, fam, I looked do at you tickets care? already. No, I don't care. Do you want ASU to beat Colorado? Fam. ASU may be Colorado. I'm just asking a question. Are you rooting for ASU when they play Colorado? Of course Colorado? I'm rooting okay. for ASU to be Colorado. So then it matters. But if Colorado wins, I ain't going to be like now, rats. I'm not mad at you for buying glasses. I'm just asking you because we're on a show. Okay. We're on a talk show. 
<laughs> I mean, gotta bring it up. I love what Dion is doing in college football. I absolutely love it. That's fine. Can if we take like it further to... than that? Let's. Okay, you say why you love it first. Because he's black and it's fire. Okay, because so I'm, I'm gonna, gonna ask to, y'all about that I'm, after I'm, next. So, so I'm gonna try don't to look at me like that. You don't have to ask. I'm that. gonna try to be PG-13 because this is a sneak disc podcast. No, but why? This yeah, ain't no why? PG-13. No, podcast. But, but why? Why you gotta be PG-13? I, I, I feel like my opinions. I love what Dion is doing because it's now hold on you didn't come from hbcu now i know and people were uh, mad i about, wasn't i wasn't okay, okay, oh wasn't. that video of that kicker is pretty funny like i honestly think she was trying to kick it. i'm not trying to change the subject but i don't know if yeah. you saw that i honestly think they were trying to do some kind of onside kick but her out there with a knee brace on to have me in stitches i don't know if you saw the video i don't even know what you're talking about oh my god there's a kicker now the kicker now is at jackson state and somebody tweeted Dion leaves, and now they got a white kicker out there. Now, I think she Hispanic, first so, of all. So, but. I, so I was listening to, I think it was Bomani. <laughs> Look at him. Like, if you think about it, how many college coaches have a personality? It's all about the program. Um, Yes and no. Now, a lot of college coaches don't have a personality, but that's their personality, which makes it. It's like Nick Saban. It, his personality is like Bill Belichick. It's like the allure of a personality. Okay. It's like. Dry on purpose. Well, if you wouldn't say that, if Nick Saban was a wasn't a winner, uh, I'd hate his guts. If if you're not a winner, <laughs> if you're not a win, like Bill Belichick being a loser now, then it, it ain't funny no more. It ain't yeah. fly. Like you come to a press conference, oh, 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 but then again, think about it. Would college coaches have a personality? It's the same. Button up polo that you get from the website, the bookstore. Like, you know, we're gonna play hard and work hard with the khakis and. No, no, no. Yeah, okay, okay. I see where you're going now. Okay, go. Keep going. Keep going. And I love that Dion is bringing that. You know, that flamboyant, braggadocious. Like, we gonna whoop your butts. We don't care. We gonna talk trash. This is who we are, and this is what we're gonna do. And a lot of coaches don't like that because they're like, you need to be humble and work hard. And I hate the whole. He needs to be humble. Shut up. It's sports. It's competitive. I don't care about the whole you need to be humble. I hate when people say that. No, I, I do too. And isn't sports supposed to be entertaining? Now, look, yes. But what you're describing is like two different type of personalities. And I talked about this uh, the episode I did about myself. Like, I, I don't like when people. So what's a uh, Detroit Lions coach name? Dan Campbell. Dan Campbell. Oh my god! Everybody gosh, kneecaps uh, and uh. fam. People watch Hard Knocks and they look a little. Couple press conferences from him. Oh, that's an old ball coach. Oh great. Oh man, I, I run through a wall for him yeah. and all that. And I'm like, wait a minute. Just because he gets on here, like, oh bro, we're gonna. Oh, you know, he gets all that like that ram that. High energy, you know. We 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 work hard. We do all that yeah. and like that. And Dion, uh, now nah, we cool. We 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 gonna cool. We gonna come in there. We gonna he throw a few little quotes, a few little slick lines, a oh, few he, little things. We cool. Type of, like uh, yeah, it, <laughs> like it's a, a black preacher that's, back home. That's what it is. It's like he can make you believe anything, just like a Dan Campbell could get in a huddle and rile them up and make catch. Yeah, yeah, bang their head on the wall and bang helmets. It's the exact same thing. Because if you think about it, all it's pre-game, just different. most pregame speeches are so silly. If you just sit and listen to them, you're like, what are you talking about? Now, it's, hold it's on. so silly. Because, hold on. Now, Lanning's pregame speech to Oregon, it was fire. Ah, oh, stop it. Don't do that. Stop it. Was, it. No, hold on. It was just a regular rah-rah, get my guys, they're fighting for clicks and we're fighting for wins. Now, hold ah. on now. It, it, it was fire, though. <laughs> it was not. Yes, it was. It was just a regular speech. No, 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 no. If, if the reaction would have been better by the players, you wouldn't have said that. The players were locked in. All right? They was locked because in. Because everybody wants to be Dion. Hold No. No. Hold yes. on now. Hold on. Ain't nobody a bigger fan than Dion. And anything from – I've – Every Dion sneaker that ever created, I've owned. Every period, okay? I love Dion Sanders. Always have, always did. I remember I was made my own rap song in seventh grade just because of Dion had the the rap song and the golf cart, the gold chain, and the, the money. must be the money. I would rap it at lunch, my own version of that to everybody. Hey, yo, great rap the song. I would rap it, no joke, just because of <laughs> Dion. Did you have an S curl? That's no honestly, jokes. honestly, that song might be the only absurd thing Dion has ever done because like, it's absurd. no <laughs> joke. Dion no. is so talented. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay, so no, you hold on. Oh, back on landing. Hold on, let me talk about landing. I know. Real quick. Oh, I thought you finna. Because I want to say something about that too. You have to take, and this is the thing. Now, 
I will say this because wait, I don't like. I want to say something. I don't like how. I mean, I do when I don't, and I get what Dan's point, but I don't like how his response to getting their butts kicked. I didn't care for that. Like, what you to, want him to say? Hold on. I didn't care for it because it comes with so much with what they're doing. Like, fam, I am 99.9% that Offset and a lot of cats like that didn't know where Boulder was. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I mean, they might have performed there before, but yeah. That's yeah. funny. Fine. But I doubt it. They've been to Denver. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I, I doubt it. Okay. Okay. Now, that's fine. The, the watch and- I love it. I love it. I love it. But fam, you go out there and get your doors blown off. You getting these jokes too. You supposed to? I don't, okay, okay. I don't care how much I love you. I, now, the landing pregame speech, it was exactly what you were supposed to say. Because that's not that's not a, that's not a play. Dion them. Oh, come on, man. That's for the money. He said this ain't Hollywood. The game ain't played in Hollywood. It's played on the grass. Yeah. The catcher's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. He said like, this ain't this ain't for likes. If they but put see, clicks. Wait, 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 wait. Let me say what I want to say before you say anything. It was a fire speech. Now, at the press conference and stuff like that, you ask Dion about it. Cool, because Dion is right. These schools and all these people and coaches and people are focused on beating him. All yes. right. That's I get that, and he's like, "Hey, well, not got- not landing because uh, no, no, because he the, but re, the reason is they act wait, like it was let me personal. say let there me was say nothing it. personal between Damn, Oregon. And- wait, let me say it. The reason why I say not landing is because he actually has a chance to win the national championship. He needs to win that game. Colorado State doesn't have a chance to win a national championship. So whatever Norvell said is irrelevant. Is that uh, is that, that matters. But was that your point? Because I had a point. About no, no, the no. Clicks. I was going to say something completely different. I have a point that- about the clicks. So when the Oregon coach said they're doing it for clicks, dude, you decided to coach at Oregon. Y'all use y'all don't, don't, don't interchangeable do uniforms for recruits. D- hold on. That's a fair point. But what that uh, uh, Yeah. So you don't think let he me, can sign at Oregon and be like, damn, man, they got a lot of uniforms. Ooh, I'm going to get these Nikes. You can, I want to go there. Every, listen, hold on. It's about the same thing. You can have wow. new. Listen, you can have nuance with all these things. You can ha- you can love what Dion said but have issue with it. You can love what Lanning said yeah. but have issue with it. Let me ask what I'm going to ask. Because you guys are disagreeing. So the landing speech, I agree on some level it was fire. Not for me. It was fire because he's talking to 18 to 22-year-olds on his team. Okay. So that's what I want to ask you is, thinking that way, does it change your mind? Not thinking it's fire per se, but it's not corny if you realize he's not talking to us. Now, Oregon filming it and putting it on the internet, that's corny. No, no, no. You yes. have to. No, you have to. No, you don't. Have yeah, you to. do. You have to. I, I, no, you I agree don't. with you. I have agree to. With, no, you don't. I agree with Greg on that. You have to. You have to. No, you. No, you, you don't. You have to. The game is about the coaches. Yeah. It's about. It's about one coach in particular has everybody watch. That game may have been the most no, highest. It's n- no, it's like, not because Dan. No one nationally cares about Dan Lanning. Exactly. That's so why you, you don't. Gotta, put, that's why you. Do that's it. why you do it. No, it's no, you don't. Yeah. No, but I don't. I didn't know Colorado State coach. I didn't know and, any and of these if coaches. You think about it. We're, we're such an and a, media and a age. week later, no one's talking about Jay Norvell. That's the whole point. Everyone such, only talking about Dion. We're in such a social media age. Everybody says they're not doing. You, you are doing it for clicks. You are. I, I understand. That's what I'm saying. You can have nuance with the landing thing. I agree with you. I also agree with Greg about saying it's fire for your audience, which yeah. is. 18 to 22 yeah, year olds. I'm sure if I'm 18 years old, I'm like, yeah. Uh. Let me tell you hold something. On. Okay, hold fine, on. Hold fine, on. Fine. Hold fine. on. Okay, fine. 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 Fire for the audience of the thing. Okay. Oregon Put putting it, it online. Okay. Corny to me. Hold on. Who, what audience are you talking about? Just the kids? That's who has to play yeah, the game. Hold on. But they're not. That speech in the moment is for the kids. But that speech is not for the kids. That speech is for, let's put it on the internet because that's for they recruit. That's for yeah. everybody. Yo, we play football. That's yeah, on, no, that's, that's only if it was his idea to put it up. It could have been the AD or the SID that said, hey, video this and put it up. The coach knew that was going that's up. That's fine. It don't matter. No, if he, we don't it know don't that. Matter. The coach knew that was going no, up. We have, no, no. I mean, he may not. He may not. Listen, it don't on. matter. It was put up for a reason. Can I play a clip? Absolutely. Fine. But it's put up for a reason. I understand. I'm okay. not debating that. That's fine, but the, but you're talking about like you said it was coach versus coach. For that reason, I disagree uh, because no one no, cares no, 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 about no, no, Dan no, no, Lanning. No, 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 no. Okay, it's not coach versus. Okay, yes and no. Okay, Two it is to, it, to a certain degree. It's coach People versus. People want to be Dion. 
They don't think about beating the Colorado Buffalo. Not, they think about beating Deion. Not him because his team can win it all. Fam. Colorado State, yes, because one, number one, rivalry. Number two, he said some crazy stuff before the game. Now, isn't Jay Norvell all black or half black? He's black. So why uh, – that's one thing I don't understand is why black folks got upset at him saying he was saying Nobody like coded knew language. Black. I didn't know he was black till, uh, until the game started. He, 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 Nobody I mean, knew he was black. Because they don't – because I've seen – I read on Twitter that like, oh, Norvell said coded language. Dan Lanning, maybe not coded language, but still a joke. Dan, Dan Lanning, in my opinion, that was no coded language. That was what nothing racist about that speech at all to me. That wasn't nothing He was just rolling that. his players up. No. I, that's what that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. But I'm asking I, you guys because I'm not black. I'm white. No, so I, I, I don't think it was coded. No, language. I haven't even seen nobody say that. Oh was yeah, coded I mean, absolutely. Absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. There's a million people. All the casual fans that are only watching. Yeah. In that coach speech? Yeah. Yes. What was the, what could even be remotely considered? I think, I think he alluded to something about being flashy, and I was like, "Oh, he's taking a shot." I didn't think he was taking a shot at all. Fam. Because this is why I say that. Because me being Beyond an HBCU, being me me going to Southern and being in an HBCU realm of HBCU football, the swag coaches didn't like him. So what are we talking facts. about? Facts. They didn't like him. Yeah, so it's like, what are we talking about? Well, so that's one of the ironic things about what's happened is like everyone, not everyone, but you know what I mean when I say everyone, yeah. got angry that Dion might be disrespecting HBCUs by leaving. And now he goes to Colorado and has success through the first three games. And those people that were ang- mad at him for leaving are back on the bandwagon. And then yes, most of that, are, and I know several of see? them. See, and, and I now, know several and, and look, of them. And, and and being mad that he left is like just be more disappointed is what it is. Yeah. It's like, dang man, I was kind of fired what you was doing, and now you out of here. You know, they, so I, the bigger bag comes and whatever. And here's the thing. I don't think people would have felt that way about him leaving if it wasn't Colorado. Okay. It was like, wait a minute, you left us for Colorado? Yes. Like, if you went to FSU, were you a uh, Florida, a big school? Oh, no, hey, man, we one. get it. But you went to Colorado? When I tell you. That what threw everybody off. When I tell you Me. a lot of people I went to school with hated Dion when he was at Jackson State, I didn't mind it at all. Okay, let me play this because I don't know if y'all saw this today. This is landing right here. I'm also um, – grateful and and can clearly acknowledge that the attention that we got this Saturday in large part was due to, uh, to, due to Dion and what he's doing to college football. And if anybody can't what see what said? he's done for college football and how he's bringing excitement to college football, you're crazy, right? And I said that last week as well. He did. Um, he's done a lot for the game. He's, he's building something over there. I think that's really, really clear. Uh, there's no secret there, but it, it wouldn't matter if I was playing my 10-year-old uh, son on the other sideline. I'm going to do everything I can to win. If I'm playing Bill Belichick, I'm going to do everything I can to win. Did I go for it on fourth down? Yeah, I have every game this year. Yeah. Right? I've gone for it nine times. Did I go for a two-point conversion? Yeah, I've done it three out of the four games this year. And if if we play again tomorrow, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do everything I can to win a game and everything I can to motivate my team. So um, I'm also... So I don't know if a lot of people have heard that because that I wasn't didn't. That's my first game. time hearing that was either today or yesterday. I heard that, and I've he heard said that since then. And I've heard all the stuff he said prior to that game. So the only problem I had when Dion left Jackson State was like, oh, he's saving HBCUs. Let's relax. Let's relax. Like I hate when people compare HBCU football to Power Five football. It is apples and oranges. It's not even a comparison. And I hate how. Some HBCUs strive to be Power 5 football. That's not us, and I'm fine with that. And trying to chase that is just impossible. Like, the money gap is extremely huge, and I hate that comparison so much. When Dion's like, you know, I had to do all this. Dion, you knew that before you came to Jackson State. Like, what what, what you thought? Now, look, I, I don't think Dion had that mindset of taking HBCU football to that level. That's what the media was saying. That though, yeah. because what, that's what we all he got the number at, one like, recruit in the country, and that had never happened before. Yeah. Now we were Facts. all looking at Facts. it because we were all looking at like, yo, like, fam. I've watched certain. I've I could tell. You, I probably count on one hand how many HBCU games I've watched. And yeah. that's just I don't facts. see. I don't think actual college football fans actually believed it would make a difference. No, no, but no, I don't. No, no. actual no, no. college football fans didn't yes, think no, it was no, going to no. matter. So what I'm saying is like. The media made that spin of like, oh no, the first the number one overall recruit went there. It's going to be a big deal now, fam. Mikey Williams from California, the basketball player, even he was talking about going to HBCU. Now, Mikey Williams since like got arrested for sexual assault or something, he's oh, out of wow. there. So Crazy see person. ya, see ya. Oh. But anyways, even he was visiting like I don't know if it was Jackson State or Howard or Grambling or whatever it was, yes. but even he was talking about. Going that route in basketball just because of what Dion had did, but that like the before that there was a media creation. It wasn't like people who know college football didn't expect like 
the 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 things to change, and it's specifically because of what you're saying, like yes, they know the where the money's at. It's yeah. not that that wasn't the expectation of it was just the attention that was brought to it. I mean, game day went to Jackson State at one time, like you know, so it was yeah. like okay, cool, that's cool. We can expand our view on other football. Con- that, that's what well, it and was people to me. watch those games that they put on too. Yeah, it was like okay, they cool. put Jackson State games on ESPN. Okay, we can it. like man, that, uh, I'm gonna watch this now. Oh, that's, okay, I'm gonna watch this now. Like, and I looked at it, and I wasn't mad that he left. I oh, was only bothered that he went to Colorado. Like, it's like, man, like, Colorado was 111. It's in Colorado. Like, it's Colorado, and you left there. Now, I get it. I get it. It's a, it's a lot of money. It's to really get on the big stage. I get it. And it's 100% succeeded. Now, my my thing is is that everything that Dion did for Jackson State, it's their responsibility to keep that going. Facts. Not the same flash and all that. That's cool. Facts. But you have proven that if you provide a, a great facility, you put the money where the money needs to go, and you give your students and players a fair shot to compete, that you can create a decent program that people go yeah. and watch. It doesn't. You don't need somebody see, like Dion to go there every time to do that. Dion brought the attention. I, I still pay. Pay attention to Jackson State. Like, oh, the cast won today. Oh, okay, see, they lost today. Oh, okay, what cool. hurts HBCU football? Um, since I, I think North Carolina A and T and Hampton left their conferences because we have all those classic games, like when my alma mater plays Grambling, Bayou Classic, Magic City Classic. That is during the playoffs for um, what is it? FCS. No, yeah, they're in FCS. Yeah, FCS. So it's like what hurts HBCU football. You don't play in these FCS games. And it's like some of these kids want to play in these playoff games against like schools where Trey Lance went to. Was it North Dakota State? Wait, they can't go in the playoffs? No, because the classic games align during or during the same times during the playoffs. Like, well, Bayou Classic is always Thanksgiving weekend. It's a traditional traditional game, and the playoffs has already started. So, do they like? voluntarily bow out of the playoffs or is it just known that don't ever seed any of those teams? How is that? That's weird. Why would yeah, you not you, want to win the national championship? Because of the classic games. And that's why North Carolina a t left their conference. That. And that's why that's Hampton that's why left because they want to compete. Yeah. Why wouldn't, I mean, that's weird. I didn't know. I didn't realize it, it just the classic games, like the tradition in HBCU football for those classics. They're like, we're not, we're not shying away from, them. we don't want to go away from the classic games, but in a sense, you're not going to be able That's to play in the playoffs. Now look, with Dion them losing like they did to Oregon, and I could tell from the very first play that the game was over. Like when they, that very first play from Oregon. Just the, the, the I trenches. Knew I knew it was Colorado. Like, the first play I think went for like seven yards. I was like, oh, like I was like, well, this is going to be interesting. Like I, you could just feel it. It was something dramatically well, different. Listen, I don't, and this is, this comment is especially for, Casual fans who don't know anything about college football, playing in Autzen Stadium is a one per or a ninety. Let's I was gonna say one percentile, but a ninety ninth percentile away game. Your Oregon doesn't lose there. Yeah. You're not winning a game. It's like going to LSU at night. You're not winning a game there. Yeah. So you number one, you brought the inferior team. So why everyone like? People who understand football, like Keyshawn and and Sherman and all them, why they thought Colorado had a shot, and maybe they were just saying it because Dion is their buddy. Yep. But why they uh, why you would go on TV yep. and like kind of risk maybe not risk your reputation, but like no, fam. I told you a week. I told actually I said before fam, the season. I told I you a week said, before the game they had fam, no chance to win that. Hold on. And I, that was after they were three and zero. Hold on. I one hundred percent. And this is I told y'all they're not. Ah, they beat Oregon. I said that. I know Oregon did not beat Oregon, yeah. but I'm in that all in right now with them. I think they're not beating Oregon. They shouldn't. They sh- uh, hold on now. I feel like they should get the doors blown up by USC too. But USC was out there fooling around against ASU, so I have no idea what ASU. I mean USC might do, but I expect a similar result. But I expect a Colorado to also like change up some things and make yeah, it a little bit show. Now, did I expect... Well, they're also at home. It'll be now, a little bit different. Did I expect it to be z- 35 to 0 at halftime? Absolutely not. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say that I didn't at least... That would be more competitive. N- I don't even want to say competitive. Like, hey, it's 30 to 7. Whatever. You know, now it's uh, 35 to 16. Look, you know what I mean? Like, it was a complete thrashing. There was no reason to even get the six points. At this point, it's like, for what yeah. now? Okay. Now, granted, Bo Nix took out the what? The third quarter? 
Yeah, they had their the the drive ended like a little yeah. bit after midway through the third quarter because they had thirty five at halftime, landing at halftime. Like, we ain't done. They ain't got to what forty two. They ain't doing nothing after that. Now, if you want to say you put in your lesser players and whatnot, that's fine. But he was at the holding back, trying to be not respect or well, respectful. Who knows? They, of course they were. They were like, running. They were just running the ball. Yeah. Um. They could have scored seventy if they wanted. You know. To. I mean, uh, so look, I, I have no problem with landing. I have no problem with that. Yeah, know, it is know. what it is. It, it, it is what it is, and that's fine. I'm, I'm still riding hard with Dion them, and and the whole thing with Keyshawn and them. Look, buddy, not buddy, but like legit. Dion makes my wife. Uh, did you watch? Record the game. My wife has never watched a college <laughs> football game. Yeah. That's right, honestly. Her life. So I still haven't said. I, I kind of want to rewind back to the beginning. Like not right now. I'm gonna let you say what you're saying. But like I still haven't. We haven't really gotten into the like the Dion mania yet. Even though we've said all this, I've watched. It's I, definitely I will, some twists. I and will turns. not miss a Colorado game. I don't care if they get their doors blown off or not. I'm not going to miss one. I'm not. Whatever it takes. If not on TV, whatever. I'm going to see yeah. every co- – my DVR has never set to record a Colorado football game in its my, in its existence. I've ever had one. I've watched three Colorado – I watched Colorado and Colorado State d- duke it out. Like it was a Sunday. I Fam. think it, it was at the fifth most watched college game ever. Fam. Well, so even to go into like gambling parlance, there are more bets on every Colorado game during the week than – all of the NFL put together. I didn't know who Oregon on Colorado coach was. than more than See, all of the NFL bets See? put together. I didn't know who Colorado State quarterback was, coach was. Now I do. I didn't know any of this stuff about them teams because I could tell Oregon is a team that I've always um, admired. I lived in Oregon at one point in my life. I thought I, w- I wanted to go to UNLV, but I really thought I would pr- maybe end up in Oregon at one point in my life. Oregon is a place that I just, the university is one of the first universities I've ever visited, ever, as a kid. And I just hold it really high, high regards for it, you know. I know Oregon is, it's a winner. It's always been a winner. You know, it's not going to get you no play. Even before the Nike stuff, they were were a good program, but not like, they're a winner. They're nothing like they are right now. But they they were, so this is, this is the, this may be. Even before that, but yeah. I could think of maybe one or two other times where I thought they legit had a national championship opportunity. Maybe one or two. I I mean, they went with Martin Mariota. Or they, no, uh, they yeah, it was. They lost to Cam. Yeah, they went. Yeah, that, that time. Or maybe that was before Mariota. No, hold on. One time with Mariota, oh, and then uh, running, back. running back. What's running back? They well, had? they got James. smashed by Ohio State either in the semis or in the championship game. With I don't Michael remember. James. Maybe it was a championship game. Uh, but James. they went against Cam, and that's when Cam and Auburn won the championship in 2011. That was a good game too. Five. Yeah, it was close. It was only like was four game. point game or six point game. So like the Oregon thing is the Oregon thing. Like people just need to kind of get over it. Now the people on social media that are like, you know, that lady from here, Carrie Steele, lady, huh? Who was that? The yeah, one that sent that tweet out. She was like, "Thank you, Coach Landing, for standing up for us," or whatever she said. Oh, I see. Who was us? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Does she mean white people? Now, see, that's coded. <laughs> that's coded. Yeah, yeah. That's coded yeah. stuff I, I, that I'm talking about. It's like, lady. Us? What are you talking about? I, see, I don't think people realize Dan Lanning is like a super young guy. I bet you he. he he's I like bet seven. I want to say. So I I would venture to guess he has more in common personally with like hip hop culture and stuff than like that old white Lily from Nebraska culture or whatever. Yeah. We work hard. No. Ah. Now that's just me guessing, but I would imagine he has more in common with his players than like this coded language group on Twitter thinks he does. Nah, you I know will what say I mean? This. The coded language is only going to get worse as the season goes on, especially when they play schools like Utah. Nah, if they don't, if they don't, if they get their doors blown off by USC, I don't USC think again, Whittingham is is interesting enough or cares enough to get into a battle like that. No, so no, I'm no, going to no, say no. it probably won't happen with them. But I know why you say that. It, yeah. I know why you would say that, and I would agree with that. If let's just hypothetically. Well, a lot of, I saw a lot of people say if they get blown up again that the TV audience is going to go down. And it might go down a little bit, but I think it's still going to No, hold be. on. If they if they get their doors blown off by USC this this week, then it, the the whole personal thing that people like got a problem, it won't matter anymore. Because it, it they will feel that he's been brought back down to what they believe is reality. Yeah. Now, if they're competitive against USC, just competitive. Competitive or win, let's just hypothetically, 
oh, then it's going to be a problem at these other places because it's going to be up again. This, this Dion thing, it isn't like a, <laughs> all right, like, Ain't nobody who's riding with Dion feeling like, hey, right, man, like, you know, the, the Kevin James meme, you know, they're not like, you know, like, we, right, you know, yeah, but that's what that meme means. <laughs> that's what that meme means. You know, like, you know, I look, man, yeah, of course I love Dion, but like, you know, I mean, you know, I, I knew it. You it's know, a I, sheepish look is what just, that's what that bash like, or whatever that have is. Have we ever experienced a team being brought out by Little Wayne for a college football game? Not a national you, title uh, game. USC. They okay. had they had Snoop and all them on the sidelines oh, during five? the Pete Carroll. Pete oh, Carroll. Yeah. Okay. Look, Pete Carroll. Yeah. Now maybe I, not. Maybe not. Uh, I mean, Snoop has always been big. Maybe not Lil Wayne big. I don't know. Like, like you compare it in terms Cameron of like national and Wu -Tang audience or whatever. Were in Boulder. Now they're big uh, amongst on. us, but they're not big nationally though. Like you know the. Like, think about this Taylor Swift thing, which I obviously don't want to talk about. But just compare <laughs> that news cycle to, like, Wu-Tang. No one oh, even cared Taylor except Swift us that Wu-Tang was there. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, her fit, her fit. I do have a slight issue with that. Though. I think I might agree with you. On what? What are we talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> so, I'm thinking talk about Wu-Tang, then. I'm thinking it's me as a player. Oh. I'm 19. Why we got Master P and all of them in the locker room? <laughs> I'm trying to focus before the game. Whoa, no, 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 no. I'm trying to focus. That's fire. Before. For me, nah. No, because I When I play like, football, I'm trying to lock in. I don't want to. Yeah. Like, but every was, kid is thinking differently, though. That, that's I mean? fine. Like, but see, if I got somebody who has that pull and influence to be able to bring in a Master P, like we're talking about like living legends. Like, I yeah. may never have that opportunity ever. My issue with it well, is. Well, Shador will. He'll my, be in the NFL. My but. issue <laughs> with it is, is that. They're doing this going to Boulder. Like, I don't remember seeing Wu Tang at Jackson State. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't remember seeing Master P at Jackson. I did. don't remember he seeing. He had celebrities at Jackson State games? Uh, they were this level. I'm talking about The Rock is here. Like, I'm talking about Lil Rick, Wayne is yeah, performing. Rick Young yeah. Dolph. <laughs> I love Dolphin. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Finn, but don't, like, let's not, like, <laughs> look. He local heroes and stuff. Boosie is somebody down there. Cam, mm -hmm. That's cool. That's, that's all right. All right. You got Desi Banks in the locker room doing stuff. That's fine. But Wu. But Wu Tang? Wu Tang? What do you think? Did y'all from Staten Island? <laughs> Damn, they had a Wu Tang Colorado shirt. They, <laughs> them cats went to Boulder, Colorado. Yeah. Fam, the Denver Nuggets won the championship, and nobody gave us a shot. Mm, All right. Unless no you was a fan. body. Unless you was a fan. But what? But Dion's a bigger person That's than anyone fine. on the Nuggets. I get it. I do. I really do get it. But we're talking. That's how great this is. I don't, I don't speak about how good this is. I'm not talking about how bad it is. I'm just speaking about how, how great it is. Because like I said, I don't I, hey USC score 45 and and Colorado score 28 I'm up I'm up all right I, that's where I'm at I'm just going to say fam USC is going to score 70 but I, I still think the interest level will be high even if Dion lose because fam, he, seven, it, USC's offense is better than Oregon check this out so, Dion I mean, will still be talked about on sports media if they get the doors blown out Now hold on every week. I think they so. talk about, about that for a second every day hold on every single day and I, I I made attention to this on Tuesday. I was like, let me go ahead and see when they talk. I'm sorry, Monday. When they see when they bring in Dion talk That's after a blowout. After a blowout. That Dion talk came second hour of first take. The other oh, it was top of the top of the heap of the, the, the discussion. And I was like, Oh, he lose. Now he got moved to the second hour, you know, but he's of still first being take. About That's fine. Cowboys and Colorado. That's There's fine. Sports media. But look. <laughs> If they score, I don't care. If, if USC scores 70, that's cool. And, and, well, I texted you, what, 70 to 42, like yeah. before the season started or after week one, maybe. 70, you said, and, and fam. If they <laughs> score, no, I didn't say nothing. I said, I said like 70 to 42. If they score 70 and Colorado scores anywhere from 30 to 40, uh -huh, it's up. Ain't nobody expect because after you get what by Oregon, now you really like, oh, yeah, they, they, yeah, it's USC. Because I don't want. People are going to go like this. They got whooped by Oregon, and now they're thinking, yo, yo, fam, I, I, I only had Colorado winning three games this year, four games. Like, So I ain't tripping. And he's they already that. over exceeded expectations. He's already over exceeded expectations. Like, have now, you seen the ticket sales for Colorado games in Boulder? Fam. Well, even the, the TV audience is like, 
It's uh, stupid. Four times what some other teams are. And we could talk about that. Like I said, my Colorado, wife, Colorado State was the biggest ESPN game of all time. Something I, like that. I recorded. Now the, it's a cable network. I recorded so the Oregon Colorado game, and I came home and watched it without Rocio. She was like, "You already watched it." Like she's mad. We See, watched it. it again. <laughs> we watch them every night. We watch. We record. We watch them together. Like, you know, and, and that's a good thing. That's what you want. Like, yeah. you want that because, and I'll be honest with you, like, college football, I'm a huge college football fan. I watch a lot of college football. But, like, it kind of started dying down a bit. I catch, like, some of the big games. Like, pay attention to the big ones, your FSU, your Clemson, your, you know, Alabama, LSU. I catch the big ones. But, like, I'm sitting there watching, you know, like uh, uh, Wyoming and whomever. Like, I'm just, like, just I'm just locked into college football now. It makes it better. It makes the sport better. It's like certain teams, and I'm sorry. The Cowboys makes the NFL better. It does. Regardless if you like Absolutely. them or not, it makes the NFL better. Period. It does. And basketball, look, man, Celtics, Lakers, I don't care what you feel, it makes it a little bit better. Okay. See, that's what I love about Dion, because that's what, to my question I initially asked y'all, outside of Dion, there are no head coach personalities. It's all about the program. And at Colorado, it's Dion and then Colorado. I'm, I'm trying, just. It's like David Ruffin <laughs> and then the Temptations. Now. I agree, but that's just tradition. That's just, you know, like all these coaches that don't believe in the trend. I would portal. disagree on just because of Dabo. Not saying that he I has personality Dabo. trash. Well, no. I can't stand Dabo. Hate I, his guts. I, 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 but he I has a personality like, I feel, I feel the same. I feel the same way you guys do, but that was my point. Like, I'm not playing Dabo's advocate. You work hard and all. I'm saying I agree with you about – I was actually going to say Dabo has a personality for the opposite. Yeah, wasn't going to be does. my point, but he, but that's the only reason I disagree because he does. He, I'm, I don't believe in nil, and, and it's going to bite him in the ass because he doesn't want to adapt. He, he's a cultist. I mean, he will, <laughs> so I, that he was a will adapt. After after he's going to have to. After this season, they will all bend. They will all. He's he going to have to. They will. They have. No I think choice that's what make Nick well, Saban so great because he has either adapted that over or the years. He, yeah, Saban's issue was having to adapt the offense. He yes. wanted to run that Jim that Harbaugh, Stone Age, yeah, yeah. Jim Saban, Harbaugh offense. Saban is in uh, hell right now. All right, them quarterbacks they got at Alabama are absolute trash, and they still going to win eight games. I know that's a disappointment. That's for Alabama. fine. <laughs> that's fine. Games. But seeing them play against UAB and at one point losing, I, I mean, was it was like, a t- it was like they played in like in a hurricane. I don't. I'm, I'm done with the elements. All right, I'm done with it that. It matters. You got to throw a, pig, a slippery pig skin. And what if you mean? think about it, all right. The best quarterbacks <laughs> in the nation like it doesn't, it doesn't are all matter. in the Pac-12. They won't they won't that's, have it. But that's always been the case. It that was no one hurricane against, that, no hurricane against Texas. That's, that's that always was, been the case. Ah, let's relax. No, no. Okay, so this is one thing that I don't want to get to this topic yet because I actually want Greg to talk about Ohio State quarterback shtick. But the only reason C.J. Stroud, true. the only reason C.J. Stroud is the best Ohio State quarterback of all time and the only one relevant in the NFL is because he's from where? Oh my Cali, God. boy, Cali. The greatest quarterbacks, the greatest quarterback coaches are from the West Coast. Think about Bo Nix. Oh, You're that. an SEC guy. Bo Nix went from Auburn, one of the worst quarterbacks we've ever seen in our entire life. In one year, he was already transformed into oh. a, a pro. Oh, don't get me wrong, George. It's like, say like if I had a kid and he's like, Dad, I want to play quarterback. You're not go- you you want to go to the SEC school? You want to be John Parker Wilson? And, right. Like, so, Stroud, everyone talks about yeah. Stroud and Bryce as like the exceptions to the rule. You know why? Because they're from L.A. They got quarterback coaching on the West Coast and then went that way. Tua, where's he from? Hawaii, got his yeah. quarterback coaching in Los Angeles. West Coast. That's fine. We're not on that topic yet. I just wanted to bring it up because we were talking about and West Coast. Bryce, let's hold that. Yeah, let's hold I the told you, he's standing next to someone who was like six foot and he looked like he was a midget. So, yeah. uh, uh, I think he was a little bit smaller than people thought he was. All right. I, I want to still talk about Dion because I haven't even got to my main stuff yet. Go ahead because I'm pretty much done with Dion. So, the only stuff I want to say is like, number one, like you said, fam, I own every Dion. I've been a Dion fan since he was a Falcon. I mean, I he had did that video Reds where he said, "This is my house in that stadium." When as he a beat Falcon. up Andre Rosen. Beautiful. Ninety four. Never will forget it. But but that but that was Cowboys though, right? That was no. Yeah, that was Niners. Niners. First game back as a Niner. First game back in Atlanta as a Niner. Oh, when he was a Niner. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. But but I'm saying I've been a fan. Sorry, I got confused because he got, obviously he everybody the Cowboys too. But I've been a, I had every Dion shoe. Everyone. But yeah, been a fan since I was a little kid. I look at this a little bit different because my team is in the same conference as Colorado. So it's not that I didn't want Colorado to do well. It's just that I want my team, obviously, to beat Colorado because my team is in a yeah. national championship discussion. So we'll take. So Greg and I had that conversation from the very beginning about, like, 
I thought TCU was going to kill him just based off of it's impossible to turn a program over from 1 and 11 to facts whatever they are in one season facts the portal obviously changes a lot but you saw against Oregon in the trenches they yeah, don't got it that's what they like they got skill guys Shadur is a legitimate NFL prospect first rounder there's no doubt about it his other son, obviously not as good. He's not as athletic as Dion was. Shallow just be yeah. out there just, just running around. <laughs> yeah, like he just had to be pick, diving at people. He had to pick six against Colorado State, but you saw he almost got ran down at he, the he, end. He, he hey. ain't Dion. Dion, wait, ain't nobody in this frame with Me Dion and Shallow got the same running. speed. Uh, yeah, like, okay. <laughs> so my thing with Dion, because people have told me in the past, like I'm a hater on Dion or whatever. No, no, I'm not hating Colorado. Like we, even, we tweeted, the, I mean, texted the whole TCU game. I want it. TCU was like a conflict game for me because I have friends that had like Colorado under four and a half wins this year tickets or whatever, and I like Dion, so I was like rooting for them and rooting against them in the same game. It was like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And then as you go, like after the game, they asked Dion like the guy asked the question, and Dion was like, "Do do you believe now?" And then. My only problem with that was when the guy said, believe in what? Dion was like, you don't believe. I'm like, at least answer the question. I'm, tell me what you want. Nah, to if you believe, you don't need an answer. Yeah, yeah, I do. Tell me what you want me to believe in. Like, believe you're a national championship contender or you just that you can win six, seven, eight games? That's different. But see, that's not De- – Dion is not a back and forth kind of I, – Yeah, I, I know. He's more, I'm going to give you these punchlines. Next question. So – are you working or are you twerking? So I, yeah. I'm going to say this. And that's the beauty of it. I'm going to say this because obviously there's a lot of Oregon fans and whatever the people with the coded language stuff are just mad at Dion in general. But they're mad about like the Colorado players scuffing the O and all that stuff. I could care less about the O. I hate Oregon. Same, again, same thing, conference, team, whatever. I've always hated Oregon. So I don't oh, care about none of them. Uh, I have a the problem. The O don't things. matter to me. The O is trash. No, no, but no. But hold no. on. I'm not done. Hold on. Let me say. But. Guess what? Dion in the press conference after the game, he's not acting like his players did or his son Shiloh when Shiloh was like, you you look small, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. No, Dion was like, oh, yeah, we got what? Blah, blah, blah. We, we'll be back next week. Um, mm, Yes, but. Mm, what? Um, Yes, he did act like that, but. I felt like it was Dion. In my, in other, in other words, my Dion is not sensationalizing the Dionness. The only thing he's done yet that I had a kind of a problem was, with, like I said, when he was like, do you believe yet? Like in the keep receipts thing. You should keep receipts and at the same time be humble when you lose. And once he was humble after the Oregon game, then I was like, okay, like I'm 100% humble. fine with it. Uh, like yes and yes. Like, I, I, Okay, go explain. I didn't care for his reaction to like after getting whooped. He's like, yeah, we got whooped. Like – you gonna have to give me a little bit more than that. Like you didn't lose. Like you got whooped. I don't. But he wasn't talking leading up to the game. I know. Though, so that's why I respect it. I know. It. I know that. But it was the players. I don't like the. I don't. I don't shoot at nobody. I don't do that. Look, man. You may not take a direct shot at anybody, but you're shooting. Like you a shooter. Like yeah. I, that, that's my thing. I just don't like the like you know yo 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 fam like I you know the coach said what he said I ain't never did nothing to nobody I ain't never did I just go out here and do my thing I ain't never did I'm down I ain't hit by no jacket I ain't do all that that's perfectly fine and that's cool but in that moment I ain't trying to hear none of that I'm trying to hear you know hey man we got to get better we got to work harder than that you know I appreciate the game we came out here we we tried something new that's a good team out there but I, I ain't trying to hear about you being Dion and bought a gold jet you ain't bought your gold jet I ain't trying to hear none of that right now not when you get your doors blown off you can't but that's to Dion. me that's fine but you can't to me because you could be Dion all you want but Dion ain't playing. So you can't go out there. You can't still be Dion in that moment. You got to be strictly coach to me in that moment. Yo, you know, man, we went out there, got our door blown. Hats off to the coach. Hats off to the players. We didn't have it here. We didn't have it there. I don't need to hear. Yo, I ain't never shot at nobody. I don't care what the coach. I didn't never did nothing like that. Hey, they won. They got a bucket. We ain't got them. I ain't bought my goal. I'm in the Hall of Fame. I ain't got time for that right now. You're going to get these jokes. You're going to say, yo, man, they can't. <laughs> That's all it is. And guess what? You come no, out No, no, but I, I think the team should. And, now, and hold he can on. own up to that. But I, I have don't a problem. think he was do- I think, I no think the team. internet was 
taking up for him, and he didn't need them to take up for him. And that's fine. Like, they were the ones talking crazy to Oregon fans and Oregon players and whatever else. Fam, but y'all, none of y'all know nothing about college football. Don't say nothing. Dion didn't say nothing. Hold on. He wasn't out there like, oh, we about to smash I him. appreciate Oregon. trash talking. I appreciate that stuff. But to me, college football has a – and I'm not going to sit here and act like some old head in the history and the legacy. There's a, a, a history of something. If LSU wants to – in Alabama on a film, LSU want to go out there and stop on the A, they could go stomp on the A. Colorado ain't sh- – don't stop on nobody logo. All right, Dukes you ain't you life. ain't earned nothing yet to stomp on nobody okay. logo. You could be a no, young. No, no, I understand why Oregon people are mad. I'm saying as a USC fan, fuck Oregon. I could care less no, no, about no. them stomping I, on that. I'm, oh. I'm talking just college, regardless of the teams. Okay, if U of A and ASU are playing, yeah, y'all, you're cool. Y'all step on each other logos if you want to. Colorado hasn't earned the right yeah. to step on a single person. That's logo. I agree, and that's a different issue okay. than what I'm saying. I'm saying as a USC like, fan, I could care less before, about before Dion yeah, that's got fine. There, Colorado hasn't been relevant but since like, Cardell Stewart and Rashawn but, Salon. But like, if, if oh, Oregon... No, um, they had Michigan State head coach that just got in trouble. They were good for a couple years when he was there. He was there. Look, I mean, fam, they didn't, I'm not talking about national if championship. Oregon, they, if they won Oregon, like 10 games one of those years. Oregon is... If Oregon played in Colorado, Oregon ain't going out there to stomp on the Buffalo. You're right, okay. because they're bigger than that. They're like, like, what are you doing? are going to win the national championship. They don't need to stomp on the Buffalo. You can't. You You just can't. But Dion invites that. But see, now, you know that, what? You know that, what? That's, that's my point. You know now, what? The, hold on, no, no, hold on, hold on, Dion, hold on. No, 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 disagree with that. Hold on, he does. Hold on, hold on. Let me hold say on real quick. Hold you, on. The point you're making about Oregon going there and not stomping—that's like when all these teams make the beat LA signs, and you don't ever see LA fans making beat whoever signs because y'all beneath us. Yeah, but bro. beat LA Same is a thing. saying though. That's not, that's not like a mantra. But we've never. But LA fans don't do that because the Lakers are big, the Dodgers are big. Y'all are smaller than us. We don't make those signs. We don't make the beat the bats. Beat Arizona fans. We don't make. We those. physically fight. Like we will beat you up. No, I'm not fighting anyone. But we're our franchise is bigger than your franchise. Oregon's gonna uh, be a national ch- title contender. They don't need to do that. See, that's Same the point. only thing I don't like. Dion. Yeah, he invites it now. Invites it. He definitely does that. You can't. But, but why? Um, because I don't think he on, does. Man. His players might. Nah, he does. Nah, come on. Are you saying he does because white people hate him? Is that what no, you're no, 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 I think no, he no. does because he he I'm loves saying... that braggadocious. He does the like sunglasses thing. He does That's the like. Different. No. I'm talking about stopping on the logo. But your player's no, behavior what, what does that reflects got to do the with coach. Dion. He didn't do that. No, but your no, player's no, no, behavior no, reflects on, the man. coach. No, no, that's not. I'm not saying that he. Man, there's no, still no. 18 to 20 year old, two year olds at the end of the day. You can't control everything they do. Uh, Nick Saban ain't having that. His players ain't doing that because it's runs Alabama. A tight but uh, again, Hold on, your, your coach is in charge of the program. No, 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 no. Fam, Alabama don't need to do that because they're gonna go out there and beat you by 40. Hold on, that's what they're I'm gonna, talking about. They're gonna about. physically stop on. on you. But see, that's what I'm talking about. Where, when, you, you gotta explain why you saying I, Dion invites it. Me, me, okay, it's. Uh, you can't compare it no, to no. Alabama or LSU or whatever. <laughs> no, you just said no. that. Look, when I when, when he says like invites it, he's not directly invite. He's not saying your kids. That's what I just it. said. Hold on, but you can invite it without inviting it. That's what I, the point I was trying to make by doing the like sunglasses stuff. He's he's subliminally putting the shot. He's not saying it like like Colorado That's State fine. did. And you cut me yeah, off yeah. when no, I was no, trying no, to make no, the no, point. No, 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 My thing is, like, when he's like, yo, I don't never take no direct shots to nobody. Hey, buddy. Yeah, just because so you got the ski mask on. Saying, he making just because you got a ski mask on, you taking shots. Like, yeah. don't play like, yo, but I ain't never did nothing. I'm Dion Yeah, like, but we got past that. Well, That's yes. fine. But it's the same thing with the kids. You know them kids. Get them kids off the field and get them kids out the middle. He, don't do that. He, I think, and I'm okay with it. I'm fine with it. But you have to live with the result of what happens perform. after that. That's all I care about. You mean you got to own up to what they did or you got to own up to what you did because that's what two different they things. Did, what they did too. But I'm sure someone asked him about it. He answered it, right? Huh. Uh, no, they didn't. I, don't know. I didn't see somebody him talk about had it. to have asked. Him I didn't about see him that. talk about it. Joint was all over. I didn't see game. him talk about it. I, I haven't seen him talk Fam, about it. Maybe. That video was everywhere. I, the game. I, didn't, I didn't say he hasn't. I haven't seen it because anytime a player acts out, a coach has to answer for it. Yeah, I agree. And but it's well, like the shooting thing at Alabama. I don't think he has to answer for it happening he has to answer for keeping that kid on the roster still after that you talking about the basketball situation yeah, yeah. okay yeah like as a coach you don't got to answer for stuff like that if you handle it immediately yeah, and not yeah. like let him go out and do the celebration where he like what did he do to like that and the guns or whatever like you know what's craziest too is like talking about this is that like you look at oregon and like it's just a, they got a bunch of black kids on the field tearing it up like you know what i mean so it's like this weird dynamic of like 
other it's black kids playing against the majority of black kids on the field, and it's like this undertone of black and white. Okay, so so hold on. Like, so that, that was gonna be part example. of my I was gonna be part of my thing too because I wanted to ask you guys. So I had we talked about that earlier where I think the only thing like I said about the whole Dion thing that bothered me was the like I got receipts and then you know at the end like I said he owned up to it so that's why it was no issue where a lot of people got the issue anyways. You go through the games. I understand completely why the Colorado State thing transpired the way it did because Jay Norvell brought it upon himself. He's stupid. You're playing a road game, number one. I understand it's a rivalry, but the way he said that about, I do this, like, and put his hands yeah, on his hips, that's disrespectful. And whatnot, yo. I don't look at what Dan Lanning did as disrespect. He didn't. No, of course not. Right. He didn't. No. I think, but, but, but we got to – circle social media into this, the people who casuals who jumped on a bandwagon who only yeah, like Dion it. because he's black are on the side of Dan Lanning is a racist white guy. So that's what I'm asking y'all as you see, I never seen since I'm white, that. I need I, did, the, I, I need the no. black opinion on no, this no, no, as no, far no. as like how, the whole thing. No. I don't think Dan I don't think he did anything racist Not, at all. There is nothing he did racist. I don't think anything racist about it. I don't think anything about it. I don't even think what Norvell said was anything it was stupid. It was just dumb. Like it was he, he, it, it's it's somebody who doesn't know how to so I'll say trash this. talk back. I'll like, say this with Norvell. I'll that say this with Norvell. Dumb. If he was quote unquote white, I'm like, all right, now what are you okay, saying? Okay, that's the kind of take something. Completely I different. Because when he did say it, I was like, yo, what? When now I found him, he was black, I was like, now, but man, now what, him being black about? is on some whole disrespectability that yeah, yeah, yeah. I pull now, my pants now, up and now blah, hold blah, blah, on. Blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's get let's not get it twisted. I was raised the exact same way about taking my glasses. Sure, off sure, sure, sure. But that's not what we're saying, though. Yes. I know that. I know that. So it, it, it's but just, I, but you can't. But I don't think Dion is disrespectful so like that. Greg, that you know is what such, I mean? Like, no, that if Dion came to your house to meet your parents, he would take Greg, his hat off and shake their hand. That yeah, is such that is such a good conversation. I think that would go off the rails on this podcast. I do feel a lot of black Damn. parents in our and I in their era I think go off the rails. I think respectability is all our parents knew because they thought that if we behave this way they will respect us. In reality, they're going to feel their way regardless whether if I wear a shirt and tie or if I have my pants hanging off my ass. So let me tell you something, right? Well, and, and George could attest to this. I can I wear a baseball hat to work. Okay. And I work in an office setting, and I wear a baseball hat probably three out of the four days I go to work, okay? And I wear the baseball hat on purpose, and I will tell you why. I could be wearing a shirt and tie, a suit, or I could be wearing a, a, a jeans and whatever. I wear that hat on purpose to work because, to me, it's a hat that doesn't identify what I do and the work I do and what I've brought to this company and what I do and professionalism and how I am. Yo. So it's like, you can sit here and be like, yo, why he got that? And, and I don't catch wonder it. I be in meetings like this. You know, what I had. Sometimes I'm on backwards <laughs> in a meeting. And I go into that because it's like, you know what? You're not going to sit there and be like, yo, the hat is, what's up with the hat? Oh, hold on. But did I, I, I bust my butt at all my work. I did all my stuff. I mean, me, I, 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 I do that. You get into you, a bigger issue with that. I know that. But that to me, and, it, and that's why you say I don't want to go off the rails. Because yeah. it's the same thing. Right. It's like when you, you never wear your earrings to work. And you told me why. Because you're like, it's not a professional thing to wear to work. I'm sure I said that. You did. But as you get older, you start to realize like, okay, so along with this thing you guys are saying, it goes into that issue where why is wearing a suit what's socially accepted as class class classy wear or whatever you know what i mean who said you got to wear a suit to look like class as opposed to wearing a hoodie and sagging your pants yeah but that's different you know what i'm saying no no but it's tied in yeah but that's different because that started way 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 i know but i'm saying it's tied in with the same issue you're you're it's tied in because like not everybody can have it was decided a thousand years ago or not a thousand years ago but you know what i mean but it was decided a long time ago by people who don't look like y'all what is accept what is socially accepted for like classy wear? Yeah, you know what I mean. That and which is the point you're making about the hat? It's a, it's all tied in. No, it is. Who decided that was acceptable? And why should people who don't believe that be forced to fall towards that? Well, That's here's the point. The, you know, now, now, hold on, thing. Now, I've gotten into verbal arguments at work too because I've said out loud. I probably wouldn't hire you if you come sit in front of me with a gigantic tattoo on your neck or a tattoo on your face. Yeah. Because I still believe in that type of thing. But I also said on another podcast, shout out to David Blackman, when I was on his show, I said that 
we're the ones that are going to open the doors for cats to come in with yeah. a tattoo on their face. Yeah. Because they were, earrings? <laughs> like, uh, coming to work with earrings was like, I had... I'm a part of that group of generation who had to say, like, I don't care what you think at work. I'm coming with my man. When I was an intern, oh, my God, it's all they talked about. Fam, if you wore a different color shirt that wasn't I came in there with purple shirts, pink shirts, green shirts, blue shirts, different color ties. You know, what's up with this cat? What's up with cat? Now, don't mind say a word like this. Like, Greg is, knows how to dress. He know what he know what he's doing. Yeah. But th- that's what that is. Dion is the same thing. The NBA coach doesn't wear a suit anymore. Like, remember when NBA could wear suits? Because it was like, now we wear the team warm-up suit or a polo shirt and whatnot. Like, times change yeah. with that. You know what I mean? So the suit itself has almost I, played itself out. It, now, if I go to a bank and I go talk to the CEO and he got on a hoodie, I'd be like, what the? Doesn't diminish his knowledge or his experience. It's just that that door hasn't been broken yet in but, every area. But if you go to, like, a Google or a Facebook CEO, flip-flops and a T-shirt. Sam, if I went to a Google CEO and he got on a three-piece suit, I'd be like, yo, what, what are you doing? Yeah. Because I'm under the impression that it's a different environment that's something completely different. You go I, – a college – I would – a college – Coach, getting off the bus, like you always see, get off the bus with the team, I expect to see a suit. I love seeing players in suits. I do. But I understand why you would wear a hoodie and things. It like, doesn't mean nothing. doesn't mean a thing. It's like Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson went a throwback and a hoodie and whatever to the game. Didn't mean a single thing. But it was the combination of it, and it was like the, you know what, I got to fight through this because later on, it ain't going to be nothing to be worried about. All right? Braids, you know, a, a shiny chain and stuff. Fam, shiny. <laughs> You look back at Iverson chains, it's almost laughable compared to the chains now. Like, I mean, Zion is shining. He don't even play. All right. (laughs) I ain't, you you shouldn't be allowed to wear diamonds on the bench if you you ain't playing. (laughs) Anthony Davis on the bench, shining. Gucci out. Gallery department out. You wearing a thousand dollar t shirt? But I feel hip hop culture. Whatever is just so much more socially accepted than what it were when we were kids. That's fine. Yeah, we grew up in a different era. Now, now hold on. Now, let me say this. I meant to say this earlier. What makes me cringe is I'm pretty confident Boulder isn't the black friendliest place. Well, I don't. I think it's. I don't know. You, Hold on, you, college town don't mean you, nothing. You might be right, but I think it's a highly liberal town. Now that doesn't mean that's fine. That doesn't mean what you're saying, but I mean, I, I think it's like the type I think it's like, closer than like so, Tuscaloosa. So you know, what's <laughs> like? I mean, it gives but me, accepting offset y'all saw, and everybody in there wait, now. Hold on, but see, wait, hold on, wait, wait, along with this issue, you saw what happened when Texas went to Alabama, right? How the fans exactly, were, yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Insane. But see, Boulder, Colorado, but the fans. So check this out, Boulder, that's fine, but stupid though. But I'm saying like. That's probably not happening in Boulder like it does in Tuscaloosa. So, uh, like, I don't know about that. So with Boulder, I, I wouldn't. I don't know. The white Bo- fans probably aren't being racist. I don't like know. Tuscaloosa in Boulder is what so, I'm saying. So I'm glad you said that. So Boulder fans, give me this vibe. I have a Black Lives Matter sign in my yard. <laughs> I see black people walking on the street in a hoodie. I am immediately Going immediately locking my door. So yeah. I'm calling the police, asking asking that's fine, them but what they doing that's here. Like, that's like Oregon. Exactly. Exactly. I believe it. You know, like I said, like I don't want it to turn into like and fam, Mark Davis beginning a Colorado State Colorado game. Fam, come on, fam. What it's happened? He's like, Awards. boy, it looks like the BT Awards mixed with. I was like, he buddy, said that. Yeah, yeah he did. And he's black. Yeah, I'm he like, did. why? Why you got to do that? Wait, yeah, Mark Davis? He ain't black. Yeah, he is. Mark Davis, Raiders owner. Fam. Oh, 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 the TV guy. That nigga's football. name is Mark Davis, is it? Mark, Mark Davis, I know it's right? Mark, but I don't think it's Davis. Mark. I, don't, I know who you're talking Mark Jones? Mike yeah, Mark there Jones. you go, Mark Jones. Mark Jones. Yeah. He was like, boy. Yeah, he was talking about the Raiders owner. I no, was like, no, wait, no, what? No, no, no. Why did yeah, I heard it? I, said, he, I heard I said Mark Jones. What are you talking about? I said, <laughs> buddy, get to the game. Like, like, don't, don't, here, Mark. don't give anybody any airtime to say something stupid. Yeah. Just stop. Like, get to the game. Flip the coin. Whatever they do, get the game going. Possession arrow, get this game going. Anyways, but look, it's exciting. It's fun. I I hope. That Colorado was competitive. I root for USC. It's a Southern California school. I do, and I love Caleb Williams. And, you know, I love Okay, so that was another question I was going to ask. Keep saying what you're saying, but don't let me forget Caleb Williams. I love to make sure, and I don't want want nothing. (laughs) That's not what I was going to say. I don't want nothing to deter Caleb Williams from winning the national championship. Period. I just hope he don't go to nothing. A I don't want ASU to win. I don't care. I need him to be a Raider, bro. I <laughs> want him to win the national championship and move on. Not playing That's for fine. McDaniel's. I don't. No. Now, well, we always we all want him gone. <laughs> I don't. Hold awful. on. So let's put it this way. 
I would it'd be awesome. Great story. Just awesome to see Dion them win. But I would be really upset for Caleb Williams to lose to Colorado and that possible a chance of the national championship or anything. I would be bothered by that. He loses to Oregon. He loses to anybody else, one of these big schools. That's perfectly fine. He even loses to a rival. I'm perfectly fine with that. You lose UCLA, somehow sneaks one, then you hit you in the gut, whatever. I would not. I do not want to see Caleb Williams lose that opportunity at a national championship, losing to Colorado. You're not supposed to win Colorado, but I want you to be competitive. <laughs> yeah. And if you win, I'd be it. like, whoo, that's crazy. Like, that, that's fire. That's crazy. But I'd be like, dang, bro, like... I get it though. You know what I mean? Like it's like, hey yeah. man, like I, ASU was giving USC everything it had. All right, oh, I would they weren't hold stop on. It. No, 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 no. Let me tell you, I went to USC Fresno. The scoreboard suggested that, but it was hold on. I went to USC Fresno. ASU Fresno. I'm sorry, ASU yeah. Fresno. I thought people there were going to put sticks of dynamite in this and blow it up. <laughs> That's how bad ASU was. That game was so bad. That I was talking to complete strangers. They were just like, what's, this, what's going on? And then you turn on and watch them play USC, and you're like, Yeah, but they, minute. listen, like, ASU got like okay. eight, eight players back that didn't That's play against That's fine. I know State. that. Plus, but including the quarterback. I know that, but I was like, okay. But at the same time, you know, ASU, don't let Caleb Williams do his thing. Don't do that right now. <laughs> you wait till next season, and then you go ahead and give somebody the work in the Big Ten or wherever you go. Like, All right. Don't do that. Let me ask this question because uh, we got to do NFL and go home, too. It's late. Yes, it is. So let me ask this question because I think it there is something to this. Now, granted, there was no Lincoln Riley even came out today and said in the in the co- press conference because obviously he was going to be asked about it. He said, "I've never met Dion before, but I look forward to meeting him." Clearly, there's no bad blood there. He's not saying things beforehand. There's not like issues. But every quarterback Shadur and Dion in Colorado has played has been white thus far. Do you think the discourse is different this week because of Caleb? Serious question. Uh, I never thought about it, honestly. Lincoln Riley is white, obviously. But I think, do you think the people that are like these rabid Dion backers on social media are not going to be the same way because Caleb is black? I don't know, man, (laughs) because... I, I mean, know, I, I don't know anybody who doesn't know that Caleb is that guy. I don't know anybody who doesn't feel that way. Like, I think deep down, like the Sh- the Shador story and things like that is like awesome, and like his 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 play style is dramatically different than Caleb's. Caleb's is very disciplined and it's very athletic, but it's very disciplined. Shador's is a little bit a mix of like he's not as athletic as Caleb. He's is. He's not I mean, as that. yeah, like. Um, Which is crazy because Dion's his dad. Um, <laughs> yeah, Shador's athleticism is nowhere near Caleb Williams. Yeah. But like, I I really his arm is probably close. I think Caleb is I a don't stronger think arm, anybody, but I think it's close. I don't think anybody. I think people feel the same way. I think I feel like I don't think anybody wants to see Caleb lose. I, 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 don't, I don't think so. Well, Colorado fans do, obviously, well, or, yes, or other I mean, Pac-12. But, but yeah. I don't think anybody who was a bandwagon. I'm a bandwagon Colorado. I don't yeah, care. Anybody. So am I. I'm a I bandwagon that. Colorado fan, and it's okay. I don't want to see Caleb lose. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't. Like, I've built up a, 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 a infinity for Caleb the time he's been at USC and watch him get better and better well, and better mean, and all that. Like, a, So, like, I don't have that. I don't have none of that with anybody. I don't I, have none of that. So, now I got I mean, a question to that. Do you think these top college players even care about a national championship if they know they're going top five in the NFL draft? I think Caleb does because he's literally cried after every loss, at least at USC. I didn't pay okay. as much attention at – Oklahoma, um, he's cried. Well, I didn't. The, I didn't. I'll be honest. I didn't watch the end of the Tulane game because once USC gave up the safety and punted, I left. <laughs> I was like, no, I know it's gonna happen. I'm not like watching. With NIL and transfer portals. No. I'm like, I don't think these guys care. No, I, no, I could be wrong. Of I think he I, does. I, I definitely could be. When wrong. you're at a school like that, you care. The other fans are literally putting memes of him up and making fun of him crying after the Utah game last year and after the other the second Utah game. Like when you when you're at a school like that, I think you care. Like, I, I do. Regardless if you're going top five, type ten. Now, if you playing at Utah, you ain't even – it's not crossing your mind. You play at you play at Alabama. You play at LSU. You play at USC. I'll even add Texas to the to the mix. Like they're getting better. You know, you add some of these schools in there. You care regardless if you're going one through five. Not, now, not, I will say when people are getting to the playoffs and these national championships or whatever and they're deciding not to play and some of this stuff, I get why. 
But to me, that's whack. Like, I don't even – I get that your all season, your all collegiate career was to get that opportunity to get drafted, and now you don't want to be that guy that plays in the playoffs and tears your knee up. Playoffs or, or national championship. Either one. Na- like, which is insane to me. The one guy that falls under – I don't mean to single him out for being the the version that you're talking about. I mean to single him out for being like Caleb. The guy who tried, despite being the Heisman winner the previous year and them having two early losses or whatever, Bryce Young took a lot of hits for Alabama last year. Their yeah. offensive line was not as good as prior yeah. year. He played hard. They won a lot of games at the end. So I never saw that, like, give up factor with Bryce Young. I think he really cared legitimately about that team. And I think the same thing with Jalen Daniels. Jalen Daniels is out there taking some of the craziest hits we've ever seen a quarterback hit, bro. He will not be a top ten pick. He needs to slide. Well, no, I don't even know if he'll be a first round pick. But he needs to learn how to slide. He's not going first round. Fam, slide. Save yourself. What are you doing? A lot of players don't know how to slide. People like watching LSU this year. A lot of players don't know how to slide. Neighbors, man. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fam. He's wide open every play. Yeah. The SEC this season is just so eh. Like, I've been more intrigued with the Pac-12 than the SEC. Well, I mean. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, you know. And I'm normally like, you know, SEC football. I'm clearly still the SEC. Clear, listen, clearly the Florida State game was weird because of how the first half and second though. half were completely that flipped. fire game, though. We got but, worked. Yes, but look at Florida State since. I don't think they're that much. I don't think that's a true representation of how of they're better than LSU by that much. I think no, if they no, played no, ten no. times, you can argue it'd be five and five or six and four. No. Because if you ask me, I know they went to Clemson and won, but they were outgained by like 150 yards or whatever before that overtime, and they scored their tying touchdown on like a defensive fumble return or something. If you ask me, LSU has looked better since yeah. that game yeah, than I Florida agree. State has, even though Florida State Like, when I see people put Florida State up in the, like, national championship conversation, I understand why they're there because of what they've accomplished thus far. I don't think they're going to go undefeated, bro. I'm just going to be honest. I think they'll lose a game they have no business losing. LSU, I can't say the same thing. I know they go to Alabama. We got Ole Miss. Alabama area. will be favored. Yeah, but I think LSU wins that game. I saw some stat that, like, Lane Kiffin is, like, Owen. Yep. Whatever against a top ten team or something in his career, and Missouri is still undefeated. Surprisingly, yeah, but yeah, it's Missouri. They're dog shit. Yeah, they do have a good stuff. quarterback though. But I, yeah. Anyways, uh, Ohio State QB. Let's just say this real quick. Go ahead. I said a little bit about it earlier. I think you get better quarterback coaching on the West Coast. The best quarterbacks, for the most part, in the NFL, West Coast quarterbacks: Tom Brady, Josh Allen. Um, Aaron Rodgers, you go down the list, they're all from California or coached in California. Claiming Tua, Josh, whatever. You claiming Josh Allen? He's from California. <laughs> I know. Well, he's from, like, what, uh, Bakersfield? Or? You've seen him do the last two weeks, though. Everyone fell off the bandwagon in week one, but look what he's done the last two I weeks. Mean, I still think he's a top ten quarterback, absolutely. You know, he's top five for me, but. And Justin Herbert. If he from, was the Raiders quarterback, no, Herbert's Herbert from, from Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, yeah he actually Oregon. grew up in Eugene. But still, West Coast. So he probably had the same quarterback coach or similar quarterback coach that runs in the same circles yeah. that these other kids had. Isn't um, that Carson Palmer? He there? don't like Herbert, and he don't like Lawrence. But I think Stroud, I don't know what negative argument you can make other than he just hasn't only played three games. I mean, There's nothing negative you can say about him right now. Nothing at all. From no. game one to game like, three right now. Can you name a receiver on their team? And he's thrown for like a bazillion yards. No. Like, no, he's doing phenomenal. Yeah, I don't know nothing but, yeah. I, I need I, – I felt the exact same way about Justin Fields at the end of the year. No, you didn't. Uh, huh? Justin Fields last year was balling at he, games. At, they still lost. He's never thrown for 300 yards. The as a Bears pro, are a dumpster fire organization. It's a different type organization. of, like, I liked his game. It's a different type. It's not the same thing. Whatever, but it was it, it was surprising and it was eye-opening. Like, okay. I understand that. Okay. It's not the same level of – Quarterback play, though. No, 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 no. Of course not. Because that's all I'm saying. Yeah, but that's due to what tools you have on your team. Justin Fields did well, a lot he of. He might had not have a passing tool at because all. Because even, <laughs> but even right now. And I thought he was that guy. Even right now, they're saying that Justin Fields needs to be free. Like, yeah, whatever that means. I, yeah, I get it. He played free. He has a new coach who probably right. doesn't want him. I understand. That's fine. You know, but I, I haven't. I Every want new Stroud coach to wants to draft good. their own quarterback, which is impossible. 
Now, regardless of wherever they've been trained and coached and whatever from Ohio State, Ohio State has a history of quarterbacks not panning out. That's just yeah. facts. It's factual thing. It's like yeah. it's facts. It's not. I'm not making like I hate, up. When, I, but I also like think, I hate when they try to claim Joe Burrow. Nah, let's not do that. LSU. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. stupid. He listen. He got the. He might. He's from Ohio. I get it. He went to Ohio State. He got developed. At LSU, which was very now. Surprising. I don't know what happened. I don't know if he sold his soul to the devil between his junior and senior year because it was like a light bulb Brady? for him. Brady, well, that, Brady was a huge that light bulb. Is looking a little dim right now. Nah, they Burrow. won last night. They won. T- last if T night. Higgins could catch, they would have won a lot easier. Fam, Brady that was played one a huge role in so Burrow's development. Tom Brady or Joe Brady? Oh yeah, but huge role. But Joe Brady is what now? Uh, so coach somewhere else. He's I think he's LSU like the anymore. receiver or quarterback coach in Buffalo or somewhere. Oh know. yeah, maybe that is what it is. Because that's why people were like, oh, yeah, Josh Allen. No, because Ken, Ken Dorsey is the offense coordinator in Buffalo, right? He's not the quarterback coach know. no more. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, but listen, once, yeah, they lost, the once they lost New York Giants head coach, man, I knew stuff would go down a little bit because he's a smart guy. He He's the one who created Josh Allen. And that's fine. But um, wasn't I understand. A, I understand why you're – Thing is your thing. Alabama quarterbacks historically suck too. I get it. Historically, Tua is changing that but, if he can stay healthy. But again, I'm gonna throw down for the West Coast. My guys, and are that's my fine. Guys. But yeah, you know, that's, fair. that's never been the argument against the other ones. It wasn't like you were saying, oh, they all suck because they weren't trained in California. But, that's but that might have something to do with it, though. That's fine. We can introduce a new variable to it. <laughs> Why can't we? Hold on now. But like, if if if, if, if he sucks now, if he turns trash in the next three years, you'd be like, yo, God, dang, he sucks. I, we got to find something I, yes, else. I uh, admitted it. I okay, admitted it with right. Justin Fields. I thought Fields right. was legitimate. Now let's do not. NFL picks. At so. least to me, he's not. You got? You want to say anything about the Cowboys? Cowboys. Yes, I, we people need the Cowboy takes. Okay, so that's what they're tuning in for this entire episode. So I went to the game. They turned it off already. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was telling Greg earlier. I'm over the live Put experience. A time stamp. I'm over the live experience due to the fact you know with parking, traffic, getting in and out. Yeah. Parking is probably um, the worst. Luckily, shout out to the wife. We had club seats, so I didn't sit in the area where those Neanderthals fighting, throwing beer on each other and whatnot. <laughs> Neanderthals. But let me get to the Cowboys. We were so – we were outcoached. We were outplayed. Like, if you looked at the, def- the defense that we were supposed to be this elite defense, we were lazy. You had guys jogging, not running to the football. And I want to give Arizona Cardinals some credit – uh, Dobbs and Hollywood Brown were balling. Like, did you see some of those throws he made? Like, it was a lot of tight coverage, and Hollywood Brown catches he normally they would balled. make. He were making those catches. Well, they balled in the first half the prior week. So it's like how they took him off the street. I don't know who their quarterback coach is or offensive coordinator, but they've obviously figured they've unlocked Dobbs somehow. Because uh, when he first came, when he was at Tennessee, he looked good. But when he went to the NFL, he just looked like you know. Remember that comment when Sam Darnold looked like when he said, "I look like I was seeing ghosts." Ghost? Yeah, that looked like Josh Dobbs every play in the NFL until this year. But Josh Dobbs have shown flashes at certain places. And yeah, but that's like Justin Fields in the Cardinals. He's, I he feel would, he's, he's shown flashes too. The last couple of times we played the Cardinals, they have had our number. I they have. Somebody had a funny joke on Twitter because they said. <laughs> They like they did. I don't know if I sent it to you, but they had like the power rankings for the NFL. Like Miami Dolphins was number one, and then first half Arizona Cardinals was number two in the That's league. Funny. So I mean, <laughs> and then you know I got to talk about McCarthy and uh, Dak because everyone knows I'm a Dak supporter, and it comes to a point where yeah, we're gonna blame McCarthy with his game management and his awful play calling when we were down. Like we're continuing to run the ball, we're not pushing the ball downfield. You got Brandon Cooks in the slot. We're not trying to attack the seam or anything. And then it comes down to Dak. I mean, we got to execute. When, like, that play, it was one play we had, and we had three receivers in the same spot in the red zone. I'm like, what the hell are we doing? And well, for some reason, Dak I should have texted you run. when I texted Greg with and that I'm like, screenshot. I'm like, what are we doing? And I, I, I totally understand. Like, I hate when the media attacks Dak, but I get it because – consistently he just – it's like if I need Dak to win me the game because my defense is not pulling their weight, I'm not confident Dak can do it. <laughs> that was the that, – that was it right there. That's literally been my entire experience as, that, a, as, a, yeah. as a Raider fan. So, so I mean, that right thanks there, for throwing it at my that face. That right there was well, – that on. was it for me. And That was it. it the la- my, that, la- 
That's my Dak glass straw. Do, okay, so let me take a step back before I say what I was going to say. The run defense obviously did not play well because that's, that's fine. probably yes. why y'all lost because you couldn't stop them. Two but, running backs. You couldn't stop either one. But yeah. Trevon Diggs might be a bigger loss than a lot of people think. That's because fine. Because normally, like, you lose a cornerback and people are like, eh. But there was a lot of blown coverage. He's been and really a lot good this year in, in yeah. like, playmaking in general. Been really good. That's fine. But don't fine. get me wrong. I don't think the corners okay. had loose coverage. I really don't. Oh, that was well. World, I mean, y'all lost himself. the game because of that one last pass. That though. pass was wide open. That was, was pretty much what ended the oh, game. Oh, you talking about that was when on he was that wide was open? On the, I think that was on the safety, but they said it wasn't. Like, well, I, I was on a saying, cowboy blog. They said it wasn't on Malik. Hooker. It was a receiver though, so it's it not going to be a linebacker coverage. covering him. Because be we somebody. run a lot of cover one with safety. You know, yeah. Of course. I'm just saying it wouldn't have been like a linebacker mistake. It had to be secondary. But that happens often though, where you roll out. That's why I don't understand when like got to stay home. So yeah, like when all these teams run these like two point plays or like fourth down, you got you should be calling your best misdirection play on that down because guess what? Everybody's gonna go where the quarterback goes. And people gonna bite. You got to stay home. If you go to this side, you should just have one guy over here and throw the ball back over there. I guarantee you, like nine out of ten, you're gonna make, convert the fourth down or the two point conversion. I just don't understand why was, offensive coordinators aren't more creative. I was very disappointed with Quinn not making adjustments. I really was. Nah. The, so nah. the meme that I, I mean, I guess it wasn't really a meme. It was, it said like, what, what was Dak looking at basically? But like, it was the all twenty two angle from the end of the field, and it was like him throwing that pick in the end zone, and it was two Cardinal defenders right here, and he's throwing. There's a cowboy running that way, obviously, but he's in the back of the end zone, yeah. and it, so it would be like me and you are right here, and Greg is throwing it between us, but like we're the only ones in the frame. And and it was just like, what is he looking we, at? And we talking about trying to beat San Francisco and Philadelphia <laughs> that has much better defense. Yes, but here's the thing. Much it's the NFL. You wouldn't too. be surprised if y'all won. And I wouldn't either. No, hold on. Look. look. I wouldn't. I, I, I am. My, yes, hold you're on. angry. I understand. The next games that we have, with the schedule is not. There ain't no alley-oops in these, these yeah. schedule for the Cowboys. Like, I'm talking like I, I could see four L's in a row. All right. Look. That that well, that you believe Prescott, the defense is good as you think it is. No, you won't, not gonna lose hold on. In a row. You can have a great defense all you want. When I I turned the game on points. late, I was watching the finish of another game and I turned it on and I was like, I'm yeah, game on real quick. Yeah, but here's the uh-uh. thing: if you listen, if you get in the NFL and NFL especially, if you get behind like that, you can't really run it no more. Exactly. You gotta throw no, it. No. So exactly. the Cowboys need to be able to run it, or Dak's gonna be have to be the because we do this rollout to the tight end, and if you ha- if you notice, our tight ends have no wiggle, no athleticism, don't break any our tight ends don't exist, and it's like okay, and they we had a exist. chance to draft a boy from Georgia, and someone that's more athletic, and we get oh, the big guy, yeah, we get a guy from Michigan that moves like yeah, but he's I don't think Darnell Washington's gonna be a long term like. Look, you wait till Georgia's tight end right when now. When I turned, oh, when I turned, go top three. When I turned, you know where the, he's from? California. He's from Napa, right? <laughs> yeah, Northern yeah. California. When I turned the Cowboys game on, I got to it late, like a little bit late. I finished up another game, got to it late, and it was 3 0 Cardinals. I said, This is it's over. <laughs> because I was like, How on earth did the Cardinals get three points against the Cowboys? Now, it went up to like 10. Zero, I think, at one point, right? Why Why would the Jets, like, people and want the I Jets go, to trade for Cousins? Why would they not just try to get Dobbs and see if they can install the same offense? And I, I go, why not? I go 10 He's zero. Cute. Hold on, hold on. I go 10 zero, and I go, all right, cool. Dak is going to have to show out this week. You know, they, defense ain't got it. You know, Trayvon, hey, man, go ahead, Dak can do it. You can't count on him. Like, you, you can't, like, it can't be when your defense isn't cracking, you're done. Like, defense wins you games, I get it, but that's because, like, the defense wins you game because the offense takes care of everything else. Uh, you don't got to – them other games, that Giants game, they scored 40 points and Dak has zero touchdown passes, huh? Yeah, because they ran it well. That's fine. But it's rare to see 40 points with not one touchdown pass. And I was like, okay, whatever, the great defense, like, hey, cool, whatever, right, fine. Then the next game against the Jets, fine, defense did his thing, whatever. He had, what, one touchdown pass? That's fine. No interceptions, cool. Because you know what? You, all your job is to do is to protect the ball because the defense got it. The defense can't get it a week. So you're going to have to do something at some point. That's fine. If you can't do it against the Cardinals, you're not doing it against anybody else. It like, looks to me like something has happened, like, psychologically to Dak. Because the year he broke his leg, 
He, he was, was balling. Yeah, he was leading the NFL and everything. Yeah, he was passing. throwing. Yeah. That's and fine. And that was like shoot, Derek shoot, Carr the shoot. year he broke his leg. Same kind of thing. Derek Carr was like one of the best quarterbacks in the league, top five. And he hasn't shook back from yeah, that Yeah, it's something about those leg injuries that yeah. like, I don't get it. I would typically agree with that if like Dak completely stopped being mobile. He's still mobile at times. Like, it's not as much as I would like him to be. Yeah. But Dak hasn't lost. Like, I haven't noticed a different step or anything with Dak. Dak, what Dak's issue is, is confidence in, in, in anticipation of the route. Like, the person has to run the, finish the entire route, now throw it. That's the only thing he can do. We play Madden. We play stuff like that. Your play is drawn up. You have a primary receiver. The play is made for this one. But there's other three receivers doing something too. If this ain't there, that he only knows that route. Yeah. He doesn't go, hmm, that's not there. That route, that last one with the interception, it wasn't there. But guess what was there? Pollard flared out into the it wasn't even an option. It wasn't an option. It well, was they should be straight the, the, the they, only route for the play. That was the play. The play was to go to that person, but he can't look and say, No. They should be throwing the ball to Pollard a lot more, but why aren't they playing? Didn't they keep Mighty Mouse running back on the roster? Yeah, he's playing. He is? Yeah, he's playing. Do they, do they yeah, ever throw those, those first, those oh, they first, don't throw it too much. He runs more than That he first couple of games, I ain't going to lie, he, he getting, what, two yards? Yeah, he, yeah. he has some moments here and there. He wasn't yeah, doing too bad. He, but he was getting picked up. But I don't long. understand how we have Brandon he's Cooks and we're player, not attacking man. the scene. That drives me Fam, insane. I don't think Who's anybody. Who's a third receiver? We need. We need. Gal, no, Cooks, third receiver. Gallup was number oh, two. he's technically three. Yeah, yeah, we got okay. no. He may be two. Oh, no, yeah. Gallup is two. Yeah, and then are people CD not open then because Lamb's always open, and we know Cooks is one of the Sam, best. No, I've on. said this for a long time. Lamb's Cooks is Lamb one of the best. Is not was, always open. Yeah, Lamb be not always. Lamb open. been half assing no. his routes that last game. <laughs> he trying to get a holding call. Fam, run your route. All he cares about is how many chains he can wear on his neck duh, and what color <laughs> his dreads are. Duh. I am Stop not. A, it. I am not a CD Land fan. And I appreciate having him, but I, I, Amari Cooper is a far better wide receiver than C.D. Lamb. Far, that's a stretch. Huh? That's a stretch. Far now, I'm, now, they're, they're completely spectrum, different ends of the spectrum mm. in their career. But uh, Amari Cooper, well, ain't nobody running a better route than Amari Cooper. I will ain't give nobody. Lamb this. Lamb showed up last season. Well, man, come on. That's all we had, though. We had me and you out there running routes with Lamb last season. That's fine, man. Lamb throws the ball, bounce up our hands. Lamb does some things periodically that I go, okay, cool, thank you, Lamb. Like, oh, I got you. But see, okay. what, what's frustrating with Dallas? Lamb ain't gonna fight for no jump ball. He ain't fighting for. Yeah, me. he had thirteen hundred yards last year. Why you hating? Fam. See, what it, this is what I frustrates me with Dallas offense. Was high. If we gonna utilize the tight end a lot. Get a tight end with and some nine wiggle. touchdowns. No. Yeah. Yeah, Lamb ball nah. Yeah, but fam, nah. good, they ain't just growing on trees. That's nah. a p- tough position. I mean, look at Waller. You don't. Well, he's out every other game. Like, nah. Like you, outside, you seen our tight ends? I mean, I know, but <laughs> outside of Kelsey and maybe Kittle and maybe Baltimore, man, what tight ends do you, are do from the Chargers? Nah, man. He 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 can give me. He's like a more of like a split end than a tight end. You talking about number nine or whatever? Yeah, but even look at uh, look seven. at or Pitts. five maybe. Yeah. Look seven? At, yeah, something like that. Hold on, look at Pitts in Atlanta. He sucks. Okay, because well, he's in Atlanta with Desmond no, Ritter. That's some fine. Film on that. He's open. They just don't throw it to him. That's fine. But like, it was a rumor that we was gonna trade for him. <laughs> Come on, we we trade for everybody. Uh, my point was there's <laughs> not there's not a t- like you can't just put another there, like you can't. Travis Kelsey is Travis Kelsey. Like, there's and not another one. Honestly, I'm thinking, one. damn, we probably should have paid Dalton Schultz. Because that was, that was Dak's safety blanket outside of the lamb last season. This is an offense. This is a coordinator thing. Like, it, it, But it's see, a, we can't keep blaming the coordinator because we got a new coordinator this season. Well, no, it's the head coach. He calls the plays now. Like, Because uh, you look at Justin Herbert, he's he's tossing touchdowns and yards with uh, Kellen Morris' OC. Don't get started on the chart. <laughs> Like I've never seen, he went like forty for forty seven, and how they only got twenty eight points. Like how did they win? The Staley like, Staley is not a good head coach. That is the worst team I have ever seen before. I've never seen so much talent like that. Staley is not on offense, a good head coach. Not on, defense. on offense, for, hold on. Even their talent on defense is stupid, but they mm. suck. Derwin James, yeah, I know, but they Khalil Mack. Khalil yeah, Mack's a little overrated. What, they got Bosa? He's not overrated. He's old. I, I, they I think got, Max so what, they got overrated. Bosa? Is he healthy? I don't know. Has he played yet? I don't know. But, I mean, they shouldn't be they that bad. They've given up like 35 points every they week. They suck. All right. <laughs> I hate the charge. Let's do these picks and get out of here. Anything <laughs> up for the Cowboys? 
Nothing. Look, I, I, I I'm done with Dak. It's official. Listen to what I'm saying. I don't <laughs> care if Dak wins the Super Bowl. I'd be happy and still out here to break dance to celebrate a nice sturdy handshake, Dak. But you can't. You're not coming back. He'll be the first quarterback maybe ever who won the Super Bowl and don't come back. Next <laughs> and I, I am done with Dak. I have been Dak's biggest supporter forever. Ah, uh, you know what? Hey, it's his, it's, okay. his, it's, his, it's his first year. Ah, you know what? So it's we got to follow year. it up then. Ah, you know what? He got hurt. Ah, you know what? We the, 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 it's, it's, it's Garrett. It's mm-hmm. Garrett. It's Garrett. Oh, you know what? It's the coordinator. Now we got Kellen Moore. Ah, you know what? Playoffs. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm done. I got no more. Like, yeah. you're not going to. Fam, I don't. I'm, you're not gonna do this with the Cardinals. Like, I'm not gonna be here in Arizona listening to these morons. All right, I, these idiot <laughs> Cardinals fans. You're not gonna do that here. You want to go to Eagles and lose? Hey, man, hey, you would have lost to the Giants. Pfft, rival game, and I get it. Cardinals. The Cardinals. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. All right. You so- want to lose to Minnesota? Some. Hey, it's still Minnesota. They got the best wide receiver in football and all that. The you're not going to do that to the, with the Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> Josh Dobbs came off the streets. He lives in a, a hotel, basically. You're not going to do that. James Conner wasn't even allowed back in the bar at Steelers anymore. They like, get out of here. Yeah. And he's out here killing it every single year. All right. He's been with the Cardinals. You're not going to do that. Your backup wide re- your backup running back gets 100 plus two? Huh? Like, stop. You got Dobbs making TikToks, making fun of Micah Parsons. And they going to. Huh? And they in Old Town Scottsdale after the <laughs> it's game. It's over. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> All I'm right. done with the I'm done with that. So what what's your plan then? There there's no plan. The plan is to do your very best. No no, what no no, next year. What do you do if you don't I don't know. back? I have no idea. You you get Caleb Williams Give by it. any means necessary. <laughs> Trey Lance a shot, I don't know. And I'm not even opposed to that because you know what? I wouldn't even be opposed to some special Trey Lance package. If Caleb Williams goes to the Cowboys, I'm gonna be ups- highly upset. I'm just telling you. I, right I, I, I buy wouldn't a jersey. I wouldn't. <laughs> no shit. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to some Trey Lance packages. He can run something. Dak don't want to run. Let's do a couple run plays Damn. or something like that. If He's, Caleb goes to the Broncos, I might. Commit I can't suicide, stand Sean Payton. Though. Let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> I cannot stand everybody Sean who listens to this podcast know how I feel about Sean Payton. I have never, even when we was in the old studio, I don't give a shite about Sean Payton as a coach, even when he was with New Orleans. You know why? Yeah. Because you can sit here and talk about offense all you want. New Orleans had been the like the number top five, top three, top ten offense every single year, and they never did nothing. All right, they got the one Super Bowl, won it, cool, Facts. you did it, and that was it. Facts. So I was like, I ain't buying. In this, I don't care if they score well, up there and score forty points and still lose. You know what? I don't honestly, give a shit about hold, that. Hold on, side. hold on, hold on, hold on. There was a couple years that the, the Saints got like the worst call of the entire season. Whatever, they should have been happens. in that situation. I know it exactly happens. what you're talking about. It happens. I, I understand. That. I understand that. But to like, be honest, but it, but it, but hold on. You know, a lot of twice. listen. A lot of plays in the NFL are just coin flips. So if he makes it to three Super Bowls, you probably got to check this your out. Mind. That's what I, I'm saying. This is not even a hot take. Sean Payton and Mike McCarthy have the same resume. 100%. Well, same you know resume. how I feel about him. Mike McCarthy <laughs> was sitting there flipping that play sheet. He was like, <laughs> Oh, you talking about the Waffle House menu? <laughs> uh, uh, Z483. Uh, uh, uh. I'm like, what? No. That's oh. why, why you think I didn't like John Gruden. You can't oh. have two roles as an NFL head coach. That's another reason why Josh McDaniels is a failure. You can't have two. You spread way too thin if you oh, have two roles. Oh, McCarthy, if the Cowboys underachieve, he's getting fired this season. It's not, it's not a question. Right. Dak is – do not bring Dak back. I'm done with Dak. Well, I'm done. I need a plan for me. Then. I need – oh, no, I need a quarterback battle. I need Trey Lance to get himself <laughs> – I need Trey Lance to get himself together. Whatever it I takes. I wouldn't mind that because I have some cards. To get his, himself so. together. Cowboy – if he was a Cowboy Cowboys, starting, people Let me would tell you pay. something. I wouldn't trade Micah Parsons for a top pick. I don't think there's a quarterback anybody that I would tr- trade Micah Parsons for because, actually, I don't know. I- I'll be honest with you. I understand Micah Parsons is our high-value player. I, well, you, you trade him for Mahomes. I had this conversation. You trade him for Mahomes, you don't yeah, trade him for anyone else. I, 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 like, to me. This is what, this is what I find. Uh, this is, this is, to me, what's important about sports in you would? general. Nah. Oh, okay. Nah. This is what's important. For Mahomes, you would. Nah. Really? You smoke a sherm. That's the most important position on the field. I would trade Dak, CeeDee Lamb, and Micah Parsons for Mahomes because Mahomes will figure it out. I love Parsons. Oh, I love him to death, too. Quarterback's the most important position. I'm emotional right now. I love Parsons. I don't care. You would rather win a Super Bowl, 10 Super Bowls, than buy a Micah Parsons jersey. As of right now, 
you're giving Micah Parsons a reason to like, why do I want to stay here? Yeah. You can't do that. You can't nah, st- I don't think it got that serious yet. I don't think it's that. Fam, y'all won 40 to nothing and 20, 35 to 5 or whatever the week before that, I would right? say this. Giants. And the Jets. I understand that, but but players don't think like that, though. Uh, this Okay, this is my example for players don't think like that. Recruiting. Lincoln Riley comes to USC. You would think, oh, God, all these kids are like, it's USC plus Lincoln Riley. No, man. 14 to 18-year-olds, only frame of reference for USC is Clay Helton. You got to get to the next era before players start thinking like critically like that. They don't think like we do. I think so I he so he's not he ain't there yet. I don't know. Now Devontae Adams, he's five, seven years older than Parsons. Maybe nine years older. Is Parsons twenty two? Twenty three? So he's a completely different generation, the next I, generation. So he's not like I'm not wasting my time I do with Josh feel Cowboys, we shouldn't go in panic mode yet, but if the results are the same by week six, panic week mode. seven. It would, let's do, it would be one thing if Micah Parsons was like a Cleveland Brown or like. No. Uh, yeah, it would. The like, allure of being a cowboy. is still there. It's still there, but there's no real value in it besides they get to the being a cowboy. Every year. Damn. <laughs> Enough. You can't have already fallen off the bandwagon this far. I am a cowboy for life. I don't mean off the fan Dak, bandwagon. Dak I mean off the cliff or whatever. Go. That's fine. But you already talking about him not being there no more. No, no. I need to make sure that Dak doesn't make Micah be like, man, what's up, man? No, no he'll just say, let's get a new quarterback. <laughs> He's not gonna say, let. That's me fine. <laughs> That's fine. Get get Dak out. I'm done. I mean, it's going over. Nowhere. Get Dak out. Enjoy Vegas. He, know, Vegas. he also enjoy knows, Las Vegas. He also <laughs> I would the take Raiders. Dak because you see what I have. Go but ahead. I also need a new go head coach. Head. Get get him. Take him. <laughs> Let's do these picks up. We go home. It's him, hot, baby. and I want to go home. And it's like ten o'clock. This is three hour pod. Thursday night football. Lions at Packers. Packers. Lions. <laughs> Lions. Packers. I think the Lions are the better overall team, but I told Johnny and Abe this the other day because I never bought into Jordan Love. I'm on the bandwagon Thank officially. You. He's you. a very good player. Thank you. Thank yeah, but but he didn't but before was, this year before this year he didn't really give us a reason to No, he showed some stuff. You was talking about preseason. No, 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 he wasn't. That game against the Eagles when he had to come in, Aaron Rodgers got hurt for that period of time. He did his thing. Now he, is that is that a good sample what's, size? No. What's crazy is when you watch him throw the ball. Now he throws like Aaron Rodgers does. It's weird. I don't exactly, know exactly. I don't know if that's a thing. Like it, you watch a guy and you're like, let me do exactly what he does. And here's the thing, right? That seems to seem to work in Green Bay. Hey, they Aaron Rodgers, you go ahead and stay. Far I've got this. You relax. Far I've got this. Yeah, it doesn't work everywhere. everywhere. You're done. Doesn't work everywhere. The player, but it every, seems every to player work. is different though. You know, Aaron Rodgers didn't like it though. That's fine. I think the Lions are a better team, and they're going to go further, but I'm picking Packers. They're at home. Okay. It's a night game. I'm not buying the it's, Lions. It's yet. difficult. I buy them, but it's mm-hmm. difficult to play night games, short week, on the road. Okay. Cool. Raiders. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, Falcons, Jaguars in London. Jaguars. I think the Jaguars always went overseas, so I'm going to go Jaguars. <laughs> I want to say they bounced back, but I thought they would bounce back this weekend. They, they got beat by Chiefs and had no juice to play one of the worst teams in football. Now, maybe they were one now, of the worst teams before C.J. Stroud became always, a superstar. Texans but, always give Jaguars work. Yeah, Jaguars, division, Jaguars, division opponent, but still, come Jaguars, on. Man, you're supposed Texas, to win that game. Hold on, Jaguars, Texans, Jaguars, Colts is always like a – It's a, Yeah, but the Colts are an actual good team. But, yeah, but the Jaguars – Beat the brakes off of them. I'm going Jaguars because I think Desmond Ritter is one of the worst quarterbacks we've ever seen in our entire life. That's debatable. Jaguar. Oh no, he's <laughs> that bad. Um, I think it. Okay, fine. That's fine. He, he's that bad. Uh, that was Jaguars Falcons in London. Starts at 6:30 a.m. Arizona time. I will be asleep. Uh, Steelers Texans. Steelers. No Texans. Steelers favored by three at. Houston, so it's actually pretty interesting. I'm only gonna say Texans because Steelers, for some odd reason, they think they've brought the steel curtain back just because they had a really good defensive showing against the Raiders. Like uh, they're so, a little too high for me right now. Okay, and I and I have the the Steelers as a, a potential sleeper Super Bowl team in my picks, but they suck to me. I don't care what anybody says. The Steelers played well. They're, decent. they're embarrassing. Yes, they, they they played decent against the Raiders, but the Steelers suck to me. I don't care what nobody says. It hurt. Well, it hurts that Deontay is out. If, De- if they had Deontay, they would have two receivers that you have to worry about. That's fine. They only have one. But, but I, that's, I got Texas. I'm not picking Steelers. Texas. The reason I'm not picking Steelers is because I am a D'Amico Ryan's fan. 
he designed a hell of a game plan for Jaguars, and I think he's going to de- design a hell of a game plan to stop Pickett. Not that that's difficult to do to begin with. I might and have the Colts Steelers handi- Steelers game. handicap themselves by playing Alabama man as much as they do because he stinks. That joke when they said it looked like he running with G- Levi jeans on is one of the <laughs> funniest Harris? jokes. Yes, one of the funniest <laughs> jokes funny. I've ever heard. He has zero juices running back. The backup is way better. It's almost like Dallas situation where you could tell Ezekiel Elliott was cooked and uh, part, and what's the name was uh, back there. Jalen Warren is way better. D'Amico Ryan's. Is gonna get that team going. Yes, I know I'm Texas. biased because I'm a Stroud guy, but Texas may win the division. They're gonna design a, a game plan for Steelers. I'm going Houston. Next Texas game, Rams Colts at Colts. Rams, Rams at Colts. Uh, Rams. Colts. I think McVay bounces back. If Anthony Richardson plays, I think Rams sneak it out. If Gardner Minshew plays, Colts yeah. got it. Minshew mania. Colts win. He's tough. That's who the Jets need to be going to go. Get. I agree. That's no, what I was Jets just about to say that. About. Hey, y'all, what y'all doing? That's what they should. Well, go they, ask about. yeah, but they can't. You he can't, can make you competitive. You can't trade him yet until you know Richardson's healthy, though. Like the Cardinals can trade Dobbs now because they know they ain't winning nothing anyways. That's fine. I understand the Kirk Cousins thing because Minnesota's zero three, but I just is Minnesota going to trade him? Yeah, but Kirk Cousins, is they still probably balling. think they can still win that division. Uh, shoot, I, uh, they think they still can. Because listen, who they got? Green Bay and Lions. I mean, they think they can win it. Uh, I'm going to pick Colts to win. Like I said, if Minshew plays, if Anthony Richardson plays, I'm going to go Rams just because, I don't know, contrary. Vikings at Carolina Panthers. Vikings. Vikings. Same, same, <laughs> I'm going to give the same reasoning. If Andy Dalton plays, Panthers win. If Bryce Young plays, Vikings win. Okay. So you just picking both teams this week. Nope. <laughs> Only two on the board like that with the quarterback issues. Two rookie quarterbacks I don't trust yet. I trust Stroud. I don't trust them. Buccaneers at Saints. Ooh, I got New Orleans. No, I got Buccaneers. I think the shine came off Baker's little two game no, run there because he got the, the touchdown late. Philly in is the, the game. is the is the best roster in football. I understand. Hold on, it's but good. Philly is not looking like Philly. Uh, they last made year, Philly. Baker looked like a hold on high schooler. They're not they're not looking like Philly last year. They don't look dominant. They don't look. Damn, it was twenty five to three or whatever, and then and then. Tampa Bay scored late touchdown. Yeah, but it, last year it would have been like 35 to 3, 38 to 3. They're not looking the same. Let's I watched the, AJ I'll, Brown I'll isn't looking the same. He had a good game Let's last night. Let's not do that. They're not they're not looking the same. They're not. Let's not do that. They're not looking the same. Let's man. not do that. Okay. I, I still think Eagles and San Francisco best teams in the NFC. It's not even close. Let's not do that. Yeah, they're just undefeated. No, hold on. Dolphins Shine, are, Dolphins, Dolphins are better than Dolphins. Shine came off Baker. He's going he's back to the Dolphins play Buffalo this week, I I think. I want to see that game. Like the Kanye and the old Kanye, yeah, you got Baker and old Baker. He's old Baker again. The okay. Saints win by a million. Yes, he's a chef now. <laughs> <laughs> well, chef's not a baker. You what? Fool, just a baker in the kitchen. Commandants at Eagles. Eagles. Oh, Eagles. Eagles. Uh, the, the enemy. Whatever. Oh, <laughs> that. Offense? I am a Sam Howell guy as well. Just like I'm a Stroud guy, he played obviously horrendous you know, last week. Rivalry but game secondary is good. That's fine, but well, I rivalry think, game might be competitive. I think Eagles win easily, but I don't think Sam Howell's as bad as he was last week. Um, I think I he's think, in between. Uh, I somewhere. think it's just the Commanders. Well, that's part just, of it. But no, and, and, I believe in the enemy though. I'm like I said, I'm a Domingo Ryan's guy. I'm a B enemy guy. No, uh, Chiefs have not looked the same since he left. That is true. Mm-hmm. So they both a little mm-hmm. off. Mm-hmm. That's fine. They both need each other. They're made for each other. No, he needs to be a head coach. Yeah, he needs Just to be like coach D'Amico in, in Ryan's Kansas got State. his shot, and he's making it look pretty good. He needs to be head coach. In, uh, it's been a couple games, it's but he's fine. making it look okay, pretty fine, good. Fine, fine, fine. Dolphins at Bills, probably the game of the week. I got Ooh. Dolphins 99, Bills <laughs> 20. Um, you know what? I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to go with Buffalo. No. I'm going to go with Buffalo. No. I, I honestly don't know what the, what I don't know what no. to do. You pick the Dolphins. Cause, well, because – if you get last week in the last two week Josh Allen, they probably win. But if you get week one, I Josh Allen, Dolphins win by You million. hear it here. I guarantee four turnovers from Josh Allen. I well, we know he'll have at least one because he even had one last gonna week. Have when does Ramsey come back? <laughs> I don't think he's out for the uh, season. Week eight. Right? No, no, he can come. Oh, back. oh he's on short term IR. Yeah, it's. Oh, not I thought either. he. That's, that's, that's when you got to miss a minimum of four games, right? Yeah. Okay. Like that. Uh, I'm gonna go Bills. I don't know why I'm saying that. I don't I'm, either. I'm probably wrong. Dolphins, I'm probably wrong, but I'm I'll let you Bills. change. Now I lo- you know I love Tyreek and I love Jalen Waddle. Tyreek is the best wide receiver football. And I drafted Devin A. Chain, Devon A. Chain, or whatever in multiple fantasy leagues. 
I didn't play him, obviously. Can't nobody he was go on my Tyree bench. Kill. No one. But, so, and I don't dislike Mike McDaniel, even though I feel like he's a weirdo, but. He's like that. I would like to see that team do well, but I think Bills win. He just looks like a weirdo. He's, he looks like that smart kid that would just bust everybody ass and mad and did look like he never played a sport in his life. <laughs> now, I do like when she asked him at halftime, what did you do, blah, blah, and he was like, I didn't do nothing. Now, that was funny because he's right. He's just a coach. He's a weirdo. He is, but that was funny. Uh, Bengals at Titans. Bengals. Titans might be the worst team in the NFL. <laughs> I'm just going to yeah, say. Yeah, but they still play defense, but I'm going to go Bengals, though. Fam, they lost 28-3 to three or something last That's week. That's fine. They still play three. defense at times, but I'm going Bengals. I and I'm going Bengals because the Bengals won this week. If Bengals would have lost this week, I would have said Titans. I think I'm going to go Bengals. Joe Burrow get a little, you know, nice week of rest from his injury. As long as Higgins isn't hurt, I know he can't catch, but he helps get everyone else open. So I'm going to go that, Bengals. That Chase Burrow thing seems to be off a little bit. They got it back uh, back together Chase, a little bit yeah, last Chase night. Chase had like over 100 bit. yards, I thought, yesterday, though. Yeah, they, they got, got it back they a little bit. They got it back a little bit, but like that was one where Chase was standing on the sideline by himself for a pass, and Burrow threw that joint in the stands. <laughs> and Chase went like this, rats. I was like, <laughs> I, just, I was like, I mean, that's a good wide receiver to make your quarterback feel bad, but I would have been like, bro, you good? I think they'll be fine by midseason. Um, good division game here, Ravens at Browns. Browns are way better than I expected them to be. I, got I don't know. The, I no. got the Browns. Browns. Deshaun Watson going to toss three TDs. They got a I, better coach, too. I think I'm going to go Browns. And I don't, better coach, I say. I like Lamar better than I like, obviously, other man. Yes, one is slime and one is not. <laughs> I mean, Watson, as a player, he's a too, slime no, ball. But, but there's something. The Browns have some kind of juice this year that I didn't expect. Yeah. I don't know where Massage that's oil. from. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yes. yes, flavored. <laughs> flavored. <laughs> Uh, worst game of the week: Broncos Bears. Oh God, I'm gonna go with the Bears. I the hope Bears they cancel that game. I think Broncos are. I know you're gonna hate this take, but I think Broncos are gonna score 35 points this week. I can't, Bears since, are the worst since I can't stand Sean Payton. Far. I'm just gonna root for the Bears and uh. I I got Justin Bears Fields. winning that game. I can't not stand Sean Payton. I, I think, can't stand Sean Payton. And I can't, I can't stand the fact that they, all the junk he talked about in the yes. Hackett, and you go out there and allow seventy points, fam. Yeah, come he, on, ten he, touchdowns. He definitely should not be talking junk about anybody, but Nathaniel Hackett deserved it. He's a, he's a joke. Nathaniel I mean, Hackett ain't lost by seventy, and he was a joke. You're right, but he's been a joke this year too. And, 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 and last year, Zach Wilson is their quarterback. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, fam, no. No. Zach Wilson might be good if he was like in like Green Bay or something. You never know. They turned Jordan Love into a good quarterback. No, 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 hey, no, fam, no, you never know. No. Raiders. Where did he come from? BYU. Who? Zach Wilson. Uh, Wilson. Yep. Yeah. No, thank you. They both came from the same state, actually, because no, Love went to Utah no State. No BYU. No BYU. I think Utah State, right? I thought it was Nevada, but it might be Utah. State. Utah State. I'm pretty sure. No thanks. Or as we say in the industry, Utah straight. Get it? No thanks. <laughs> Raiders at Chargers, the game I don't care about. Raiders, because I don't trust Staley. <laughs> I, I don't hate this game. Though. I mean, the Chargers can't blow anyone out, so I'm sure it'll be 29-28, but I'm going Chargers. Okay. I'm going Chargers because the Raiders should have beat the Steelers. Though. I was really disappointed in the Raiders not beating the Steelers. That was stupid. Though. Like, well, they're you the got to win that. Coaching one, football, though. and Jimmy G was blindfolded. So, Yo, y'all coach making some of them decisions. What's well, up, you man? heard that was the first time that anyone down by eight has ever kicked a field goal since 1994, which is when two-point conversion was put in play, right? The only one. I would love to see McC- And he tried to double down on it, that too. I would love to see McDaniels, McCarthy, and Sean Payton on the same coaching staff. I would love to <laughs> see McDaniels at McDonald's. <laughs> what else we got? Patriots Cameron's at about to die. What Cowboys. We Cowboys. We gonna bounce back and we gonna hang up. I got Patriots. We got thirty. We're thirty-one to ten. I got. Even Patriots though and... you know how I feel about Belichick being overrated without Brady, and I think They're that's still 100% playing accurate. pretty good. Wait, 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 wait. I'm okay. not done yet. Okay. You know how I feel about him being overrated, but he still has the ability to craft some good defensive game plans. You saw how they limited Miami, even though they still got Patriots killed. was the number one defensive team in fantasy football last year. I think Cowboys are going to be limited offensively, but Patriots can't score. So I think. Michael Parsons might have 17 sacks in one week, which is, will, be, will be a record. Cowboys win 17-9. No, I got Patriots <laughs> winning. I got Patriots winning 27, Cowboys uh, 14. Ain't no way they're scoring 27 on that defense. Look at my eyes. You've seen Mac Jones play football. <laughs> right? And can you name a receiver on New England? You've seen Dak play football. Born? Yeah, but they at least I have. Think. 
They they have yeah. Is, they got Juju Smith Schuster. Is twenty injured? Is he healthy? Uh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> is your running back healthy? Bam, Pollard. He'll be fine. Okay. He's fine. If he's healthy, they win. Buddy. Okay. Seven, Zeke. Seventeen. Zeke seventeen. Nine. Old Zeke. Like this, Eden. You just made fun of me for saying old old something. Let's, okay. hey, let's go. You're a bad person. What's up? Huh? What we're doing? Let's get here. Cardinals at My 49ers. Dad, we'll I got the home. Cardinals for the upset. The Cardinals over who? <laughs> over who? 49ers. 49ers. I got the Cardinals for the upset. The 49ers are going to go in there and do what they're supposed to do, what good teams are supposed to do. You don't lose to the Cardinals. That's fine. If the Niners lose to the Rams, it's the Rams. You know, it is what it is. Division you game. don't lose to the Cardinals. Niners by 7,000. Niners lose to Seahawks? All right, man. You win something, you lose something. That's fine. <laughs> but you do not lose to the Cardinals. Niners by 7,000 points, approximately. Fam, Brock Chief. Purdy is better than Dak Prescott. No, he's not. Yes, he is. They have, he, yes, he is. The team is built around. Yes, he is. Have you seen Jimmy Garoppolo play quarterback? Shannon Han is for a quarter, better. For, for, for coaches yes, that are not. he you, is. You don't want to listen to me. Have, he you, tied that. have both that. of you seen Jimmy Garoppolo play quarterback for a for a coach who is not the 49ers current coach? Yes, you have with Oakland Raiders. Oh, shoot about the die. It's blinking red, the camera. No, the camera, the die. Keep going. Uh-huh. Uh, Chiefs at Jets. Chiefs. Chiefs. Next. Jets. And that's the primetime game, too. Win? Jets are going to pull one out. Cool. Go. <laughs> Seahawks at Giants. Seahawks. Giants. Seahawks, Giants stink. Cool. The number of teams that actually have zero chance to win games on a weekly basis is high this year. Keep going quick. That's it. That's it. Tim, appreciate you. George, appreciate you. That's yes, the, sir. That's bye.